All right, so it's... Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Already, this oh, week's gone so fast. It's gone mentally fast, and we got gorgeous Hannah on. Hi, on everybody. <laughs> you look very Christmassy today. Oh, do you know what? I don't know if I'm Christmassy or autumnal or what I am, but yeah, I'm, that's I'm perfect. Kind of sparkly or autumnal. In the middle, yeah, a little bit of sparkle. You look beautiful as Thank always. You. As always. Oh, I'll pay you later. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm so excited about your kits. I saw your little video on Facebook. Yes. The sort of satin ringed pearls. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. They're amazing. Thank Your you. jewellery, as always, is absolutely amazing. Now these have these been handcrafted by yours truly, not the jewellery. I know that has no, obviously no. So but the kits. Our lovely Alice, who works in the kit team. Amazing Alice. Um, she is amazing. So she has just given me like a plethora of amazing kits. So I really didn't know where to start or what to do. So I've sort of just kept going. Kept on going. So I've made loads. <laughs> you have, and, and you've made a real selection as they're well. They're all different. I've got one on my wrist as well that's a different one. Oh, I, I clocked that one that's amazing yeah, absolutely that's like, amazing yeah oh she's gone there so oh, i don't know we've that's a per part of the pearl scoop yeah look at that and then you've got the autumnal color next to it yeah so this is kind of a little bit old school these kits it, it, it's a little bit old school. I mean, I, I am I am given free reign to add bits in from my stash if I want to, if I yeah. need to, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but the like the key components are the kit, kit, and then what you make with it is up to you. But if you want to copy what I've done, then that's great. Oh, the joy of jewellery making. So yeah, amazing, amazing kit hours, amazing demonstrations with gorgeous Hannah. But I have to. I can't mention a single other word without talking about your deal of the day today because this is enormous, absolutely enormous. Now, over the past few days, you've certainly heard me talking about how we've brought you diamonds here at Jewelry Maker, and they're lovely. They're absolutely beautiful. I think they started with the nuggets, didn't they? And then they developed into sort of the faceted strands, etc. Yeah. We've never done a deal of the day, never done a diamond deal like today's diamond deal. Because as with all different gemstones, oh my goodness me, as with all different gemstones, you get different degrees of quality, don't you? You, you know, do. you do. I, in fact, diamonds are the one I tend to reference. You, I, I usually say, look, I can offer you a diamond for a pound, but it will not look anything like this. No. These are literally high end diamonds. They're fabulous. So, so chic, aren't they? Oh, the quality, the clarity. The, the, absolutely, Ben. Ben's producing us today, which I'll get. I'll, I'll come back to you, Ben, if that's all right. If that's right, because we've also got to uh, welcome lovely, lovely Bruce, too. Um, but in 12 years of broadcasting, we have never done diamonds like that, have we? No. I've Honestly, never. 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 Never, ever. And you're getting parcels of them as well. We're just showing you the one here, which includes the most amazing marquees. You've got some of your canary diamonds in there and champagne. Love those, like the, like the yellow ones. Oh, Ooh. well, yeah, eat your heart out. <laughs> Tiffany's and Co. Exactly. You know, with their, with, with their beautiful canary diamond. Um, the, it's all about the four C's. So I'm just going to quickly talk about this and then we'll get, we can move on. Um, but when it comes to diamond, it is actually quite a straightforward grading system in comparison to other gemstones. So you have the four C's, which basically refer to carat weight. So that's how, how much of the diamonds you're actually getting. Then we talk about colour. Now, 
obviously colourless topaz command um, a, a certain price point, as do your fancy colours, which are your champagnes, your canaries and your blues, etc. Um, so colour. Then we start talking about clarity. Now, clarity, basically, you don't want your diamond to look opaque. You want your diamond to have what we call scintillation. You want it to have fire and you want it to have dispersion. Take another look at that recording and you'll see all of those words in abundance, in abundance. And we haven't cherry picked here. Every single one of these parcels is as good. They are stunning. Yeah. Last but by no means least in the four C's, we have cut. Now, I believe cut is the most important of the four C's because if you consider it this way, you can have a slightly inferior diamond to one, say, that's decolourless and, uh, and flawless clarity, if it's cut poorly, it's not going to have the same beauty. It's more obvious, isn't it's it? It's more obvious, yeah. yeah. You need to have quality cutting. Well, we work with some of the biggest and best diamond cutters in the world, and that is why your diamonds look like this. Now, th it's very, very, very limited, this deal of the day. We've got the entire opportunity before Hannah and I right now. I know. <laughs> um, I know. Every single one of these parcels will be slightly different. So you've got, I mean, they're all um, of the same quality, of course, all of the same carrot weight the ones at the front there's a separate skew so they're blue diamonds which we're going to do separately but yeah these are so those are coming up after the deal of the day but if you take a little look just up here um i'm going to just sort of here we are which way where are you where are we starting here look at the quality look at that. and we're looking through a perspex box here folks you know to actually have that level of dispersion is absolutely unbelievable. Oh my goodness, look at the size They're on big them. Ones, aren't so they? this yeah. is coming up at 10 o'clock today. Please, please, and they're so incredibly priced for the quality that you're getting. Please don't miss out on that. Right, should we get cracking with your Sunday morning show? Take a little look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, because we've got lovely Ben producing us this morning. We've robbed <laughs> him from Sewing Street, Yay. haven't we, Ben? Shh, don't tell Hi. Me. Shh, <laughs> shh. And one, the, one of the tricks that Ben loves to do um, is basically put lots of goodies on the website so you can shop ahead and pre-order on those, but also bring you premieres of goodies that have never been seen outside of kits. That's because him and Alice... Ah, oh, they, they are in love. They are in love and make yeah. the most adorable couple They're as so well. They're so cute. So, so, so cute. cute. So Alice gives, <laughs> gives Ben lots of goodies that have never been on our screens. So have a little look on the website, all the dubs at jewelrymaker.com. Click on watch live. And then if you scroll down, you can see, there you go, coming up on today's show. I mean, look. Have you ever seen the black hemp on its own? Have you ever seen that clasp on its own? Have you ever seen those earrings on their own, the spacers? None of those have been available on their own. They've all, yeah, and are these yeah. all are these all priced ready to go? Maybe a couple we might change, but absolutely all priced ready to go. That. Shop ahead, mega, mega, mega. And by the way, Ben has had a little bit of a slap on the wrist, and he's been told he's not to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the last time. Naughty. That boy. <laughs> Alice and Ben can basically take these brand new components out of the kit Look stock. Those. Yeah, they were in kits. Oh, wow. They were all in kits. See, um, they meant to be in kits, but they've been stolen <gasps> for today. Bendy me. I know. Also, can oh we just gosh. say, because another uh, another employee that we have robbed from sewing today is our Bruce. Woo! Well, did we rob <coughs> you though, Bruce? Because let's be <laughs> honest, you were both originally jewellery maker. Yes. Just always remember where you come from. <laughs> it is not 2012, it is 2022. 2022. Um, hello, Bruce. Nice to have you back on the Jewelry Maker hot seat as well. Don't forget as well our gorgeous uh, our gorgeous lads on, on, uh, on the studio floor. We've got Dan, gorgeous Dan, everyone. Where he is keeps he? me in check. Perfect. And there, there we are. Yay. And Finn. Yay. Woo. Hello, boys. Right, are you ready to get cracking? <laughs> Shall we show off your amazing makes? Shall we do the Wall of Fame first? <laughs> That's why I was kind of slowly leading into that just then. Um, <laughs> we're keeping Bruce on his tippy toes. I know, I know, I know. Bless, Bless him. him. Bless him. <laughs> Don't worry, Bruce. It will Have all be Have you missed us, good. Bruce? <laughs> it's like, I've forgotten how to do all of this. It will all come back to you. Like riding a bike. Right. Here we are, your fabulous creations. It's the Wall of Fame.
Uh, starting us off this morning, number 119 comes from Josephine Green. Good morning to you, Josephine. Uh, hi to all fellow jewellery makers. My entry this week is an amethyst and shell necklace with freshwater pearl earrings. Everything's from jewellery maker to whom I own the success of my jewellery making business. Oh, isn't that lovely? Without jewellery makers, quality products, helpful demos and encouragement, I would never have happened. Uh, since the death of my husband, my retirement was very empty. But with your help, it's now full to burst. Thing. Thank Aww. you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, Josephine, oh, yeah. sending you so, so, so much love and congratulations you. You know, never mind jewellery maker, it's your amazing creativity that makes pieces like this. Number 120 comes from Fran Porter. Hello to you, Fran. That's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? Morning, yeah. all. Uh, time for the Woolly Pullies. Oh, absolutely. Oh, woolly Pullies. I love it. Do you know, yeah. I, I, I say Woolly Pully all the time. See? <laughs> I say woolly polly all the time, and I don't know how many times I get the response going, what's a woolly polly? Thank you, Fran, for saying that. I thought it was a Welshism, but clearly not. Well, I, th I've got some Welsh friends, though, so maybe that's where I've heard it from. Woolly, a woolly polly? <laughs> yeah. Finn, have you heard of a woolly polly? No. Finn, do you know what a woolly polly is? Okay. It's a jumper. Mm. A woolly polly. <laughs> Thank you, Fran. Um, anyway, back to your amazing jewellery. <laughs> this is a bracelet that I've made with some AB frosted candy beads, some uh, variegated blue lined crystal AB and some two hole crescent glass beads. It took a while to get this as I wanted to show off the candies um, and just couldn't work out how to do it. Be uh, best of, uh, best of love, uh, luck to all, says Fran. Oh, they're beautiful. Absolutely. Perseverance pays off. Over to you. Yes, definitely. Right. So I've got number 121, which is Kayla Newman. There we go. Oh, Ooh, lovely, look. Kayla. Oh, the butterfly. Right. Hi, I hope you're all well in the studio and at home. This is my WAF entry, the stunning butterfly and pearl pendant I added to one of your chains, <clears throat> which are the best quality. I seem to have a pearl addiction at the moment, but at least they're, ca <laughs> they're calorie-free. Yes, I'm, I'm all, yes, all for that. Hope everyone's having a great week. Good luck with, uh, to all in the draw. A win would be nice. Also, uh, I seem to be attracting attention with my jewellery, which is largely down to JM. Ah, well, there we go. Well, it could Kayla, be skills. No, absolutely is. <laughs> Kayla messaged me um, uh, the other day, and she was saying that she sent um, a certain Hollywood A-lister, going by yeah. the name of Mr. Depp, <gasps> a piece of jewellery, and she saw him wearing it. Really? How oh, my gosh. That? That is How mega is that? How mega is that? Celebrity endorsement, if yeah. I saw it. Amazing. Right. Over, keep oh, going. Yeah. yeah, OK, so yeah. one, two, two is the next one is Susan Wells. And oh, this, says, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame, a lavender jadeite heart, absolutely in love with all the lavender jadeite cab uh, cabochons at the moment, uh, put together here with Sarafina tourmaline. Lovely. Is that you say it? Safira. How, yeah, Safira. Safira tourmaline um, from J Show, actually. So that looks Amazing. very high end, doesn't it? Very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then am I right to move on? Uh, so the next one is one, two, three. And it's Kathy Lockett. And it says, hello, JM. Here's my entry for the WAF. A jadeite graduated necklace with a magnetic clasp and a malachite graduated longer length necklace. Loved making these. Uh, going back to, to traditional stringing with tiger tail and crimps. All components from JM. And apologies for the rather bright shirt, but I love it. I, do you know what? Never Bring on the bright for colour. Yeah, you're I talking to you're talking to the lady that I lives in Go bright for colours. it, girl. Go for Absolutely, it. Absolutely, Kathy. Love Loving colours. those. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. That's um, it. That's oh, it. we've only got that. We've Have you got, got another one there? No, that is okay. the last one. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get better. I promise. We'll try and get better. We'll start gelling, won't we, as a team soon? Yeah. <laughs> we can hope anyway. Um, <laughs> We've known each other for years, but you know, there's years a rhythm. And years and years. <laughs> we'll get our rhythm in a second. Okay, don't forget diamonds at 10 o'clock, amazing kits at 9 o'clock, awesome masterclass, so much to bring you today. Shall we get cracking? Shall we start with some tribal beads? I think you get a pack of loads. That's how many you get. A pack of oh, loads. loads. I want a pack of loads. So do I. I love these, actually. Oh, look, the diamonds are yeah. hiding the beads from you. Let me just scooch that that way. There we are. There we go. They're there we go. They're me now. I'm going to nose. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Have they got your name on it, these diamonds? Now, look at those. Beautiful tribal beads. Great for things like your heshies. 
Yeah, the, absolutely. I, I've got loads of long line necklaces and these look fabulous between any gemstones, literally any gemstones or any synthetic beads. And then you use these as spaces and it just gives like a little bit of a punctuation. Love it. To, to long line necklaces. Amazing. Guess what, Hannah? These have never been outside of a kit. Benjamin. We're going to say it a lot today. For the last, say that a lot. For the last time ever. Because his wrists have been slapped. Naughty boy, Ben. You're not to do that. But today, we don't care. There we go. Going to be in so much trouble, considering it's this other half that makes the kit. Now, yeah. You know, it's... it's... <laughs> I'm uh, not repeating that. There we go. There we go. Uh, silver plated, <laughs> silver plated beads are beautiful, aren't they? The, the oxidisation. You get a full pack of twenty of them as well. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. First time ever outside of a kit. We get that question a lot. Do you? Yeah. Oh, is there any chance we can have this component out on its outside own? Outside of the kit. Is there yeah, any chance we can have that actually. component outside of a kit? And normally it's no, normally sorry. It's no. No, sorry. <laughs> that's why, that's why Ben's been very naughty. Very, very, very naughty boy, haven't you, Ben? Um, so what's that working out at each? I'm useless at maths. If they're ten pounds, I can't I can't um, is it fifty P? Yeah, fifty P each. Fifty P each. That's good. That's that's good, isn't it? That's good, that's isn't it? good, 50p for a bead. What about on top of tassels? Yeah, definitely. I was, you know, we sell um, jade as well, the jade at rounds and things. I they, do. they look fabulous between those as oh, well. Oh, lovely, lovely. Do check out the website as well because there's lots and lots of goodies locked and loaded on the website. Um, the deal fairy is back in town, says Ben. <laughs> that's not me calling him that. He's calling himself that, by the way, just so you know, self-titled. Yeah. <laughs> we had the plummet prince yesterday. The, you know, Liam. Liam, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, the Viscount of Value. Yes. <laughs> the Duke of Discount. And today we've got the Deal Fairy. Love it. Absolutely love, it. love that. Yeah. Uh, 9 99 yeah. Ross has been at a wedding, so uh, that's yeah. why he's not here today. Ross Lark. The Rogue Ross. Uh, every producer has to have a nickname, I yes. feel. They're, oh. they're a bit sort of like pets, aren't they? We have to, we have to look <laughs> after them, make sure they're happy. <laughs> do, you like, do, you like, do you like that, Ben? It's your pet name, your that pet is. Name. Yeah. yeah, your pet name. You're all right with that then. Uh, 9 99 well done, everybody. Helen, Nancy, Denise, new customers, London. Hello to you all. Lots of multi buyers getting involved. Have we got quantity of these then, Ben? We have got quantity, but the only time they're going to be available on their own is right yeah. now. Yeah. Because we've been, yeah, literally, slap on the back of the wrist. No, you're not allowed to do that, Ben. They are meant to be kit products, especially at that price point, he says. Do take a little look at other deals, and we have them in a different colourway as well. We've got them in the gold, um, but they are limited. There's only 10. Uh, there's only uh, 10 opportunities with those as well. Um, so make sure you check out those lovely baskets, everybody, and message in. Come and say hello to us. Are you excited about the deal of the day? I am. I mean, how could you not be? I'm so excited about those. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a tray full of diamonds. Uh, amazing oh. diamonds as well. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. So with the gold, you get a pack of 10. Okay. Let's do something special, Ben. These are fab for your, for your autumnal things. So, like Some of these pearls I've got, there were some like deep sort of, well, kind of burgundy claret. Yeah. Like, like, like my top, really. So great and with your kit, one of your kits. Browns, and then just um, even white pearls. Um, is it just me yeah. that's getting a little bit of a Cleopatra vibe about these? Uh, if you put it with lapis. They'd be a really, yeah. Oh, amazing. She's a very clever lady, Cleopatra. Yes, I think spoke, she must have been. Spoke multiple languages. Yes. And she was a doctorate of some description as well. Wow. Mm. Very, very, very clever lady. Mm. Four pounds and 99 pence. And certainly one of the, the, sort of the pillars when we think about sort of women wearing jewellery and yes. historical jewellery, yeah, yeah. um, Cleopatra herself. I don't know, it's just the beads that are making me talking about her. I just think they've got that vibe about them. Lovely buttery yellow gold, £4.99. pence. They're measuring 8 mil in their size. Um, and you're getting a pack of 10. Now, these were limited, you said, Ben, yeah? Um, make sure you do check them out, everybody, because, again, it's going to be busy today. Sunday is actually one of our busiest shows here at Jewellery Makers, so you have to be fast and pacey. How often do we say that? Fast and pacey, Whenever fast and pacey. Whenever about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, morning, Mandy. Good morning, Hi, gorgeous Mandy. ladies and fabulous crew. So nice to have your company on this beautiful, sunny Sunday morning. Oh, is it? Oh. Is it sunny? We don't see daylight when we're working, no, do we? No, but the sky, though, was, like, on fire. It was bright red oh, was and, it? and beautiful on the way in. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. But yesterday, it was chucking it down here. Yeah. Absolutely Today, chucking it down. Like, you, know, oh! you pull that face when you walk out the door. 
<laughs> <laughs> just wet rain, as my dad used to call it. Proper wet rain. Wet rain. We, oh, we call it fat rain. Fat rain. Fat rain. When you can actually see the droplets, they're yeah. so big and they go on yeah, the ground. Yeah, that's it. Fat rain. Um, <laughs> uh, now, what, what next, Ben? You do love a bit of hemp. Ooh, I've not, okay. seen, I've not seen this for a while, actually. Hemp cord. I've got six different... Are we get, oh, do you get all of them? All individual. Okay, so you can choose your actual size. Do you want to shout out which size you want me to do? 0 0.5 in the black. That's this one. There we go. What, what, what would I use hemp for? Um, um, and in particular, why would I want 0.5 well, over the thicker gauge? Okay, so, so 0 0.5, because it's smaller, it's going to go through the smaller drill holes. So you some of these slightly smaller gemstones as well. But yeah. it's fabulous for macrame. It's yeah. got that natural sort of um, fibrous um, kind of texture to it. It's grips. Even, even though they're coated, they, like, they hold knots really, really well. So you can, you can create all kinds of amazing like micro macrame and things with it. So I don't know if you've ever seen the yes. Nigel Shields used to, to do a lot of micro macrame. Amazing. And, and Mark's been doing a bit Mark, of macrame yeah. once well, again. Mark's always He's the, the macrame, macrame king, he? isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Two ninety nine, you're getting two meters here, so that will give you that will give you loads. <coughs> Excuse me, you'll actually make loads and loads and loads and loads out of this, you know, whether it's your simple or sort of right angle weave. Weave. Yeah, it could be I was gonna say No, also, that was that's, that's something um, else. Something else. What am I thinking? Single what? So sort of like, what's the what's the knot? Uh, half hitch or half hitch. Or, or, that's it. Or a square knot? It's a pound. A pound. A pound. Benjamin, stock up for your stashes <laughs> whilst you get the chance. This is why Ben's been told no. You can't. You can't raid the kit product. He says, I can't call myself the deal fairy if I'm not going to offer the de deals. Well, that's yeah, a fair comment. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. The other thing fair with comment. Cord is if you have any um, <coughs> or you're worried about um, metals. True. Uh, you can use this instead of like a, a, a beading thread or instead of a wire. And it just gives you like it gives people that might not be able to wear the, the jewellery mm. an option. Yeah, great point. Yeah, re great point. Uh, I, I know a few people actually who get allergies yeah. from certain metals, yeah. even things like your gold. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hemp cord gives you that opportunity. By the way, I do have it in the thicker gauge. So if you're actually thinking, um, should we do that? Should we jump, jump straight into the black? Now this one looks like a two mil. It's a one mil. There we go, got song. that wrong. So the other day, uh, in fact, yesterday, we had the two mil drill hole gemstones in jade. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, you, could, you could use that to knot it. How fabulous would that be? Because you'd have a nice chunky knot in between that and those like lovely, lovely jade. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Fabulous. You could use them both together as well. If you if you use like the, the skinny one for, for holding your beads in place as your lazy strand and then you use the thicker one to, to make your weaves around it. Yeah. Um so you'd have like a chunky macrame thing around your beads. Love it. Well. Hannah. Hello. It's a pound. No. It's a pound. Benjamin. Pound, 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 Every pound, pound. It's Benjamin. And by the way, we've got that in the brown <laughs> and we've got it in the lovely sort of uh, natural colour, sort of classic, uh, classic natural colour. Um, spoiler alert, says Ben. They're all a pound, so <gasps> shop ahead. Shop ahead. It was on the website at £2.99. pence. They're all going at a pound. Always, you always need it, don't you? Threading materials, yeah. don't overlook the, assess, uh, the essentials. What do you want me to do? Let's do the brown next um, in the 0 0.5. So you know where they're going to. Pound. Not 2 99 I feel like we've got Wayne in there again. It's a pound. The market stand. Yeah. It's all a pound. I totally could visualise Wayne on a market he's, stall. He's such a cracking sales guy, isn't he? Yeah. He's just, he's just so good at talking And he's to got fingers in all sorts of pies, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Fingers in many, many pies. A true entrepreneur, isn't he? He has, yeah. It's like I was talking about, uh, about Willow's party one year and he was like, oh, I can give you a sweet, yeah. uh, sweet cart if you want. Really? Can you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, can, I can give you a photo booth. Can you? Yeah, fingers in lots of different pies. Um, a pound then, we're talking about the 0. Point, oh no, two, yes, we're talking about 0. 0.5. And then we're gonna be moving into the uh, one millimeter. In fact, let's do it right now. Um, we're just gonna fly through these just to give you the opportunity to grab them. Um, needless to say, we're not really making a great deal, apart from friends. <laughs> lots of friends, and that's all Ben wants, he says. That's Aww. all he wants. Yeah, you can join him along on, on Sewing Street as well. He brings you, he makes lots of friends there too. You don't do sewing machines for a quid, don't. though, do yeah, you? No sewing machines. Yeah, no sewing, no, no, and sewing no. machines. You'd be in trouble for that. Definitely, definitely not. They're expensive in these sewing machines. I've got one that I've had for a long time, and every every now and again I have a little go, and then I'm a bit scared of it. Yeah. Do you remember those knitting machines? <laughs> My mum used to have one of those full-on knitting machines. Yes. 
<laughs> just to knit up. Make all the jumpers. Make all the jumpers, yeah. And things Wally like Polly's. That. Wally Polly's. Exactly, exactly. It's a pound. Make sure you check out those baskets again. Quantity of these are absolutely flying out. Joanne's got five. Surrey's got three. Carol, Irene, Paula, Lynn. West Midlands, Valentina. Good morning, everybody. Make sure you check out those baskets. We're going to bring you the natural colour in a few moments. Let's do the 0 0.5 first, because that makes sense. That's the order that we've been doing things. Um, and again, worthwhile looking at the website, because there's loads of goodies actually already locked and loaded. We've already demonstrated that some of those prices will be going even lower, regardless of where you make your confirmation. I've got to take all the overtime now because I did some serious shopping yesterday. Uh, oh, what? Serious, serious shopping yesterday, so I need to take all the overtime. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Work hard, play hard. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I might have to go and start, you know, washing cars as well to generate. Oh, wow. Okay. What did you buy? Uh, you know what to say? <laughs> it was a few bits. I did get one of those bangles. Oh, <gasps> did you? Maybe two. I know. A pound! <laughs> These are the deals that I want, uh, uh, that we need. These are the deals that we need. This would look lovely with the, uh, this colour would look lovely with Jade as well. It and will. also some of your kits that are coming up. They're great with gents jewellery as well, aren't yeah. they? So sort of unisex when it's like, it's kind of like natural earthy tones. It's like literally but surfer doody. Surfer dude. Yeah. Do they go surfing in the winter? I think if you're a surfer, you sort of do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. dedicated. It's sort of in their blood, isn't it? Dedicated. Yeah. I, I was listening to a conversation um, in the office the other day between Toby. Well, not listening. I was involved in this conversation. <laughs> otherwise, that just makes me sound weird. Um, I was involved in the conversation. They were like, oh, um, so when are we going swimming again? El, do you want to come swimming? I was like, wait, what's, what, swimming what? what? Um, so they go wild swimming. Uh, yeah, it seems to be quite popular. That and paddleboarding is popular at the minute. Paddleboarding, I get. You're out yeah. of the water. But actually going swimming well, in the river. You're not out of the water for long unless you're really good. No, that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's a pound. It's a pound. It's a pound. It's a pound. One pound only. Two metres off as well. So you've got more than enough to actually create maybe a full... A full-on necklace, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you, the thing is, if you're doing macrame, you're, you're tying knots and it, and it gets smaller and smaller. But I, th I think you're, you're, you've definitely got at least a necklace and a bracelet. Yeah, yeah. in that one little little spool. Yeah. Little spool. Well done. Leave that one with you. Congratulations to you. What should we do next then, Benjamin? Uh, I, as I actually have this. Well, uh, very similar. Yeah, very, very, very similar. It's a leather bracelet with an S class. Oh. They're beautiful. Never been outside of a kit. Yeah, I was going to say mine is quite similar. Four ninety nine. That's no amazing. Yeah, that's just. You hop along too. I've started, as we all know, I've started my Christmas shopping now and I bought a couple of bits yesterday as well. Um, but if you pop along to Pandora, they do a bracelet very similar to this in the leather, braided yes, leather. Yeah. And you're talking about 30, 40 pound for the bracelet. Yeah, if not more, I don't know what If not more, anymore. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I only say that because I remember buying um, Claire Perry one for her, her birthday um, many, many moons ago. It was not four pounds and 99 pence. And it most definitely, absolutely, was not two ninety-nine. <laughs> it was not two ninety-nine either. How many do we have of these then, Ben? Oh, 89, 88, 86, 80. There we go. That's how quickly they're flying out the door. What great Christmas gifts. That, I mean, that's fab. Again, it's unisex as well, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I love that. And I like the fact you can you can stack things as well. You can you can do all kinds of, you know, multi multi layer looks with them. Can't oh, you? all the charms that we bring. Yeah. You know, we had the other day um, those amber charms oh, with yes. the with the silver bead running through like a rivet yeah. running through the center they'd be beautiful i'd give that to my husband he'd wear that yeah he'd wear that exactly as is comes with the s clasp as well so if i actually stretch it out you can see two pounds and 99 pence and if you love this guess what guess what guess what guess what we've got it in the black there is a difference though this one's silver <gasps> this one is oh, 925 man, sterling silver it. So same design, or similar, I should say, design, because yeah. this actually has the lobster claw class. Oh, I need to buy some of these. Yeah, I can, I can see you rocking this, Ben. Yeah, my Tom would wear this as well. Yeah, Bruce is buying it for his present covered, he says. Or, yeah, if you forget people's birthdays, this is unisex, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. 
Away you go. Eight ninety nine, even though you just said it's sterling silver. We cannot go any lower than that price tag. There's a big amount of precious metal in the lobster claw on its own. How many do we have then? 20. Okay, well, they're not going to hang around, are they? Can I add one to my basket? Christmas shopping. I bought some, um, and I, I like to buy from like independent um, um, retailers yes. as much as I possibly can, particularly over the Christmas time, especially with things going the way they are. Um, and I bought this really lovely, it was like velvet embroidered, um, bag. I guess it right. could be any kind of bag, whether okay. it's a clutch bag, whether it's a makeup bag or whatever. So um, really lovely, all hand embroidered Sounds on lovely. the front there. Yeah. It was really beautiful. But it kind of reminds, it's got this kind of vibe about it, you know? It's not, it's not pretentious. Okay. It's just quite, and a bit boho. Oh, That's I, what I'm I going all for. over that. I love boho. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. Hi, Elle. Han and Fab Jam team. Six days till I fly to Arkansas. So excited. She's off to see her gorgeous daughter. Oh gosh. And grandchild. Nikki, you must be ever so excited. Bless you. Not long, not long to wait. Have the best trip if we don't speak to you bef uh, before then. Um, leave that with you. There's only a couple of them left. Um, okay, moving on to. I know what it is. What colour? Should we do the rose gold? Now, what's this beautiful contraption? I didn't know earlier. I, I, do, I do now, because we were investigating it. <laughs> Let me show you, uh, show you the way around. I wondered if it was some kind of whistle to start with. Um, you know, so, like this is the kind of thing that you would have on your dressing table. Yeah. Um, it's deliberately decorative in that rose gold and you have look a little crocodile clip if i hold it in my hand like this yeah you then get an idea of what it does yeah it basically have you ever struggled to put on a bracelet all the time so basically you put one end of your bracelet here so the clasp is accessible you hold it in your hand like this you wrap the bracelet round and away you go. It's so simple. I, I need to get one because what I do when I can't do a bracelet up is I, as I have to fling the bracelet around and I lean against the cupboard and then well, try, and do it, do, try and do it like that. But it's, I've now got little indents on the side of my cupboard. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go for the flick. Yeah. I go like, for the little gosh. flick that doesn't always work. You know, yeah. like that. And in the end, I end up not wearing it. Yeah, 2 99 Again, great little stocking filler, don't you think? Great little stocking filler. How cool is that? <coughs> no, they're great because, you know, how many of us... I, I, I can't be the only person. And my husband, he's a big bloke. He's got yeah, quite... They've, yeah, they've he's, got, like... Yeah, these fingers, yeah, haven't they? And they're just like, they can't, they can't do it with them. <laughs> so in the end, he gets irate as well. So I am actually better off doing it myself. Um, but this, literally, just pop. you can pop it in your jewellery box if yeah. need be. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a lovely gift, especially if you're gifting somebody a bracelet and then you can gift them that with it, couldn't you? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, like I said, if you're on your own or, 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 or like myself, you've got somebody that, um, that doesn't particularly like doing lobster claw class and bolt ring class and things like that, then you can do it for yourself. Or you just want to be ultra independent. Tell you what, we've also got it in the gold. They, I mean, they look beautiful, don't they? they I mean, I did, I did wonder, you know, you can buy sort of like crystal wands and things. I wondered if it was something like that. But, it, but yeah, then, then it was explained. as like, oh, I see. You could probably use this for a necklace as well. You, yeah, absolutely could. You know, if you were actually, you know, sometimes, neck, I don't know, it might help with your necklaces. It is meant to be for bracelets, though. Yeah. It is intended for the bracelet. Genius. It's an absolutely genius invention. So literally, just imagine clipping on one side of your class just there and you put it so it's nice and secure, hence why you've got those little uh, very, very gentle crocodile teeth. We haven't, uh, those are deliberately not in metal because otherwise it might scratch your jewelry. Yeah. Um, you hold it in your hand just like so, literally wrap your bracelet round, um, you've already gripped it there and then you do your clasp. It's so much easier. Can we make this talk? Yeah, I think it's yeah. going to go that way yeah. now, isn't it? It looks like a dinosaur now. Rah. Rah. <laughs> I know. Yes, I am 44 years old. <laughs> I know. 44 <laughs> years old, still find things like that amusing. Um, we're going to give these as Christmas presents. Great idea. Yeah, brilliant. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, great idea. I haven't mentioned your early bird as of yet either, and I've done that deliberately because it is going to melt the phone lines. Um, it's coming up in a few moments' time. Make sure you check out your baskets on all these amazing goodies. Loads of things on the website actually are... Um, are selling out on pre-order as well. So well done to each and every single one of you. Now, over the past, I don't know, couple of years, we've certainly brought you an amazing, well, we always, 12 years, we've been bringing you a selection of gemstones. But we've mentioned Imperial, um, Imperial Jade. We've mentioned Onyx. We're, but one th we don't actually see onyx in strands very often. Not often, anymore. no, no. Used to get it all the time. Now we very rarely get it. I've got the most amazing early bird, cabochons of onyx. If you love your imperial green jadeite, but haven't got the budget like many people, or if you love your natural red jadeite, but again, don't have that price point, then this is the best alternative. So, Ben, I've got a selection here um, that, uh, that yes, I, I, I mixed up. Dan had laid out in order and I mixed up. Sorry, Dan. So I was like, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one would you like me to start with? Are they, is it two? Yeah, I know which one should be nice. Let me show you these. Now, if these were red jade, they would be considerably more and I'm just going to can I borrow a white piece of paper if that's all right considerably more well, than oh perfect that'll do yeah. than the price point that you're about to see on your early bird I want to get a white piece of paper because then you actually see the quality of the color all the more the big designers the ones that we you know casually mention and drop into conversation the likes of your Cartier the likes of Tiffany's and Co the likes of Bulgari they are all working with Onyx right now. And I need to point out, as we've said with our, uh, with our Blanca Onyx that was launched recently with Dave Troth, theirs is dyed. Nobody, nobody, nobody even sort of bats an eyelid about the fact that their gemstones no, are actually no. treated. We've almost made it difficult for ourselves here at Jewelry Maker um, by, no, not difficult, but we, we're, try, we're transparent and we want to say, right, okay, treated, not treated. Now, these are onyx. As an assumption, like sapphires, like tanzanite, the majority are actually treated in some way, shape or form. But... Oh, should we do it? Should we melt the phone lines? Now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit of a selection. Put a little bit of a selection just to show you what we have coming. We've never I, I don't recall, I should say, having onyx in cabochons. Not for a long, no, long, for long, long time. time. Yeah. And we have a selection of your shapes and your sizes and your quantity. We are not stopping there. If you tuned in yesterday to lovely Dave Troth um, and we're thinking, oh gosh, look how beautiful that red jade is. This is almost identical in its appearance. You've got that same wonderful translucency. You've got that absolutely beautiful, almost like a warm terracotta red. I am not saying it's that same gemstone. This is, well, much more abundant than red jade, clearly, yes. but that is yep. pri uh, price, uh, price reflective. I'm going to start with the ovals. We are not stopping here. Perfect if you do things like your bezel strip, your gallery wire, your bead embroidery, your shibori, your prong setting, all of the above. Those warm, intense, beautiful, beautiful reds. Now, I was sat next to Wayne, who is your gemstone buyer here at Jewelry Maker, when he bought these. And he was like, on Excel, cabochons. I was like, yeah, we haven't seen them in absolutely ages. And I know that he bought the entire entire quantity the quality when it landed as it was going through our uh, sort of our assessment literally blew us all away because when it comes to onyx you still want it to have that translucency that's why i mentioned your imperial green your your red jade that we had a few moments ago you still want that same translucency with that beautiful gemstone but yes it's more affordable ben wants to ask you a question do you trust him 
I trust you, Ben. Yeah. yeah. Do you trust him? Yeah. He's got a trustworthy face. It's a good egg. He's a good egg. Yeah. All round good egg. I trust you, Ben. Just shy of nine carrots across those two cabochons. Now, we're going to reduce that price point. But he's saying the amount that he takes off is depending on how many that he looks like he's going to sell. How many do we have, then? A hundred. Just under a hundred of these available. Imagine those in earrings. They, I mean, that's the first thing I thought when you put the box up. Oh, it's like they look amazing. They pop as well, wouldn't yeah. they? Because that's what Onyx does. Lovely autumnal colours. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. You could put a halo of gemstones around there. Diamonds we've got coming up a little bit later on. Team them alongside your beautiful pearls. We're going to give you a 60-second countdown. That's then that, that, that gives Ben the time to actually gauge how many it's looking like he is going to sell. Um, we've also got seven other Onyx opportunities to bring you on the tail end of this. So what we do with this kind of determines what's going to happen with the rest of your early bird. So it's not one single early bird opportunity. You've got seven. And by the way, I'll just give a little flash to the background. I don't know if you can look, see look, that. Can look. you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh. Yes. Yeah, we've also got the greens. So they would work absolutely beautifully together. Maybe one of the green and then the red onyx underneath and a prong set drop pair of earrings. Very, very nice. I, I like the idea of having like a bracelet with them as well. Oh, I lovely. Maybe, so Bess will set them. No, not enough people, Ben. You can't do that price tag. There's not enough people. Okay, with the amount of people that are there right now, let's show you what we can do. Ooh. That's very good, but we wanted to do a whole lot better. We wanted to go significantly lower. And we will, we're not talking a cheeky 10% here. No, no, we're really not. This is just a bit um, kind of crazy. But, even, uh, if, yeah. <laughs> even if you don't know what to do with them yet, even if you're thinking, I don't know what, how I'm going to incorporate those into my jewellery, look. If you're not somebody that's um, able to do <coughs> setting yet, you can always glue them to a backing fabric. Yes. So, so you could use them and like bead embroidery around them, or you know, you could you could attach them to even a metal back plate. Like Soru, uh, Soru, we had them yesterday. Mm. Uh, those quick makes, which have got the Biwa pearl yes. yeah. and then all the crystals all the way around. Well, they're about 150 pounds for one of those pieces of jewellery. You know, use things like your Ceruline, use things like your Milliput, use things like your sea beads, your Mayuki to recreate, be inspired by such uh, such jewelers we're not talking about a cheeky little 10 percent off that price tag we are going to drop it dramatically come on let's do it anyway it's sunday morning none of, none of the bosses are in are they nah i think so no nah, not on sunday i'd be very surprised if you didn't trust ben before he says you will now wow four pounds and 99 pence only I mean, wow. That's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. And yes, just so you know, you've got the green colours coming up. Um, uh, literally, we'll try and squeeze them in back to back, back to back. Um, there's about 100 of each of these opportunities just under. But you can shop ahead. Remember, this does have a bit of a knock-on effect. These are technically one of the largest that we actually have in, the, um, in this sort of collection, if you like. Beautiful translucency. When it comes to Onyx, most people go, oh, yeah, Onyx. Yeah, I know Onyx. It's, you know, it's, it, it's like your agate. It's like your your jaspers um not really because the likes of harry winston as i said tiffany's mm. and co the likes of bulgari and cartier are all working with your onyx um, and it does command a very high price point yeah if you use our own sort of purchase history we don't have a great deal of it anymore why well because it's very much in demand at the moment similar to your uh, malachite that we had that conversation a yeah. couple of days yeah. ago didn't we malachite is everywhere in the big Pop brands up. so it makes it more challenging for us to purchase four pounds and 99 pence only jenny wendy hello to you durham hello to Patricia, Vera, Lynn, Jenny, Nottinghamshire, Avril, Carola, Kent, well done to you, London uh, getting four, London getting two, hello to you, Maya, hello to you, Siobhan, Julie, Susan, sorry, Tracy, half the stock has gone already, is that, is that right, Ben? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't uh, ignore that, he just said even, even um, Primark are selling imitation malachite. Well, it's, it's popular, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. a popular thing. Well, it's good enough for Dolce & Gabbana. Why not Primark? Well, yes. Why not Primark? Absolutely. Dolce & Gabbana are using imitations. 
Yeah, yeah. Whereas these, not imitation, genuine onyx. Shall we do the red onyx rounds? The little duo. Ah, oh, they would be beautiful little studs, wouldn't they? they? They're really cute, aren't they? I like those. Maybe with some seed pearls all the way around. Yeah, maybe. Or like, a, like you could put like a little drop or something. I was thinking, you know, like with, um, maybe not the diamonds, but if you've got like a little pearl sort of, I don't know, smoky quartz or something. Oh, nice. or a little, You know, just something to sort of carry on sort of the autumnal vibe. And beautiful. The, the warm. Love that. Absolutely Colours, love that. And yeah. you can even glue. You don't have to use yeah. your silver. You can even glue, like, just a, a sort of butterfly post to the back of them, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you could. I mean, we, we can, you can um, get just back plates, can't you, yeah. as well? So, like, That's true. We've sold those, We've sold them before. We've sold them in the past. Left, but... 4 99 4 99 only. And, again, if you imagine maybe the drops on the ear and then you've got the, the ovals underneath, if you want to mix up the colours, you can I, do yeah. that. I'd definitely get different, a couple of different shapes and then team them together. Yeah. They look fabulous. Yeah. Um, I was saying, uh, saying the other day that they actually call these layout boxes. Oh, right. Um, okay. So over, over, I know, I know. Um, over in Tucson, um, I was really surprised by the amount of, well, gemstones that were sold literally like this, particularly in the high-end booths um, or venues. And that's because then you could say, oh, well, I want that in platinum or I want that in 18 karat gold. Yeah. But they have the sort of the gemstones arranged, if you like, and then you, could, you can reconfigure it if you wanted to. But that's what they sell these as, layout boxes. Four ninety nine only. We had a hundred of these available. Uh, multi buyers getting involved. That's three and a half carat in each of those perfect little solitaires. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Kent. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, another London. Hello to you, Sharon. Hello to you, Gloria, Julie, Janet, Tracy. New customers. Four ninety nine only. We've got the greens coming up. Um, you're going to match the price on all of them. Oh, that's good. So everyone can go, OK, well, I want this shape, that shape, this shape. But there's it. Ben, but Ben, wait a minute. There's sevens in here. There's sevens and fives and fours. Are you going to retract that statement? I don't know if you can. No. We've said it now. <laughs> That's why I outed him. Yeah. That's why I outed him. You're going to retract that statement? No. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You've tied yourself in a knot there, haven't you, Ben? You've got to you've got to match that price point. Four ninety nine. Have a little look on the website or chat to our call centre if you want to get hold of the green. Um, the green packs of beautiful glowing onyx. So you've got the reds, those wonderful warm. It's like an orangey red, isn't it? Very similar, that's why I keep saying it. Very similar in terms of its appearance to so that of jade eye. Yeah. Not gemologically, <coughs> excuse me, but visually. Okay. Let's bring you now the pack of three rounds. There it is. Let's put them all on pre-order. There's the remaining three reds, uh, red opportunities. This is the one we're on right now. Guess what? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. 4 99 You get the idea. So you can literally shop ahead on the different sizes and colours uh, that you want. So regardless of where you check out um, at the higher price point, everybody pays that final low. Um, nobody gets debited, of course, from their account until their order is ready, ready to be shipped. So, um, yeah, stock up your stashes whilst you get the chance. I can't remember the last time I brought you a beautiful Onyx showcase, um, particularly in the cabochons. Immediately, people... I think that's a jeweller, you know, that's... I think uh, it that, might be. Yeah, yeah. because... Um, uh, again, you only have to, it won't, won't make you, you won't have to work too hard to actually look for luxury jewellery brands that use Onyx. Tiffany's is probably mm -hmm. what the one that leaps to my the front of my mind because it's kind of got like the T on either side, like that wraparound bracelet and it's black Onyx. Right, okay. Thousands, thousands of pounds. Amazing. Four ninety nine for us today. I know that that will obviously be the precious metal as well, and you've got the branding of Tiffany's and Co. and the marketing and all of all of the above. But it's still the same gemstone, isn't it? Still the same gemstone. Beautiful little trio. I like the three. Uh, yeah, I mean they're sort. They've almost reminded me of dominoes actually at the moment. Oh yeah. You know, when you get the little number or, or the or side a dice. Of the dice. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I, I like the idea of having things like that because um, I mean, if you're even if you're making stud earrings. Quite often, people have got more than one piercing, so so you True. can have different sizes or different shapes and or wear them together. A, or that's a suite. Or it's a, yeah, or earrings and a, and a pendant or a ring. 
an ear and a pair of earrings, something like that. Yeah. Absolutely let's, love them. Let's get a wig along because we've got loads to bring. Let's do the oval four. Then look. Not ninety-eight pounds. No, 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 no. Not definitely not ninety-eight pounds. And by the way, look, I'll put that, those behind. Oh look. You've got an oval pack of four in green that's coming up that you can also guess what? The four so four ninety nine, yeah. Um, also four ninety nine. Make sure you check out those baskets. Make sure you have a little look on the website. Ben's loaded lots of goodies for the last time ever. He's been had his his, his, <laughs> his wrists slapped, haven't you, Ben? <laughs> Not literally though. Not literally. Just a bit of a telling off saying, Ben, no, you can't steal the kit team product. That's not how it works. But it was already done. It was like, well, Sunday, that's the last show that you're going to get away with that one. Um, 4 99 no surprise there. 10 carats of beautiful, beautiful glowing red onyx. And again, we've got only got three in the green um, coming up. Uh, coming up as well um you don't don't think of yourself i have to be a gemstone setter to work with your calibrated st uh, calibrated stones like this i mean 10 by 8 is a calibration it, i mean it is but i mean i mean i, I quite like doing things with seed beads so you can do like, <coughs> netting around them yeah you use like a like a they're not too small for that are they well no i don't think so because i mean we seed beads we've got um we've got 11 o's and we've got 15 o's i think so mm. you could work with those and still make like a little um well, I guess he'd be bezel, couldn't Love he? that. Yeah. Hello, Kayla. Those onyxes are beautiful. Gorgeous ladies and handsome gents. My jewellery seems to be getting a lot of attention. Must be... Oh, ah, yes. We just read your message out on the Wall yeah. of Fame. Um, Kayla, well done you. Well done you, my lovely. 4 99 only. Good luck, good luck, good luck, everybody. Going to leave that one with you. The final of the reds. Five. Eight by six, so wearable, that size. Yes, you have to keep your word, Ben. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Yeah, you can't go back on your word. <laughs> you know, you're here for one show only. At least you've got that excuse, haven't you? You gotta do it like taking a plaster off, just because it's like, just go, it. go for just it, do it. You've said it. it. <laughs> you said it. 4.99 for the pack of five. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, time is, this, that's the issue here. You've got to go faster pacey at Jewelry Maker, haven't you? Because otherwise we won't squeeze it all in. He says, I'm not used to it. Have you? Have you had a nice relaxing scone normally when you're on Sewing Street? Oh, that sounds lovely, doesn't oh, it? it does sound nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice relaxing scone <laughs> as you ease yourself into your Sunday morning show. Sounds No, amazing. do you know what I get, Ben? <laughs> faster pace, yeah. Oh, come faster on, pace, faster pace, OK? Go, 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 okay, go. 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 We've got to bring all the products in. Go on, deals, 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 deals. Check out your baskets, everybody, again, just <laughs> under 100 of those. Well done for the pack of five. We've got the three beautiful greens still to come as well. Green onyx is my favourite. Is it yours? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just iconic, really. I love it. Yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it. Which one do you want me to start with? <laughs> iconic green onyx. Yes, two packs of four. And we've got a pack of five. Let's start with a big pack of four. That's these in the centre then. There we go. Oh, That's look at that one. colour. I love green onyx. It's got, for me, I, it always makes me think about um, Great Gatsby. Yes, yeah, I can see that. It's a very deco kind of thing. I mean, if you take And also the, the lantern at the, bottom, well. uh, at the bottom of her spear. Uh, oh. Spear? Pier. <laughs> no she's spear. got a spear, yeah. She hasn't got a spear. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, with black spinel, like yeah. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, so Claire, Claire's kit with the sparkly, little black sparklies, I mean, it looks amazing. Look. So you could make something fabulous with that, couldn't you? Like, what, I don't know, maybe that could be like the main stone and then Love you've got a sparkly tassel coming from it. Yeah, it's got strong, it, its colour is strong enough to be able to be the feature, the I feature think stone, is. I, I really think. Do. Yeah. Um, with green onyx, it's got this, it's got this a really beautiful fusion of blue and green. You know, one of the reasons why we love emerald is because it has this blue, bluish undertone. Colombian emerald in particular. Maybe that's why we love the green onyx as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's sort of like the, the, the teal, it's verging on the teal greens yeah. and things like that. So I suppose that's what you mean, really, with the blue, isn't it? But... Um, I, I, I mean, personally, I, I like all these sort of colours anyway. I've always yeah, liked sort of, sort of like 
I've got a thing about peacock colours, really, and, yeah. and for me, it sort of, it sort of sits in there. It's kind of like blues and purples and, and teals and turquoises, and and then you've got the gorgeous greens in there. And it's just they just it is a very me. it is a very yeah. peacock colour. Four pounds yeah. and ninety nine pence. Um, do you if, do you ever put do you ever put put voices to animals? Uh, I have done. Oh, I do it all the time. I love putting voices to animals, like like the dog that's gone. You're the maple kind. You yeah, know him, the maple kind. You there's, 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 one, there's a swoosh, you're me. swoosh face dog as well. Tell on, the lady the, yeah. <laughs> I want the nuggets. Have you seen that? No. Oh my god, it's hilarious. <laughs> so go on YouTube. It's they tend to be French bulldogs, and it's when they're at the drive-through, <laughs> and there's a French bulldog literally perched up on the dashboard, going, "Tell the lady I want the nuggets." <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> anyway, peacocks, I can just imagine being yeah. this, like, absolutely fabulous, you know. Like, oh, flat. darling! Oh, oh, yes. oh, look at me, I'm beautiful. And it's these lovely colours, isn't it? Don't you see that? <laughs> well done, everybody. I know, I went off on a tangent, didn't I? Four pounds <laughs> and 99 pence only. Let's bring you the other pack um, of four, yes? And then we'll finish, uh, we'll finish with the, the, the pack of seven. <gasps> seven. <gasps> pack of seven. Oh, look at those. Well, obviously, we're not stopping at £98. I Clearly. Mean, uh, it, it's, it's sort of almost unfathomable, you know, the, yeah. like the fact that we can do this, but... £4.99. Yeah, uh, yeah. Genuine onyx. I just... And it's the whole don't think about it, just do it, just go. Yeah, go and don't <laughs> overlook the fact that this is a genuine gemstone, you know. it's. I mentioned earlier on agates and jasper, some varieties of, of those, yeah, we can bring you a, a mm -hmm. rock bottom prices. Onyx is very, very popular, and that's why I, I, I gave the sort of analogy of your, uh, of your malachite. All the big designers are using yeah. it right now, which makes it even more challenging for us to actually per to purchase and to be able to do so at prices like this. Four ninety nine only. We've got the pack of seven coming up in a few moments' time. Make sure you do check out those baskets and make sure you check out the website as well um, because producer Ben has um, put loads of goodies on there that you can shop ahead and pre-order on. We've got things like your serenite wands. We've got clasps that have never been seen outside a kit threading materials those lo lovely leather bracelets that we had a few moments ago um we've got the ring forming die press have i said that right Ooh. Ooh. i know i know the bracelet forming die press yeah i think i know what that is it creates that shape yes. doesn't it yeah allison launched yeah. that didn't she the wavy bangles. The wavy bangles which are great 4.99 only okay one last onyx to bring you and we're going to try and squeeze in I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got to squeeze those in, Ben. They're absolutely amazing. <laughs> absolutely amazing. Oh, look at that. So you said, oh, there's a photograph. I wonder if we can go on tap, tap, tap Google. Can you research Angelina Jolie? Oh, I know where you're going. The Columbian Emerald. I know the jewellery, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. They are beautiful. And it's a different gemstone. But it, this just Same reminds look. me mm. of that look, yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, she's a bombshell, isn't she? Amazing. So beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. so beautiful. John Scott knows her. Did he? He worked on Tomb Raider. As what? Like doing costume, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. That does make sense. Wow. Amazing. So, <laughs> he, yeah, John, John Scott wasn't, I, I, although wasn't I, I would Lara love Croft, to no. see John Scott I, as Lara I think Croft. he would rock being Lara Croft. Absolutely. It'd be amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> um, anyway, well, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about, there it is. It actually has, <laughs> it actually has that same colour intensity, particularly if I look, if I just, let me just move it off the, off the white background, because actually with the green, we should be looking against... Something a little bit darker. Look at that. Look at that. There's that beautiful, beautiful glow that we see within uh, with, with green onyx. Now, if you imagine it against the skin tone, four ninety nine only. Four ninety nine. Make sure you check out your baskets now. I've got to move on because time is time is racing by this morning, and this, this is this is incredible. A treasure trove. That's, that's one item, is it? Yeah. You get all of that. Yeah. It's a collect. You're a collector. Oh my gosh. 
You're a collector immediately <laughs> if you've got if you've got this box. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The selection. <laughs> I know. Look at the quality of the stones. You've got a pair of garnets, you've got spinel, you've got topaz, mystic topaz, you've got to a lovely pink tourmaline. Look at that. Sky blue topaz, peridots within there, citrine, uh, aquamarine, what looks like London blue topaz. Um, in this as well. I'll have a little look at the specifications in a few moments time. We're going straight down. 29 perfect round brilliant cut gemstones. Instantaneously, immediately, you are a collector. Now we'll bring this to air and you can get hold of it on your split pay. Which is absolutely awesome. You know, all your, the jewellery houses, the majority will source their, it's that fire opal in the centre. Look, the quality of that fire opal. You've got diopside in there as well. Aquapraise, it looks like aquapraise. Three split payments of £33.33. The big jewellery shops will buy the stones, buy the parcels, and then design the pieces, like, exactly like you do. Design the pieces there afterwards. We are not mm -hmm. stopping here. Was this a previous deal of the day? Labradorite, sixty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence That's only for twenty-nine gem quality stones. Gem quality. I I I don't blame you for multi buying on this one. Have we got many of them available then, Ben? We did, but we don't anymore. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not surprised. Can you bring the specifications for me, just because then I can give you the uh, so the list and the carat weights of the different gemstones that you're getting. Um, you get you get uh, um, a, a multi gemstone Ch Chang by Perido, Tanzanite, Tourmaline, Ruby, Ruby. Wow, look at the Ruby. Yeah, red garnet, amethyst, Tanzanite, Perido, Hessonite garnet. Petalite, love that, which is one of the pure whites. Sapphire, beryl, kyanite, amethyst, Santa Maria aquamarine, Madeira citrine, black spinel, sky blue topaz, sa another sapphire, Sakota emerald, neon apatite, more petalite. Oh my goodness me, 29. Color change garnet. Wait, that's that price tag for the color change garnet. It's absolutely amazing. All the ruby, rubellites in there. What an amazing collection. Diopside, fire opal. No way. Stop it. You know the gemstone that I thought was labradorite, that sort of dark grey. Second row in, second one up. That's Alexandrite. Wow. That price tag's amazing that for the Alexandrite. Yeah. Um, I want to buy some of these. That's an absolutely bonkers deal. You said some, you, you said, did you say rubellite? You said tanzanite? You said kyanite? You said erisa kyanite? You said uh, Alexandrite, ruby, the premium gemstones, some of which, well, certainly some of which I don't own. $69.99, or you can get this home today at £23.33. This would be the most beautiful addition to your deal of the day today. Um, that's literally the quantity that we have. That's it. That is it. Perfect addition alongside the finest quality diamonds that we've brought to air. Now, we're going to cut to a break in a few moments. The last remaining quantity, these are too, too beautiful to be within our vault. I tell you what, before we dive into our break. Ooh. <gasps> Make sure you check out nice and early, last remaining quantity. Don't go anywhere, your kits are up after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, 
everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Amazing kits coming your way. Gorgeous jewellery. Very Hannah <laughs> Osborne. Oh, thanks. Hannah, I'm, I'm loving this. And like we said earlier on in the show, it's kind of, I like it. It's going back to more sort of traditional jewellery maker kit roots. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's quite eclectic, really. There's, there's so many lovely different, like, different types of kits. But principally, they've all, they've all got um, a gemstone and they've all got a spacer. And that kind of ties them together as a group. Yeah, because they, they, they are, I, I guess these have all got a theme, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. And then you've got your... That's your, just amazing. Yeah, I just a mass. <laughs> yeah. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to start with the pearls. And then we're going to move into the other kits because they've got a bit of a theme. And then obviously uh, Hannah can talk you through these amazing pieces of jewellery and designs. Uh, and any questions that you have, then feel free to message us in. Now, what's better than a strand of pearls? This many pearls. <laughs> Lots. Because consider it this way. Dan, can I borrow that board? I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should have asked for this in the break. Um, but, no, let's just tip them out, shall we? Should we just go for it? Because how many... I know Bruce is already getting anxiety. <laughs> Ben's coming in. He's like, don't do it, don't Ready? do it. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to go absolutely everywhere. Um, yeah, you think about the amount of variation strands that you'd have to buy to get a pearl scoop. Oh, and that's the joy of a scoop. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it is like pick and mix, isn't it? Like <coughs> shop, and you and yes. literally you you pick out the ones that you're drawn to, or you can just use them randomly, and whatever you put together, they're going to look amazing because Perfect. it's all pearl scoop, you know. Yes. So it's it, it's still going to go together. Hannah, do you remember the NEC? Uh, uh, yeah, chaos, but brilliant. Absolute <laughs> chaos. When we did the NEC show. Um, it was snowing, and it was just manically busy. What area of our stand was the busiest? It was absolutely the loose gemstone box. Yeah. And, and didn't we actually break it at one point? It got a bit frenzied. Oh, uh, it was crazy. Broke? It was madness. And I, did, <laughs> I just remember doing multiple trips to the NEC yeah, to bring backwards back Backwards and forwards with more and more and more scoops. Yeah. More, we need more scoops. <laughs> Look, and this is why you just get the most, you, you get the best deal, firstly. You, did, you, did. you get a huge selection, huge variation. I mean, look, you've got green, you've got purple, you've got silver, you've got large sort of cobalt blue, you've got some lovely dusky pinks in there, um, you've got some uh, mauve, you've got some vibrant pinks here. Honestly, I'm going to be here all day if I actually sit and pick through all the different variations. But a great way of incorporating lots of vibrant colours into your uh, into your wardrobe, which I know you're a massive fan of. Yeah, absolutely. I'm now, like, yeah. What's sorry. Not, what's not to love? I was, oh, was going to wax lyrical about colour, but I'll, uh, I'll wait for that. <laughs> Well, let me show them, show our lovely viewers. Look at that! All these spaces that you also get. A big box of spaces in different sizes. And colours as well. And colours. Yeah. yeah, you got the rose, the silver and the yellow gold. Now, um, for some reason, Ben says, I don't like that price. You, you don't get... like number four? You... Why? The masses of pearls though, Ben. Oh, it's my, my lucky number four. Bit too pointy for you, okay. You prefer a two? Well, it's very swan like, isn't it? I suppose. Yes. <laughs> Much like you, yeah. <laughs> for that reason oh, and that reason it. only, he says, I'm going to turn it into a two. Fair enough. Goodness me. I, I, I know that Claire's done, and she spoke about it yesterday actually, the bubble styles with pearls. Yes, How yes. Beautiful they are. They do look lovely. With all that colour as I well. Mean, I mean, you could make like so many bubble bracelets or, or, or one massive necklace if you Ooh. really wanted to go all in. It'd be amazing. Rosary linking? You could do rosary linking with it. You could do threading with it. You could do macrame with it. You could do, I don't know, you could probably set it into um, various different clays and things. There are so many different things you could do with these pearls. It's amazing. And there is just tons. You don't quite yeah. realise what on your screen just how many you're actually getting. Um, a vision of multiple colours. Perfect to go through all the different seasons. Talk us through your lovely makes, because I can see three very pearl-heavy necklaces. Yes, yeah. So um, when I when I got this, I did that thing where you, oh, sort of, you sit there and you and you go kind of um, have a mindful moment. And although it's a scoop of all different colours, sometimes you want to mix them all together, and sometimes you want to sort of zone them. Yeah. So I was picking colours that I thought looked nice together, and I was also cherry picking some of the the, the big whopper pearls. Ooh, the whoppers. Because I wanted to feature those in in some of the necklaces. Um, and then, so I've gone for sort of like the, the blues were like the sort of purpley tones, and then I've teamed the, that with Love. the silver spaces. And then I've got the, the greens. Ooh. I think the greens with the gold look really regal, really lovely. I love that um, one. And then, uh, and then there's, there's um, I was trying to think, it's like a, a coppery kind of tone. Oh, so that's like that, that's kind of like <coughs> the, um, crushed berries, if you like. So it went, went different. That Ooh, but it's summer fruit. Yeah, summer fruit. Some if fruits. You like. or, 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 you know. Or winter berries. I was thinking berries, yeah. Yeah, yeah winter, winter berries, berries, yeah. But, um, yeah, so that's the bubble style that we were talking about, where, where you just have a piece of chain and you put them all on, on, onto um, individual head pins and then attach... That's the bubble two, style technique, yeah, isn't two, it? two or three onto the same link. And then I've tried to I've tried to ombre it a bit because yeah. that bottom pearl is kind of it's more kind of like silvery tone like undertones to it gunmetally tones but with a hint of the purple. Love and that. And it graduates up through through sort of all the so the, the pearls and the cranberries and the raspberries at the top. You know. So the pearls are what sort of dictated if you like the colours of actually what yeah. have, have determined the design itself. Yeah, for that one. Um, I mean, look, and, and just out of curiosity, so you've made so you've made what? Four very, very gem heavy, pearl heavy necklaces. Yeah, and I guess yeah. you would probably have had more. Left oh yeah, over. I mean I have still I've still got the hang on, in my in my rustly bag of stuff, I've I've got the I've got the leftovers of that kit, which oh. is Oh. Have you even touched it? I mean, there's masses still. There's loads. 
so that that's all the same sample. So you can see, obviously, this hasn't got so many of the, the big bright pearls in there because I've pinched them all for my yeah, design. Yeah, you use those in, like the blues are gone. But and... um, but there's absolutely there's a pink ne necklace in there waiting to happen. There's a white one waiting to happen. I think another green as well. Another green, another sort of autumnal one. Yeah. There's so oh, many gosh, in there. Me. So you're going to make a lot of designs, and these are Masses. genuine cultured pearls as well. Um, don't forget, you get the spaces with those, which I think are an absolute necessity. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, you know, we always need them, regardless of the technique that you're actually doing. Always needed. Now, I'll leave that one with you because we've got more kits to bring you as well. And again, any questions, you can uh, message us directly into the studio. So, which one of these do you want me to start with? Because I've got five kits. You've got six. Oh, yes, yeah, six. Sorry, then. Oh, yes, because uh, those... Those and those and those, those yeah. Well. They're little kits, so, it's, so I'm not... I had that one and that one. Did you? Yeah. Shall we start with? So is that that, that one? one? Yeah. So, so those on next to you. Oh, these. Yes. Oh, Hannah, talk us through these. Um, well, so those ones, I was thinking, <coughs> I sort of think solar system. So I was thinking, I don't know what it's called, but you know when you when you look at sort of planetary things. Oh. Um, so you look at planetary things and you get like that sort of aura, that glow around, yeah, around the orbit, like, yeah, the stars or whatever. So I was thinking, oh, well, how can I, how can I kind of add that, uh, do that with this kit? So I've just added one pearl and one circle of, of the of the wire, which is amazing. And then I've added seed beads. I've brick stitched around the edge. So <coughs> one is kind of like um, it's kind of like an ombre effect, and then goes down to like the lo lovely sort of pale coloured um, pearlescent one. Um, and then the other one, because it's sort of, like a, 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 a sort of a browny, bronzy coloured pearl, I, I went for the, um, well, I, again, they're out of my stash, the seed beads, but they're just an 8 But that's, all, that's all good. We've just got to switch the graphics around um, because there's two different pearl kits. Uh, two different pearl kits coming up. So the one, um, we'll, we'll, we'll correct it and put the graphics on for this one that you're talking about right now. They're absolutely beautiful and uber, uber high end. So, um, I mean, is this, 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 I've never seen this before. Is it thick I, wire? I, I mean, I, it's, it's mega, but um, I'm, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's silver. I'm not sure, actually. But it certainly looks like it. It looks like it. it it's, it's malleable enough to be sterling silver as well. Yeah, so, I'm going to yeah, say I mean, it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. But it's like a, a nice thick wire. Um, but then I'm, I'm not particularly a wire worker, so I was thinking, what, what, what shall I do with that? But then I realised actually the, the pearls have been drilled such that they fit on the wire. They're big drill, big that, drill hole pearls. Yeah. So you, so, can, so you can pop them on. You could make, you could make rings with them. You see that? Make earrings with them. There you go. I've gone for pendants. So yeah, uh, this is nine two five sterling silver wire, and it's a one point eight thickness. You get full 30 centimetres. So only yesterday we were talking about soldering. And um, so if you are a silversmith, then you, you'll be interested in this kit, I think, for the wire yes, as well. Yes, for the wire. Um, but you don't have to be a wire worker, as Hannah's just said. You know, you know, it, it, it sort of weave your seed beads around, recreate Hannah's amazing designs here. Big gram weight of precious metal. Now, we know the price of sterling silver has already, uh, uh, well, has gone up continuously, really, um, over the past few years. And yet we seem to be doing the polar opposite, don't we? <laughs> Are you ready for the deal? For all that sterling silver, 1.8 grams. Sorry, 1.8 millimetre thickness. I'll work out the gram weight in a second. 24.99. Wow. That's an wow. amazing deal for the, for the silver. On, on yeah. yeah. And it is solid. If you look, if I turn this around for a second, look down sort of the, um, sort of the end of the wire, Solid nine two five sterling silver. I don't suppose Ben, you have the um, the, the weight, do you? Because it, it it's obvious when I pick it up, but obviously to tell our lovely viewers at home, it's 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 significant in terms of the actual gram weight there. One point eight thickness, so great if you want to do things like your uh, um, your texturing, I suppose, and certainly soldering, as we said a few moments ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely like the idea of using it for rings as well. I mean, just like a nice chunky ring and you could add a bit of texture to it. You could add a pearl onto it and then texture it as well if you wanted to. So it's, it's, it's one of those things that it's something that it's, it's a, a precious metal. It's, a, it's quite an amazing amount, actually, I think, for that price point. It's a, it's and, a then, and then with the pearls as well, it's like the fact that they're drilled 
in such a way that you can use it with that method. Directly yeah, onto. It's fabulous. You don't have to be a silversmith. No. So exactly. we're looking at 7.75 grams of 925 sterling silver. Um, amazing. And I didn't even know we did a 1.8 thickness of wire. No, well, I've never seen it before. But so, so when I got it, it was like, oh, this is exciting. What, what shall I do? So when you look at your lovely yeah. pendants, Hannah, I mean, they really hold the structure, don't they? Because of that investment of sterling silver. Yeah, they do. Um, so again, sorry, just talk us through uh, your design. So you've got the pearls directly onto the wire. Yeah, so, so um, th this is one that I've got for a, for a demo, but I'm using the, the, uh, the brown one because there's two in the kit. So, mm -hmm. um, the drill hole is is already there, so you just you pop the pearl on onto um, well you snip away one. Well, actually, if you start off, if you put the pearl on the end of the <coughs> whole thing, yeah, and then you can see actually where the pearl is going to sit um, in that coil, and then you need to make sure that you, you're slightly overlapping so that the ends of the the um, metal will go into each side of the pearl. Uh -huh. So then you cut that away, and then you just it literally sort of kind of wiggle it or twist the pearl on slightly so you can get the other side down and if you, I did actually add, add a little dab of glue just in case um, and, and you sort of link them together and then I thought well genius I mean it's it's lovely on its own but I've got a thing about seed beads so I just thought I wanted to make that little halo it's beautiful. Um, a bit more decorative um, so I mean you can leave it just as a classic pearl on a silver ring and it looks lovely yeah, um, yeah, yeah. but I've just added my own as a solitaire Ato seed beads around the edge with the brick stitch um, just because I liked the idea of, of trying to ombre away from the colour of the pearl yeah lovely um, and I just happened to have those sort of colours around so I thought yeah I'm going to do it oh <laughs> Hannah we love your designs I can't wait for your demo um, we've still got five kits to bring you and we can't be late for your deal of the day and we've got your demonstration okay. not going fast enough okay should we drop the price? It's, we, Go, it's it, silver, it. yeah. 1.8 millimetre thickness. So all of the tools that we've brought you recently, the mandrels that Dave, uh, that Dave, who's Dave, sorry, Ben's uploaded to the <laughs> website, um, you know, the forming mandrels and things like that, you can use those with this thickness of wire. Purely because of time, we've dropped that price tag. Uh, well over seven and a half grams of sterling silver in the actual uh, length of wire, which we were just saying is 1.8. And you're getting your, your big, it's, it's a terrible terminology, isn't it? Big drill hold. Yeah, it doesn't sound Pearls. very nice. Not but... very romantic, but that is exactly what they are. Yeah. You've yeah. got a, a sort of a, a thicker drill hole, um, which opens doors for us as jewellery makers. Now, we've got more to bring you, so let's move on. Leave that with you. Make sure you check out your basket. Let's move into, let's jump into the Chrysler appraise kit, shall we? I love this. I mean, I gorgeous. love this gemstone. Yesterday, I don't know if you can find, it might be in Liam's folder, Ben, um, Black Spinel. If you look at black spinel, bear with me. Yesterday I showed a necklace um, that had black spinel and it featured little pops of chrysoprase in, uh, in along it. It was a really beautiful, a bit like uh, um, Katie Parker's. Yes, okay, the crocheted the, 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 necklace. The seafoam. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit like that. Just simple beading. That's it. If you scroll down, can you see there below the tassel? That's it. Oh, that's lovely. Actually. That's the same gemstone as what uh, as what I have draped across the back of my hand. But I will say this is actually better quality because it's got more intensity of green. Look Black spinels and Christ, terrible English, chrysoprases. Oh. So black, black spinel and chrysoprase, that's what it should have said. Yes, yeah. Um, Multi-strand necklace, £1,161 for that necklace. Can you make that? Yeah. yeah. I think you could. We brought you the black spinel deals yesterday. And here's some lovely additions. These are beautiful, Hannah. I, these, these are one of my favourite things that we've ever, ever had on Jewellery Maker. Ever, ever, ever. Why I, is that? I just love them. It's like I've got the thing about these wrap bracelets. Oh, show and, me that bracelet. Um, so th this is the Moonstone kit that I've got, but it's, it's absolutely the same thing that I would want to do with the Chrysoprase kit as well. How should I? I'm kind of in the wrong. I saw angle. it on your. I saw it on. Oh, so now what is that thread onto? Is it elastic? Uh, no, so that's just onto um, ordinary beading thread. Um, so like threading material, and then uh, just added. Um, so those spaces are like these ones. Oh. To show you. So this, I think that the one you've got in the Chrysoprase one's got slightly different pattern. Yeah. Um, this one's like sort of the hammered finish, but it's just it's spaces, and this one's moonstone, and those lovely those lovely spaces, and then a few seed beads. Um, That's beautiful. And, and you just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. Could I put that onto a, a memory wire? Yeah, absolutely. So the only thing with memory wire is you've got to make sure that the um, the drill hole will will go through. So so. Um, 
Oh, in the gemstone. Check it first, but I, yeah. I would definitely try because generally speaking, most of the gemstones will. Um, not so much with the rondelle, so so the moonstone might not be so easy, but the, probably the Christ of Praise. But if not, on. good old beading thread, yeah, trusty beading, beading thread. Yeah, we're absolutely. not stopping there. Christ of Praise, mega gemstone. Um, again, Levion. Big jewellery houses working with your chrysoprase. That's completely natural, by the way. That beautiful it's green. That colour is amazing. We don't. It, 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 because it, we're quite new to it here at Jewellery Maker. Um, and take this as I, uh, 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 you know, as I mean, it's we we undervalue this gemstone here at Jewellery Maker. Yeah. It fetches yeah. astronomical prices outside of these four walls. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Beautiful for the diamond cut uh, 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 tubes, rather, which are massive in terms of their actual length i don't have that detail um i can't see them but you're thinking you're looking about pro possibly what two inches i think end to end probably probably but i mean they, they do fit lovely with the curve of your wrist yeah so, so i mean this is why i like making the wrap bracelets because they're, they're so comfortable to wear yeah and the, you know when you're when you're making the wraps you just got to make sure that they sort of sit on the on like either on the top or the bottom of your wrist because if they're on the side they, they can I yeah, they're, they're, then they sort of fight back. But if they're, if they're sitting flush with your wrist, they, they are absolutely ideal. Absolutely Looking beautiful, out. aren't they? And that is 925 sterling silver. Clearly the diamond cutting. That's why you're getting that amazing luster. Um, well done. We've got uh, this kit, but with labradorite coming up as well. So what? these will be they're, just like a most beautiful little collection. They're so gorgeous, aren't they? So these are the same, aren't they? Let me just double Let's check. Have a look, because there, there are several different patterns. Oh, no, they're, they're not. Again. They are yeah. different. Hang on. So, I almost feel like I need to place this alongside your bracelet. I go over there. <laughs> Bless you, Hannah. Like that. <coughs> so you could Look, do a version. That would be stunning, actually. Kind of gunmetal colour. Oh, wear the yeah. two together. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that one is hammered, but it's 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 kind of smaller hammers, isn't it? It's yeah, it's a little bit more te um, more textured. textured. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. Does the bracelet have a clasp? It does, but it's from my stash. So, okay. so if, if I if I do, turn you want to steal around, steal your arm back yeah, again? Yeah, yeah you I, can have your I, arm back. Steal my arm back. So so I've used a little star shaped clasp that, that I had um, from a sterling silver kit that I got ages ago. Love it. Um, which is really nice. But you could you could, any kind of clasp really toggle clasp. There's loads of clasps on on the website, aren't there? We've had that little thing earlier where you can help yourself to do this up oh if, yes if you struggle you know <coughs> that's so. perfect um uh, yeah ben has put lots of new clasps on the website which weren't previously available outside of kits and he's not even stopping here either i mean if that was in a boutique you there's no way you would be per, you'd be purchasing uh, purchasing sorry i'll get my words out in a second a genuine gemstone bracelet at 30 pounds no you wouldn't with sterling with, silver. With silver in it as well yeah so so i, I think it's just it's one of those things you know, Twenty that, pounds today. That's amazing. I I love that. That, that one. would be lovely yeah, alongside. That what, looks what, fantastic. I might I might have to see if I can get that one, <laughs> and then I've got the two to work together. And then you've got the yeah. two. <laughs> it needs to happen. Moonstone yeah. and Labradorite need to be worn together. Beautiful diamond cutting. Um, so in terms of the length, you've got fifty millimeters uh, across the actual curve. Uh, curve rather Th uh, three millimeter that's obviously if you were to look down the tube so you've got more than enough space to even put some of your leathers yeah, i would imagine if you got the there. hemp earlier that would fit through as well yeah so, you know if you wanted to mix it up and, and have sort of like a, a bit more boho in there i, I quite like the bling look you know yeah. just go all sparklies but uh perfect there's options <laughs> lovely you've got me thinking about christmas makes now i think that'd be a really yeah. nice christmas make i, I keep thinking I might, I've, I've, I've got a group of friends we refer, refer to ourselves as the birds and uh, and uh, the birds, <laughs> the birds, and I, I think I, they all have sort of you know when you think of people, you like the, a, a certain comes style, yeah, yeah. A style, yeah. So definitely, I've I've got one that that's one of the birds, gold, one's rose gold, one one's kind of like sort of cobalts and blues and things like that, and then, and then. So we, I could make them all one, couldn't I? Love it. I you I definitely should. Should. I I should. Especially when they're just nineteen ninety nine. Well yeah. done. Let's move on to the moonstone. Oh no no no! But Ben Ben. You don't care? All right, then. Fair enough. <laughs> so I don't care, Al. I'm doing He's it anyway. Doing it. He's just but, doing it. I mean, OK. <laughs> you, get the you get the diamond cut... Spacer bars, yeah. The tubes. Tubes. You get the moonstone. Beautiful moonstone. Um, wow. I don't know if you've clocked this, though, Ben. 
You've also got 40 sterling silver spacer beads in this. He says, listen, I'm in charge here. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. He says, 11 years he's waited. Oh, absolutely. You, listen, you're the boss, Ben. Go on then. What are you? 1999, it should be more because we've got the spacers. He's the boss. He's Amazing. the boss. I want to buy this kit and I want to it's, recreate. It's, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it? I want to steal the, that bracelet. Oh, okay. Recreate that okay. look. Fair enough. Because even I could probably do that and that's saying something. You're quite good at making jewelry. No, you always put yourself no, down. I'm not great. I'm not great. <laughs> I'm not great. But if I get a little bit of inspiration, I can, I can, I can generally follow it. Ah. And a simple beading. Yeah. Would you mind just showing us the end of the clasp and how you finish that off? Is it sort of classic? Um, it's, it's, it's literally, I've just got crimp beads. Hang on, if we get in there, can you get really close there? Yeah. So, so by my thumbnail there, there is a tiny little crimp bead. Yeah. It hasn't even got a crimp cover on it. It's literally just crimp. Don't on need there. it. And then beading thread onto a jump ring and then onto a clasp. So you could use any any clasp, but I, I like toggle clasps because it means you can adjust the, Me the bracelet quite easily. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. These are absolutely flying. He's drunk <coughs> on power is our Ben. He says, I don't care that there's sterling silver spacer beads in there too. <laughs> He's just going to do it. I, I would never try and tell you what to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm but your pop, uh, puppet. I almost said I'm but your pop puppet. It. <laughs> um, um, still got more kits to bring you again any questions and do message us what are you going to demo um so i was going to do the little um autumnal colored uh, halo satellite whatever we're going to call it spacey Beautiful. thing <laughs> you, sterling silver space i know it's gorgeous isn't love it? that so cute we'll we'll leave uh the graphics on your screens for the bracelet that uh, okay. you're actually yeah. wearing right now and that mad 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 deal um yeah we're just letting our call center catch up with the volumes of you on the phone lines and on the web okay over okay. to you okay right so i've got this lovely so can we can can you see am i am in the right place uh hello, hello yes yay there we go there we there go there so perfect. bruce is just finding me there we go hi <laughs> There we go. We see, Brilliant. Oh, nice nails, Hannah. I know. I said, what colour shall I go this time? And I couldn't decide. I started off with a purple and ended up with a blue over the top. And, I, and I've got blue pull. Blue, blue pull. Blue I like pull. it. Nice nails matches your rings. I love it. I love it. <coughs> <laughs> right. So this is the <coughs> wire. And here is one of the um, pearls that was in the kit. Yeah. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that on <coughs> to the end like that. <coughs> And you see it fits quite nicely. But what I want to do is cut this away from the, the coil um, so that both ends will fit just slightly inside that pearl. So it needs to be kind of, I don't know how you explain it. It just needs to be a little bit longer than a complete coil. <laughs> okay. Maybe. And you're kind of opening it like a jump ring. Yeah, just, I'm just, just sort of stretching it out slightly. <sighs> and then it's only... Only a fraction, and then I might need to trim some away again. So again, cutting through there. So I've got a single coil there. And then what I want to do is I want to bring that together. It's quite malleable because it's um, sterling silver. So at this point, you might want to just pop on a, a jump ring before you secure this, or you can just add one after. Um, I'm wondering if that's a complete one or if it's got a cut in it. Let me have a look. I think that's a solder jump ring, so I'm going to put that on now just pop that on there and then what i've done is, is i've just added a tiny little bit, bit of glue so i have to apologize for using my um glue from home but um any kind of wait, um, wait. any kind of super glue something that dries quite quickly oh. um is quite useful hypo cement um you could use hypo cement but like do give it time to sort of sort of set slightly so put a tiny little tiny little bit in there and it really only Say you're a jewellery maker without saying you're a jewellery maker when you carry around high post and Oh, I know. Well, this is it. I, I was like, the trouble is I've run out. I need, I need to get some more. So, so that's my bad thing. <coughs> I should have um, I should have been shopping at jewellery maker. <laughs> right. So I'm going to just pop that pearl so that it sits over where I've glued it. And then hopefully, because it's quite quick dry, it, sh it should be ready in a second. See, that looks lovely. Isn't so, it? That, so that on its own is, is lovely, yeah. isn't it? And, and I think that's quite a classic statement thing anyway. But then me being me, I, I've got a thing about seed beads. You could do this with other small rounds if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Any, anything you like. And then 
it, actually, they're supposed to be from the pearl kit would work as well. Yeah, they, perfect. Yeah, keep, they, your, keep your eye on the screen as well. Whilst uh, at Hannah's demoing, Ben's going to upload some okay. um, extra goodies. Brilliant. That might go alongside your Sounds kit. amazing. Right, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping that we're sort of secure in there now. Normally, I'd leave it a little bit longer than that. But then I'm just going to... Um, so I've got a piece of... Um, what have I got? I'm using wildfire. Um, and I'm just going to tie one end on. And I'm going to do a double overhand knot followed by a single knot. If I can do it, I'm going to have to pick it up. Come on. Go through there. And then I want that to be nice and close to where the pearl is. This is why you need to make sure your glue is sort of, sort of dry already. So this is just like the anchor point, really. And then just do, I always do an extra knot. And then you might want to add a tiny little dab of glue in there as well, just for extra security. Yeah. Push that on there. Okay. And then I'm going to do something called brick stitch. So I'm going to take, the other end's got a needle on it. Where am I? Down here. Um, and I'm just going to pick up one of my 8O seed beads. I'm going to let it thread down. Oh, yeah, watch out, Elle. Flailing arms when I'm sewing. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, it is sewing, technically, isn't it? It's like seed beading is, is sort of sewing. So ben, Ben's just got excited then because it's... We mentioned, like it. we mentioned a needle. Yeah, a needle. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the, uh, the needle behind, um, behind the loop hanging on to the seed bead, and then I'm going to come back up through the same seed bead. So what that does is um, makes it sit on the outer edge of the, of the um, silver ring. Okay. Like that, so I'm just going to push it up as close as I can. You want it to sit really, really close to that pearl, so you might need to do a bit of manipulation to get it there. Then you pick up your next one, and, it, and again, you let it thread down. You go underneath the silver ring and thread through. And then you pass this back up through the same seed bead. Like that. And what you'll find is they sit next to each other and nice and flush with the outer ring. So I'm just going to carry on doing that and all the way around, basically. So I'm going to thread on one, go behind the ring there, and then through the same seed bead and pull it, and then you get this lovely little pattern forming. So if you want to, um, so I'll kind of, you could go random with this. If you wanted to do the ombre effect, what I've done is I've made sure that I've worked out how many beads mm -hmm. are gonna go round there, yeah. um, and then I've worked out how many of each color. Um, so for this one, because it's random, you can just pick anything up, but for the other one, I'm just, I think, can you have a look at, like, next to that one? This Elsa? one? Or the, so, it, yeah, so that one. So I think it's got three different colours of seed bead. So the ombre, I think, is it three of the pale pink and then five of the dusky? What, do you want to actually count just, the seed bead? Just, just one, two, three, four. Is it four of the first colour? Four, uh, th three of the almost colourless, then yeah. four. Yeah. Do you want me to count these? Uh, no, because and I think it's fine as long as you know that you've got enough... Yeah, I think that's sit, sit around the. Th I think that's three and then four. Is that? Yeah. Do you all agree? So you've got to make sure if you're going to do the ombre effect, you just got to <coughs> leave enough space to have like the the four and then the three on the other side as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you, so you get that lovely effect. <coughs> carrying on, I'm just passing through, and you keep, you just keep going all the way around, like this, so it builds up. I know this is supposed to be the faster demo, but <laughs> no, all right. I'm doing that. Do You're all good, don't you? It's worry. one of those. It's kind of like you need to. I'm coughing away anyway in the background. No, you, you sound. Oh, it's the cold. It went struggling from, a bit. I had the co a hor stinking cold for a couple of days, Oop. and then it went straight to my chest. So at least. Oh, that's not so good, but it's going. It? It's going. It's going. It's the aircon. I think it makes me cough. Yeah, it does funny things to my sinuses too. The air conditioning. Mm. But yeah, so again, it's, it's just very repetitive. It's, it's the same thing all the way and just using the eight toes. And you know, when we're working with silver, most people say, oh gosh, I've got to be a solder. I've got to do soldering. I've got to do, or, or wire work. Actually, no, you don't. You don't have you to. You can absolutely use it with yeah. like your wildfire, can't you? I think it's just not being afraid to try things. So just because it says, you know, it's, it's, 
It's one of those things, it might, it's like, like with earring findings and stuff like that as well. If it says it's an earring finding, sure, but it could be anything you want it to be yeah. if you just ignore the fact that they've called it an earring finding. That's true. That's so it's very, the same, very true. same with silver wire. It's like you don't have to do like soldering because it's silver. You can use wire however you see fit. And it's, just, it's just what's in your imagination, really. Love that. And yeah. you've got lots in your imagination as jewellery makers, haven't you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> slightly, uh, <coughs> slightly rebellious, but... I quite like that. I like that. I like that. We've still got a couple of kits to bring you. Um, but again, keep an eye on the website because uh, uh, as we're literally as I'm talking right now, Ben is uploading some amazing class that have never been seen outside of kits. Um, yeah, he is. Yeah, you're going rogue. You're going rogue. Five ninety nine. There we go. So you can see the pictures and everything on the website or um, or speak to our lovely con uh, contact center. Uh, yeah, check out at your leisure. Although that being said, when they're first time being on their own, yeah, they I mean, they honestly, do get snapped up very quickly. And he's probably not going to be allowed to do that again. No, no, so, not probably. So, no, yeah, he's yeah, told. he's been told off. It's it's one of those things. Ben, it's... you can't steal the kit team product. <laughs> this is the last time you'll ever get away with it. That's what they they said to him. There we go. Hey ho, hey ho. Do you think it'd be the last time he tries? Okay. No. Uh, he'll no. try, but it won't get won't won't get allowed. <laughs> yeah, he says he's persistent. He's persistent. I'll give him that. <laughs> Go in. <laughs> Look at that. Just oh, it's beautiful. It, I mean, it, it it does build up quite quickly. It's one of those things because I've got an, an <coughs> ASO seed bead as well. They're they're quite um, big. If you wanted yeah. to go faster, you could use like a six O something like that, or you could use your spacer beads from your. Um, your pearl kit from earlier would look lovely. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're using a, a ring that's already soldered, by the way, for, for the jump ring, you need to pass that through the jump ring as well as you get to sort of the halfway point. Otherwise, you'll, you'll get yourself in a pickle later and it just moves it out of the way. You're in a right pickle. In a pickle, yeah. And and whilst whilst uh, Hannah's actually Halo, and should we bring the other kits to her? Because I yeah. think uh, they might well... Um, uh, be an on-screen sellout likewise. And again, you can incorporate, I'm just thinking your wraparound bracelet with this. Ooh. In fact, ooh, or oh, this with the moonstone or with Turn the labyrinth. Off, and then you can play with that while I'm doing this. Yeah, okay. Okay. So uh, Hannah's just taken the bracelet off so I can show it alongside. And you can visualize it then with the, ap with the appetite. Now appetite, neon appetite, which this is, um, oh, look at that. It's just one long length. How so, amazing. so it's a, yeah, the, the length of that is just determined by the length of your wrist. So keep measuring it as you go. Amazing. I'm just going to wrap it round. I might need to help you do it up because I've got a jump, the jump ring's too big, really, for the clasp that I've used. That's okay. Going. That's all right. I won't bother doing it up. I'll yeah. just literally hold it there for demonstration purposes, if you like. Look at how beautiful that is. You get the idea, don't you? Now imagine it with your appetite. Here are your diamond cut sterling silver spacer bars. These are very geometric. You see the difference with those? Really geometric in their actual faceting. You've got um, beautiful performance luster. Again, 925 sterling silver. And Ben, again, these do have the sterling silver spacer beads. So this kit shouldn't be under 20 pounds. <laughs> Did you blow a raspberry at me? How do you spell that then? Did, you, did he actually blow <laughs> a raspberry? Went... <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I like that. No, that's a good. That's a good answer. Yeah. I'm gonna say strong answer there. That's what yeah. he thinks uh, shouldn't be. Uh, you ain't the boss <laughs> of me. Uh, Forty of these beautiful three millimeter st uh, sterling silver spacer beads. I mean, back in the day, Han, we used to sell packs of thirty spacer yes, beads yeah. for like fourteen pounds. And, and absolutely, because it's sterling silver. It's so that's these. Yeah, it's something that is is it's um, a precious metal, isn't it? Or yep. It's something that is going to add value to your designs. Yep. They look amazing. They do. Very durable. So, yeah, a little pack of 30, not 40, but a pack of 30 back in the day was about £13.95. It used to come in little black chiffon bags. Do you remember that? Yeah, 13 95 Now we're bringing a pack of 40 and you're getting Neon Appetite and you're getting diamond cut sterling silver spacer, be, uh, spacer tubes, rather, which are not small. They're 50 millimetres in their length at 20 pounds. Um, so this is where I sort of, just permission just to jump on a soapbox for, for just, just a nanosecond. Our prices most <laughs> definitely are not going up. They are going the opposite direction, I, I know, think. No, it's crazy, isn't it's it? It's mad that per sterling silver is as affordable as this. Make sure you do check out those baskets. How many do we have of this kit then, Ben? 
We've got good quantity, but at these kind of savings, they are, of course, skyrocketing out. And would, it, would you treat it in the same way as you would do the moonstone? Yeah, then? absolutely. So it's one of those things. You can either sit and try and plan it out and, and make it all very symmetrical and things like that, or you can just sit and thread it. So if you're sat watching telly and you're wanting to make something, these are sort of therapeutic kits. And as long as you make sure you keep measuring what you've made against your wrist, yeah. so that your so that the bars, the bars fit in the right place, yeah. and so that um, it's long enough to actually do up for however many um, wraps you want to do, um, then you, can, it's just, you just carry on going. You, like you can put seed beads, you can put spaces, you put gemstones, anything. If you've got any Swarovski bicones or anything oh, like that yes. at home. Uh, why is there a clock on the screen? What's happening there? What's happening there? I like that. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> what are you doing? Some new... Rhythmic, rhythmic deals. deals. I like that. Oh, bring on the rhythmic deals, Ben. He says he's not, he's not going to be popular for this, though. Oh, do it. What are you got doing, Benjamin? You said. Are you being naughty? I slow mind, Ben. What? I <laughs> slow mind. Oh, my okay. goodness me. I want I'm buying this kit. I'm That's buying that kit. Giveaway yeah, I deal. want that one and I want the Labradorite one as well. Me I... too. Yeah. They... That, that was the price of these back in the day. Yeah. That... About seven, eight years ago. That is fabulous. Uh, he, says, he said, are you blaming me then? Ben said, you, oh. you said that, and he thought, ooh. That is so I put that little seed of thought in your mind there. Firmly passing the buck there. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. $14.99. <laughs> we have got quantity of these, but as you can imagine, I've got three rows of names. You recognise a deal when you see it. Even if you're thinking, I might as well buy that for the spacers. I might as well buy that for the diamond cut tubes. I might as well buy yeah. that neon appetite. I mean, and it goes such a long way as well. I mean, I'd, I've gone gem heavy with it with the um, moonstone one, and I, I'd, I'd got probably maybe seven or eight pieces left. Mm -hmm. um, but I, the reason I didn't use those is because in the back of my head I was thinking, oh, I could make some earrings to go with it. But I could have included them because yeah. you know you just keep going for as, as much or as little as you like. And if you don't want the full wrap, you can just make a simple bracelet. You know. Love it. Thank you. That has just given me my postage back, says Jane. Yeah. Very good point there, Jane. Uh, morning all, Hannah. Love your designs. Oh, Could you use you. a 0.25 uh, wire and wear pearls for the pendant? What would it, um, for, for this one, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so you mean, do you mean oh, like to wrap the, it the, the wrapping with it? I, I think you could. You'd have to be very careful not to snag it so it didn't snap the wire. Um, yeah. But if you were careful, absolutely, and it would look stunning. And then it would be exclusively set, yeah, sterling all silver, sterling wouldn't silver. it? silver, that would be very exclusive. Yeah. Uh, hello, Elizabeth, saying, morning, everybody. Stunning oh, designs, oh, Hannah. Thank you. As always, isn't it, Elizabeth? Absolutely stunning. Oh. Uh, another message from Mandy. What a deal from Big Bargain Ben. Whoop, whoop. He says he'll take that one, big Mandy. Bar He's come a long way from being yeah, a deal triple fairy. Bees. <laughs> triple Bs. Triple Bs. It's much more macho than the deal the, fairy. Yeah. 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 Do you want to stick with that one then? Big bargain Ben. He likes Deal Fairy as well. <laughs> uh, 14 99 Maybe it's only. Big bargain Bruce, you never know. Big bargain Bruce. And, and the Deal Fairy. I big, mean... big bargain Bruce. He says, oh, he's, he's not, not in charge, charge of the bargains. bargains. Yeah. Just for the benefit of the tape, you know, for the record, Your Honour. <laughs> he was just there, he was a witness. <laughs> a key witness um, in the crime. Right, one more kit to, set, uh, to show you whilst Yeah, Anna. sure. Uh, so, so, yeah, we're coming back to you. Be with okay. you, Anna. Stay where you are. Um, and I love these. I actually bought these the first time they're actually launched. It blows my mind that you can take a pearl, you know, firstly, grow them effectively. All cultured pearls are sort of formed within their mollusks. Nurture those mollusks, care for them, make sure that they're free of barnacles, make sure that they're feeding beautifully as well in the, um, in the fresh waters. Um, ideally then, sorry, we're just over here. Um, ideally then you get the perfect spherical pearl and then let's go, and, let's go and put a whopping great big drill hole right through the center. <laughs> 
That, the I mean, casualties of pearls that must, I need tweezers, that must come um, from, uh, from, from, yeah, from drilling pearls of this size. Um, because quite literally they'll fracture yeah, at, at the end of the day. Um, but thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah to the rescue. But why do we want big drill, drill holes? Not just in pearls, in any gemstones. Why, why are big drill holes exciting for us as jewellery makers? I mean, it's just so that you can use it with so many other materials. So if you want to put it, put it onto a wire, you can. If you want to put a thicker cord through there, you can. Leather. If you, if you want to use leather, if you want to do multiple passes of cords or threads or things like that, mm -hmm. then you need the space. But I actually think, yeah, you're gonna, are you going to try it? Yeah. Go on. I think that's going to fit on like that. Your tube. Amazing. So if you wanted to incorporate that as part of a wrap bracelet, that's like a like a slider that goes in the middle, like you know, like a nice. like a fidget toy almost. But yeah, it's fidget wow. jewelry. Look at so that. Amazing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And also, by the way, pearl harvesters and uh, any gemstone dealer basically will be will dig their heels in about drilling a big. Hole yeah, for the I mean, of gemstone. honestly, it, it does feel a little bit like sacrilege, but at the same time, if you have a beautiful design in mind yeah. and you're gonna and you're gonna still make the most of that pearl then i think it's worth it yeah definitely absolutely mad price point so you do get the two different pearls so you've got uh, um that lovely uh peacock or tahitian s color um then do you know how big those drill holes are four mil that is, it is a big drill hole isn't it but it, i mean four mil so it has to be a sizable pearl to big start pearl. with doesn't it 12 mil those it's pearls brilliant amazing Love so them. you get the two um um in the white and also in that beautiful peacock color plus then you're getting the diamond sterling silver diamond uh tube which is again 50 millimeters in its length um make sure you check out those baskets that's a bonkers deal wait do you get two of those tubes because i've only got the one you do get two Okay, you get two. I've only got the one, so we'll just stick with the, uh, Bruce's lovely recording. Aww. Back to you if you're ready. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. So um, I've just got um, all the way around, basically. And then um, to, to finish that bit off, you then, you'd still gonna go underneath the ring and then what I like to do is like, the, you pass the needle under there, mm -hmm. then you have your loop of thread. So if you put your hand through the thread and pick up your needle, then it will pull it automatically into a knot that will sit next to that pearl. So you just, you just want to do that as small as you can, tuck it in. And then I've, I've already done a couple already, so that's my third one. And then again, I would just, if you can, very, very gently put a tiny, tiny little bit of glue in there. Um, this is the point where hypo cement would be useful because of the precision nozzle. Yeah, nozzle. yeah. Wait a minute. Have we got some? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Like that. Have it just in my, uh, in my little bag in next there, to me. Somewhere. There we go. Tiny, tiny. Actually, I need something, because when you squeeze it, you end up with... Just make sure it doesn't all rush everywhere. Give it a little squeeze. Pop that literally right onto the knot. Brilliant, and I can do it on that side as well then. Teeny, teeny, tiny, like that. And then always make sure you put the lid back on so it doesn't seal itself up. I struggle with getting that in there. There we go, got it, got it, got it. It's in. So you let that dry before you then trim these two um, tail ends away. And then that's the fundamentally the pendant. But because you've already got your um, jump ring on there, you can then thread on a piece of chain or a cord or whatever you want. And then <coughs> just add on findings at the end. And that's all you need to do. It and really is. Look how is beautiful that is. That simple. So pop that through there. Like that. Imagine if you, if you made a few of those. I mean, you just... I think they're lovely, but then I'm biased because I made it. But <laughs> No, they are. You're right. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to trim those ends away. And with that kit, you could make a, 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 you know, a lot of them, couldn't you? You really could, yeah. So, I mean, you could make earrings out of these. So, so you get the one, the big sort of um, pale coloured pearl, which, which could be like just the pendant. And then there's two of these, so they could be earrings. Mm. Um, but because I'd got the, like, the <coughs> sort of autumnal kind of coloured beads that I wanted to add to it, I, I just thought I'm just going to go for the pendant thing and then use the other one as my demo. But, you know, if you've got that first pearl kit with those spaces... Oh, lovely. I mean, the drill holes in those aren't, aren't as big so they wouldn't fit onto the um, wire itself, but you could absolutely put pearls around the outside if you wanted to, just for something different. 
Beautiful. Lovely. You know. Love it. Hannah, as per, uh, as per usual, beautiful, beautiful Thank jewelry. You. Um, make sure you check out your baskets on Hannah's kit. Amazing deals there for, uh, from our very own deal fairy. Um, now, before we dive into your deal of the day, the most, the best diamonds in jewelry maker history, um, we're going to squeeze in a few more little deals if we right. can within this hour. Let's do it. And here is gorgeous Dan, handed in the goods. Dan the man. Dan the man. I'm going to start with, oh! Is this Ooh. new? Oh, no, that's the bamboo... Um, Root, isn't it? No, oh, lotus root. Lotus root. Guess what? Never been seen outside of a it kit. Hasn't. I've had it in a kit. It was beautiful. The lotus root. It's very Gucci. It's and it's also shaped the same as the spaces are, so it sits on your wrist beautifully. Oh yeah. my goodness me! I've never seen this. Hence the reaction. Type A natural jadeite. Um, very gemmy. You've got that yeah. beautiful, uh, wonderful translucency. So in the shape, and again, I'm learning as uh, I'm learning with you now. Um, this is what a lotus flower root looks like. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, and it's like I, I know everything's like so sort of beautiful on the on the surface anyway, but like with um, lotus flowers, but the roots are good as well. And it's I don't know. It's there's something about that. You know, the fact you've got like cultural roots that go down through the ages. Yeah. And, well, you know, uh, 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 you know, at the at the when you think about certainly, and I mentioned Gucci because they have a bamboo collection. I think it started in leather goods in their handbags, and then it sort of worked its way into their uh, jewelry collection. It might have been the other way around. I'm not entirely sure, but it has this kind of vibe about it. Yeah. I don't believe they've ever worked with Type A natural jadeite. Yeah. Maybe they should. Maybe they definitely yeah. should. Now, um, absolutely. I mean, if this was an auction, um, if this was a star buy opportunity on its own. It is, can you see, I'm just showing you the two little connectors. So you could fit, just feed it directly onto a beading thread or a sterling silver chain. Um, then, yeah, £98.99 and is an absolutely amazing, amazing deal. But this would have been, this would have been purchased for your kits. We have 35 of these available. I've never seen it before. It's absolutely stunning. Can you imagine that? Do you know what? Imagine that at the front of the decolletage, just below the nape of the neck. Imagine that, that just sat there. Wouldn't it? It Some would, fine yeah. chain. It, it would. It would sit beautifully. It really would. It's got that lovely soft curve to it. Shall we do the one-time offer deal? Never to be repeated again. Oh, my gosh. You know, do it. We've already been said we can't steal <laughs> from, the, from, from the kit team product list, quite rightfully so. Well, as this is the last time ever... Let's go out with a bang. I I love this. I want to add this to my order. The, the quality of that jade eye is unbelievable. Remember, when it comes to jade eye, I'm going to talk massively about the four C's with your diamonds in the next hour. Um, but with jade eye, it's colour, it's, it's texture, and it's translucency. Plus artistry you've got all of those four things in their droves we're going to do a close out deal one that will never be repeated i think it's probably going to sell out on the back of the deal that i've just heard in my ear and um, the meaning behind the lotus flower itself it's considered to be the most beautiful flower on planet because and also the journey it reflects it it, yeah. it it's sort of uh um it's the depths of the water the murky yeah. waters the journey that the flower actually travels um to then be in bloom yeah the, the muddiest waters effectively the lotus flower grows and this is that root 49.99 only uh, that is we're in so much trouble if dave sees what we're doing <laughs> mm, you don't think he's in today thank I goodness hope not. i did ask him <laughs> yesterday i did ask him yesterday i said like, oh are you working all weekend he was like i don't think he is i don't think so let's hope not do you know what, you know, Dave, Dave's, he's, he's, he's as naughty as, as the best of well, us. Well, yeah, he's quite naughty, to be fair. Yeah. But that is very, very, very low. 25 carats of your natural type A jadeite. Uh, well done to you, Alice in County Durham. You've got yours, Wiltshire, Janice, London, London, Janice in London. I've got Surrey, Gloucestershire, Dolly, Maker, Christine, Angela, Elaine, Carola, Lisa and Janice. Uh, you've got yours as well. Unbelievable, dear. Look at the quality. 
Look at that beautiful quality. And it's one of those pieces that's going to sort of, it's a conversation starter, isn't it? So people are going to mention, you know, oh, oh what is it though? Um, and you can say, oh, it's the, the root of the lotus flower. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can talk about the fact that it's the root of, lo of the lotus flower and the fact that it's jade as yeah. well. You know, so you, exactly. you've, got, you've got two sides to that story. So that's, that's exactly. quite interesting. But also, it's so wearable. Yeah, it is. That's the other thing. That would be really lovely, like you said, on a slider bracelet, just yeah. worn across the back. Because look, I'm, we're technically looking at the underside of the carving, but look how beautifully that sits. I mean, it's beautiful. On my wrist. So lovely. In fact, I actually really like it worn like that. Yeah. Put the slider bracelet either side. That's it. Job done. Job done. We've only got a single figure quantity left. I will leave that one with you. Well done, everybody. Never to be repeated. Guess, who, guess who's just got involved? Yeah, we've clocked you. <laughs> yeah, guess who's on Susie, of course. Have you seen that before, Susie? It's beautiful, isn't it? And at that price tag, madness, absolute madness. Make sure you check out those, Susie, because there's only single figure quantities there. And everybody else that's got it in your basket. Now, 12 years we have been broadcasting. Jamporia are about to celebrate their 18th birthday. Now, um, Jewelry Maker uh, stepped away momentarily to immediate media, but only to be welcomed back again with open arms into the Jamporia partnership. And it is because of that partnership that we are able to offer you the likes of Jadeite, the likes of diamonds of this grade. We've brought you diamonds by the Strand. They started with nuggets. And do you remember the excitement when we first saw diamonds I mean, on our screens? Yeah, I mean, the fact that they're accessible to, to the everyday person, you yeah. know, it's like you don't, you don't have to break the bank. No. Nope. But you can actually achieve, like, the, being the owner of diamonds. I mean, that, that's massive. For, like, for so many people, that is massive. Uh, totally, totally. And this, this is, I, I don't, I've got no qualms. <laughs> No hesitations whatsoever in saying that. 12 years, these categorically are the best that you have ever seen. This is the entire parcel. There's no more in the vault. They are that good. We wanted to bring every Everything. single one here yeah. in the studio so that Hannah and I can literally congratulate you as you make your purchase. And draw all over the boxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just You've got beautiful. canary, you have fancy diamonds, colourless diamonds, marquees, pears. They are just breathtaking. The best we've ever done, limited, ultra limited, and it's happening after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of eight till five. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of eight till five. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I'm so excited about this opportunity because firstly, I know it's something that we've never done here at Jewelry Maker before. Yes, you've had diamonds. I know that's something that we've experienced and that's something that we've offered on the strands, which are absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness me. Sorry, every so often I see that recording before me and it literally stops me in my tracks. Now, if ever, and I get asked this question all the time, 
Yeah, but do you do gem quality? Um, I don't need to answer this. Just check out the recording. Yes, we absolutely do fine quality. Genuine diamonds, not lab grown, genuine diamonds formed by Mother Nature. And what, what's filling me with excitement today is that we are going to access these at an affordable price point. Now, just before we dive into sort of a, a, a brief a sort of PowerPoint, if you like, a presentation, I want to, I, I learned a fact, and I don't believe it's changed recently. The average UK diamond engagement ring is 0.3. 0.3 millimetres, that is, sorry. Sorry, sorry, three millimetres. I don't know what that is in carat weight. Three millimetres in its size. You're not just getting one three mil solitaire. You've got a parcel of fine quality. So I think each and every single one of these diamonds is absolutely engagement ring worthy. There are 19 available opportunities. Now, have you bought the graphics on, Ben? No, really? No. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness me, that wasn't meant to happen. They may well sell out, Ben, before I, we even get to the bottom of the presentation. OK, let's get cracking with it then. Let's talk about it. Let's fit. Oh. OK, because also we don't get the opportunity to do this very often. I'll talk to you till the cows come home about the history of certain gemstones. Jade, I think we're, we're much more educated on these days uh, than we were. Rubies, sapphires, emeralds, tanzanites. We've spoken at length about each of those gemstones, but one that we never really get the chance to talk about at length is diamonds. We don't get that chance. So I was like, look, let's, let's seize this opportunity and let's educate ourselves on the history of diamonds because we almost overlook it. We go, oh, yeah, De Beers, diamonds are forever, and that's it. But actually, this is a history which is stretched across hundreds and hundreds of years. So what are diamonds? I think we all know what they are, but diamonds are actually formed over billions of years under intense heat and pressure deep within the Earth's crust. Diamond as a material is, the, is a natural mineral consisting essentially of pure carbon crystallized in an isometric system. Now, so we're talking to the, the crystal structures here. Diamond is the hardest substance occurring in natural form. Physically, uh, diamond has a hardness of 10 on the most scale, um, a, relative, uh, a relative density of approximately 3.52 and a refractive index of uh, 2.42. Now, listen, that's something that maybe I needed to know when I was studying for my GIA. All you need to know is it's 10 on the most scale, so incredibly durable. That's why it's so favorable as, a, as an engagement ring. And it sparkles. It gives you fire. It gives you scintillation. Or what I should say is... We aspire it to, to have the fire and dispersion like these. Historically, the name diamond arises from the Greek root of Adamus, meaning unconquerable and indestructible. Diamonds have been source, a source of fascination for centuries. They are the hardest and most brilliant of all precious stones and have throughout history been a symbol of status, power, wealth, love, spirit and magical power. Diamonds have been sought the world over, fought over, worshipped and used to cast love spells. Throughout history, they have been portrayed as a magical object of desire, protecting the wearer from harm, bringing good luck, embodying celestial spirits and endowing the wearer with charm and the ability to attract others. Diamonds have held a special allure for royalty with monarchs, uh, competing um, with one another for the possession of renowned gems, often using them as instruments of diplomacy. Until the 15th century, only kings wore diamonds as they were considered a symbol of strength, courage and invincibility. Some went into battle wearing heather levy breastplates studded with diamonds and other precious stones as it was believed that the wearer was thus had supernatural powers as diamonds were considered to be fragments of stars and the teardrops of the gods. 
here's a history that I don't think we've ever actually spoken about. Um, diamonds again, we, get, we go, oh yeah, De Beers, diamonds, everyone knows diamonds, but look at the history that goes alongside it. During the Middle Ages, more attention was paid to the value of diamonds rather than the mystical powers surrounding them. Due to the heightened public awareness of the value of diamonds, mine owners perpetuated myths that diamonds were poisonous. This was to prevent the mine workers swallowing the diamonds in an attempt to smuggle them out of the mines. The popularity of diamonds surged during the Middle Ages with the discovery of many large and famous stones in India, uh, such as the uh, Kohinoor and the Blue Hope, which I think we're quite familiar with. Over the centuries, diamonds have been associated with romance and legend and have developed unique status as the ultimate gift of love. It was said that Cupid's arrows were tipped with diamonds with the magic that nothing else could equal. The Greeks believed that the fire in a diamond reflected the constant flame of love. It wasn't until 1477 um, when Archduke Maximilian of Austria gave a diamond ring to Mary of Burgundy that the diamond engagement ring was introduced. At that time, diamonds were considered talismans or charms that could enhance the love of a husband for a wife. From this time forward, the royal tradition of giving a diamond engagement ring began to be embraced by people around the world. Placing the ring on the third finger of the left hand dates back to the early Egyptian belief that the vena amors, vein of love, runs directly from the heart to the tip of the third finger. So in actual fact, we've always accredited De Beers for Diamonds Are Forever and maybe for instigating the diamond engagement ring. It wasn't De Beers. Historically, it dates back thousands of years. But the global demand of diamonds, which has always been relevant has dramatically, dramatically increased. The price of diamonds right now is higher than it has been for many, many, many years. Natural, ethical diamonds are considered a symbol of everlasting commitment and trust. That's what makes them extremely popular among people, especially couples. While diamonds and diamond jewellery include wedding rings, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, cufflinks, and has always been the first choice of most individuals. The demand for diamond jewellery is increasing even further. The global demand for diamond jewellery has increased by 2% during the last year, and this is expected to rise further. This is clear from recent stats shared by De Beers, which is an international corporation specialising in the diamond exploration, diamond mining, diamond retail, diamond trading, and the industrial diamond manufacturer sectors. 2% might seem like a small percentage, especially when you compare it to the likes of Jade. That's a great example. But what we mustn't overlook, 2% on a million dollar market is enormous. And take a little look at this graph, and it's just basically showing the growth um, of the diamond market. It only looks like a small percentage. It's a $90 million business. Yeah, billion, billion dollar business. My husband was saying to me the other day about the difference between a million and a billion, um, how dramatic it actually is. I can't, too, too many digits for me to comprehend. And that's back in 2017. Only a couple of weeks ago, I actually popped in. I've got a friend who deals within gold and I actually popped into his shop and I showed him a couple of pieces that I actually had. And, and he actually said, I'll be completely frank and completely honest, he went, you, get, you won't get anything for the colour gemstones that is in that jewellery if you wanted to sell them, but you would for the ones with the diamonds. Because it's the world, uh, worldwide known. Then recognised. The diamonds have the value straight away. Due to the rising demand of diamond jewellery, De Beers increased its prices for the third time in a row. Other top diamond producers across the world have also increased prices by nearly 1% to 2%, which amounts to be a lot of money. Uh, with current insights, the diamond industry has been making sales of 530 to 550 million dollars with greater profits for higher quality stones. The, the market is absolutely at a peak and the price of diamonds are absolutely at a peak. So then here comes little old jewellery maker saying, we want to bring some of the best quality diamonds to our lovely viewers. But we want to do it at an affordable price tag. Is that possible? Well, 
this is all we were able to acquire. 19 opportunities. And there's less than that now because collectors have already got involved. Let's just, can, can, can we just look at, I don't know, a few. I'm going to work my way. Each of these parcels will be slightly different or will have the most amazing, amazing quality. You've got some blush pink diamonds in here. Do you agree with what I said? Engagement ring worthy? Yeah? Let's move along. You have the most amazing colourless diamonds in here. Look at the quality that you are getting there. I know jewellery houses which have a shop front that would include these in 80, you know, would have diamonds in 18 karat gold that won't have this grade. I know what this deal of the day is going to. And frankly, it is astonishing, even if it was for one of those solitaires. We're actually over allocated. Yeah, there's more in baskets than we actually have available. Now, you might be thinking, OK, Al, I want the diamonds. They are the best that I've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. In 12 years, we've brought you strands, which I love. And please don't think I'm being derogatory to the strands. I'm absolutely not. But they're different. If you want the best calibrated diamonds, then today is the day. That's amazing. If we were to stop there. Now, I have to keep this a certain amount of this secret, so I've got to be really careful what I say. A very good friend of ours here at Jewelry Maker came to me uh, a few months ago and said, Elle, I want to pop the question. Can you help me in what kind of diamond I should be looking for? This is the kind of design that I'm looking for. Um, uh, he, wanted, he wanted a pear cut. He wanted a little halo all the way around. He had a budget. I can tell you that the carat weight that he purchased, beautiful, and it is in 18 carat gold as well, beautiful. The carat weight that he purchased, round about the same as what you're looking at right now, paid more than what's on your screens right now. Granted, it's a finished piece of jewellery, but it was, a, it, was, it was higher than what's on your screens. We are not stopping there. Let's take... Let's take it under a thousand pounds. There are only 19 opportunities available. In fact, there's less than that. I want to buy these. There's 14 available now. I want to buy these because I know even with my connections in Hatton Garden, I can't buy this quality of diamond at anywhere near the dealer day price tag that you're about to see. And that's with connections in the trade. I wouldn't be able to source it, no chance. I probably wouldn't be able to buy the parcel of diamonds at this quality, even if we were to stop at the price that we are right now. But we're not stopping there. Look at these. Canary diamonds? Canary diamonds, anyone? Think about the Tiffany's and Co. Think about uh, uh, Lady Gaga, who wore that priceless Tiffany's & Co necklace on the red carpet recently. Vibrant, vibrant canary yellows. You have a canary diamond. You've got a heart cut diamond in here too. It's absolutely incredible, this opportunity. Remember the four C's. Twice the amount of people have it in their basket than we actually have in stock. And this is no way near your deal. No way near your deal. How many times have we discussed taking, um, and, and just because yesterday I was joined by the fabulous Dave and we had those red jade opportunities, how many times have we discussed, I don't know, like pillar and stone, oh, look at this amazing high goo, and they've got an amethyst in the centre at £12,000. Can you imagine if they'd have put a diamond like this, what the price tag would have actually been? Can you imagine? We're in that scale of quality. On split pay, you can get these parcels, or a parcel home rather, for £200. See that pear cut at the top? Look how beautifully cut that is. Remember the four C's? 
carrot weight, color. I'm going to say that's probably about G color. I think that's about, which is great. That's about the same as my engagement ring, by the way. Well, here you go. In fact, I don't mind making a comparison. I'm going to make a comparison. Do you think it's brave? I'm confident. I'm going to show you my engagement ring. My husband sourced this for, through, through Jake. Right, my diamond is G, is a G colour. And it's just over 90 points. I'm talking about the solitaire stone. Look at the colour of mine. Look at the clarity of mine. Now have a look at the colourless diamond on the recording. And I'm only saying that one because it's under magnification, which is how we should be looking at diamonds. Look at the quality of the colour. Look at the clarity. I've got 10 left. 10 of these left. 200 pounds on split pay. How about we take it? How about we, oh my goodness, that's low, Ben. Let's take that split payment off that price tag. Try and source 40 points of this grade of diamonds for 799 pounds and 99 pence anywhere else. I would really, really, really struggle to do that. You can go into your Ernest Jones. You can go into your Beaver Brooks. You can go into your Tiffany's & Co. Diamonds and source solitaires of this grade. I've got no hesitation, no qualms in saying that. The jewelry, the jewelers that I worked at, which had the likes of uh, your PRJ, had the likes of your Cartier, had the fine jewelry houses within, they never would they be three figures. And that's just for one of those individual solitaires. We had this many. In no particular order. Hang on. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, my goodness me. That's how many I have left. Oh my goodness me. There's one here which has a red color in it as well. Oh my goodness me. Take another. Oh my goodness me, these are unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Are you ready for your deal of the day? We're so over allocated. Get them home. And my, under the loop, we should be looking at diamonds under a loop. That's where you assess those forces. Look at the size of those diamonds. And you watch how quickly these sell out. We were never stopping, never stopping, uh, never stopping at £799. Ten have gone and I've got, what, 90, nine remaining, is that it? Yeah, nine remaining in this opportunity. Sharon, Anna, Illinois, Janice, Essex, London, Elaine. We've got multi-buyers. My goodness me. I think this is probably one of the best diamond deals that you may well ever see moving forward. It certainly is one of the best that I have ever, ever seen, even with the connections that I actually have um, down in Hatton Garden. I could source you a diamond. If you came to me and says, Elle, um, I want to have a diamond, which is, say, let's use the pear cut as an example, just because it's on our screens right now. I want an elongated pear, fancy cut. I want it to be round about G colourless, which is which is amazing quality, by the way. D, you start talking about astronomical prices. I want it to have a VS clarity. I want it to have quality of cart. I don't think I'd be able to source it for you at a triple figure price tag, even definitely not at £499. You can get these home today for £100, 99.99 over five, interest free, monthly split pays. How incredible is that deal? Yeah, that's a good point. You don't get interest free anywhere these days, do you? Um, but not of the quality like this either. Margaret, you've just secured yours, so I'm going to take yours. Oh my good, oh my goodness me, the canary yellows are unbelievable. 
There we go. You've got yours, Margaret. Congratulations. Now, on the website, names I can see because you do go off the page. Annette, Elaine, Abiola, Carol, Fiona, Janet, Maker Wanting 7. Well, if you want that quantity, you'll definitely need to check out. Uh, Jacqueline, Ali, Cheshire, Helen, Karen, Anne, new customer, and Deborah. What an amazing first purchase this is. And if you're thinking, oh, well, how do, how do I turn this into jewellery? Listen, I'm not a silversmith, I'm not a goldsmith, but this is the kind of opportunity that you would source the fine diamonds and then think about the design thereafter, put pen to paper, take it into a gold a, a goldsmith jewellers near to you, uh, and they can create it for you. They can certainly, we can help you buy the mounts um, here at Jewellery Maker and certainly across the Gemporia partnership. We only have, how many is it? Nine. Nine of them left. Goodness me, this is. There was only 19 ever purchased. Hannah, this is exciting, isn't it? I, I can't this... believe what they're even discovering at the minute. You heard it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we'll go back to just... my opening statement at the beginning of this deal of the day. The average engagement ring is three millimeters in its size. Well, you've got a parcel of diamonds most of which are over that, most of which are over that three mil size, some of which are significantly over that size. <clears throat> but I can bring you a diamond at 10 pounds to bring you fine diamonds of this grade is the difference. And it has been 12 years in the waiting that pay cut just needs to be a solitaire, doesn't it? That's the kind of ring, that's the kind of diamond that I want to give to my girls when they turn 18. Yeah. yeah. That's the kind of diamond that I would love to see in a beautiful diamond pendant. This is, if we go back to my presentation, this is aspirational jewellery. This is jewellery that we pass on from generation to generation. These are heirlooms, legacies. This is the kind of legacy that I want to leave my kids. I have seven of these left. Maybe, Ben, maybe we're not quite there. I know, I know, I know, I, I know what, I know what Wayne said. He did say 499 is our, is, is, that's the price. Cannot go any lower. I've got you back on this one because I can see, look, I'll bring the call screen over for a second. Bear with me. Bear with me. It's all right, Flynn. I can just do, ooh, just this side. Look at these names on this side of the call screen. This is the amount of you that want these. You're showing us that you want them, but maybe we haven't done enough in terms of your price point. Now our sales manager Wayne said 499 pounds and 99 pence. That's an amazing deal for this quality of diamonds. We can just go back and say, we weren't quite there Wayne, but it is giving fine quality diamonds away quite frankly. And this is the best that we can do. We can't go a single penny lower than what's on your screens. The first time that we have ever, ever, ever dealt in diamonds of this grade. Love talking about the beautiful history of this uh, amazing gemstone. When we, thought, we talk about precious stones, diamonds are the number one, aren't they? They are the number one that people think of. Um, it might not necessarily be the one that you say is your absolute favorite, but diamonds are the ultimate precious. They're the ones that form within the Earth's mantle. They are the ultimate durable gemstone. They are the ultimate engagement ring. They are the gemstone which without fail is pictured on the red carpet by all those celebrities. Um, so many of you there, goodness me, some of you will be missing out on this. I have just five of them left. In fact, I need to take a few of these away, don't I? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Take a few of these away because 
They are selling out today and I can't wait for it to see your reaction um, when you get them home. 50 of you have the final five in your basket. Anna in Derbyshire, well done, my lovely. You've got a couple of these. Elaine in Yorkshire, you've got yours. Amazing, congratulations. I've got Kerry there in Hertfordshire, Lynn in Kent, Lancashire, Elaine, uh, Abiola, Carol, Fiona, Janet, Jacqueline, Ali, Helen, Karen, Anne, Maker. Telephone callers, I can't see your name, but I know you are there as well. Norfolk, you've joined in. There's five left. We cannot go any lower. This is absolute rock bottom pricing on premium, premium quality diamonds. Here's the difference. Here is the difference. Like I've said it before on air. Like I said, the four C's, it's quite a straightforward grading system when it comes to your diamonds. Um, so if you want a diamond solitaire, uh, uh, so one carat solitaire, immediately you'll pay a premium for the fact that it is one carat. If you go for something that's just shy of a carat, visually you won't be able to see the difference. It's literally fractions of a millimeter. Um, so my solitaire is just under a, under a carat in actual fact. You do see the difference in terms of color and clarity. That's really important. You've got remarkable color. Uh, that's why I think, uh, in my professional opinion, it's about a G color and I think you've definitely got v, uh, VS clarity within this. You can get it professionally appraised of course if you wish but under the loop, under magnification which is basically how we're actually assessing it right now, do they have a presence? That's the most the easiest way that I can actually uh, uh, um, uh, sort of discuss quality diamonds. Do the diamonds have a presence? Are you going to notice these um, from across the room? Absolutely. The final three of these remain. Well done. You can get it home for a crazy £80. £79.99 pence only. I'll leave the final three because we've got, what, how many did you say? Th 60 60 people with it in their baskets on the web and people on the phone lines. We cannot go any lower. That's as low as we can possibly go. That's an amazing deal. And yeah, we might get told off for that because Wayne specifically told us that was a £499 um, opportunity. Well done. Heartfelt congratulations to each and every single one of you. Now, amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Goodness me. Well done. Now, going back to the article that I, I read to uh, earlier on, diamonds are formed over billions of years under intense heats and pressures deep within the Earth's crust. Diamonds as a material is a natural mineral consisting essentially of pure carbon crystallized in an isometric system. When we think diamonds, most people will go, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the colorless variety. But there is something called fancy diamonds. Now, fancy diamonds, especially uh, with uh, Rio Tinto and the Argyle mine closing um, only a few years ago, the price of diamonds has gone up again because uh, Argyle actually uh, was the source of the majority of the world's colored diamonds, particularly your pinks. Um, but the price of your green diamonds, blue diamonds, pink diamonds, yellow diamonds, red diamonds, went through the roof because all of a sudden supply wasn't there like it had been. Um, also within this art article, we spoke about the Hope Diamond, didn't we? Which is one of the world's most famous and it has this really beautiful, unique, teal-like colour. In whatever colour of fancy diamonds, whether it be the Hope Diamond Blue, whether it be the uh, Lady Gaga Canary Diamond that we spoke about, it's Lady Gaga, I say it's like it's hers, sorry, uh, uh, the Tiffany's & Co Canary Diamond. Yes, the colour is absolutely paramount, but you need to add really another specification to the four C's. And that specification is an openness. What I mean by that is you want the intensity of saturation but you still want that saturation to display the brilliance. Take a little look at this parcel that I have here. Yes, they're a beautiful, deep, teal, hope diamond blue. But because they have an openness of colour, you still see that brilliance, that scintillation, that dispersion that we discussed earlier on. That's paramount when we're talking about fancy diamonds. 
So having the, the carrot weight, the color, the clarity, you don't want them to be opaque, to have the quality of cut, but to also have that openness of color. I have two separate blue diamond opportunities to bring you. Maybe the perfect blue diamond to go alongside your diamonds earlier. Some time ago, Hannah, you might remember this actually, it was when you and I were in the office upstairs with Hannah, Oxbury and Paula, oh, yeah. Yeah. and we had the shop downstairs. And um, every so often we used to hear on the grapevine that something had landed in the shop. And a pair of, um, a pair of uh, uh, blue diamond earrings had landed in the shop <laughs> and they had about three or four of them. Straight away, we heard about it first, we all rushed down to the shop to see these blue diamond solitaire earrings and uh, we all bought them. So Paula was, uh, Paula was wearing Scrum. them. Yeah. yeah, we're all rocking around in our blue diamonds, but they were an investment, weren't they? And we're yeah. going back probably about 10 years. Yeah, yeah. They're no different to the blue diamonds that you're about to see right now, only you get a lot more. The parcel of blue diamonds, and I've got a couple of uh, examples just here. Look at the openness of colors that you're seeing with that beautiful, beautiful teal blue. Ben, actually, I haven't been told what these are going to. Really? Do I have quantity of them? An impurity that is present during the diamond's formation will transform it to this fancy color. But you don't want that impurity to be so uh, um, too much because otherwise then that's where it becomes quite opaque. I've got a big quantity of these. Well, I say big, 50. The world supply of fancy diamonds has dramatically decreased because of the argyle mine closure. I want to make fancy colored diamonds just shy of a carrot in a parcel accessible. Maybe 399 wasn't within your budget. It's a fabulous deal. Please know that is. For the quality of those diamonds, that's an absolutely amazing deal. But let's see if we can make fine quality diamonds in a beautiful rose cut made very popular recently by Jennifer Aniston, who wore a rose cut engagement ring. I'll talk about that in a few months' time. But the graphics are on your screens. I want to make them as affordable as physically possible. These are the kind of diamonds that you see in um, our blue diamond uh, or fancy diamond cluster rings on our sister channel next door. And if you did, they would be at that price tag. Possibly even more, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been on their screens. You can get just shy of a carat of blue diamonds today for £59.99. pence. This is why I'm so proud to work for jewellery maker Hannah, it's because we make that luxury. It's incredible. Affordable. Yeah, affordable, accessible. Yeah. You know, you could literally just put pencil to paper, couldn't you, and sketch a design and say, okay, this is what I'm going for. You can set these in your Baroque pearls. Can you imagine that? Oh my God, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? We talk about drilling Baroque pearls yes. all the time. Can you imagine putting a blue diamond in there? Or in the middle of your high goo, like you said earlier. Oh, yeah, in the middle of your jade. Yeah. How beautiful would that be? All those times that we've mentioned it, all those times that we've said, yes, get your Dremel, you know, drill the pearl. Or, yeah, literally just uh, tube set them into the centre of a jade or, or a favourite gemstone of yours. We're not stopping here. There are 50 of these available. You've got just shy of a carrot in one parcel. Just, uh, this is just two different examples. This one's obviously been opened, um, hence why they're all being sort of gathered together. Now, we've got lots to bring you within this hour. Lots. We're going to do it in one price crash. Genuine diamonds. A rose cut, by the way, has a flat bottom and the carrot weight is on the top. So you actually see, it's much more logical. You see more of the carrot weight in a rose cut than you would do in a round brilliant cut because it's not underneath. At £149.99, that's madness. You can get, oh, yes. Sorry, I'm bringing in the high goo because can you imagine one of your blue diamonds in the centre of a high goo? Amazing. 
or one of your fancy colored diamonds that we had just a few moments ago prong set into the center of your high goo that's two song caliber we're going to bring this to you literally on the back of this opportunity getting blue diamonds home for 30 pounds is not a conversation or a sentence anyone should ever uh, should ever um, be able to say but that's precisely what is happening right now well done three millimeters in their size um it's a bit of a fun fact i think the average engagement ring here in the uk is three millimeters in this size you've got a whole parcel of them an entire parcel of them which are measuring that size um or or round about that size as well there were 50 of these available 50 of these available beautiful beautiful scintillation um within each and every single one of those solitaires make sure you do check out those baskets get them home use your 30 day money back guarantee that's what it's intended for at the end of the day you know we're that confident that confident in the fact that you're going to love this diamond parcel opportunity and go goodness me i got a carrot of diamonds fancy diamonds no less for 30 pounds or or 150 uh, 150 pounds overall all with that confident take the 30 days get a second opinion if you wish and if you don't love them then send them back to us no problem whatsoever um i'm gonna leave that one with you congratulations everybody right so should we do the high goo um ben what's that Yeah, what's that? How much are we doing that for? Wow. Natural. Yeah, that is, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I know I'm teasing you, aren't I? <sighs> but it would be the perfect addition for this. I'm just going to move that stand out of the way for a second. Oh, my goodness me. When we're talking about the luxury, the rarity of diamonds, the calibre of diamonds that we have just seen, it seems only right that we bring you natural type A jadeite. Jadeite, and I have to cater for the people that are new to the channel, and certainly over the weekend... We have a lot of new viewers, a lot of new uh, uh, customers who um, join, the, uh, join in, start collecting amazing gemstones, gemstones that they've never been able to uh, so purchase before because of the prices that they, do, uh, they can and do command. Jadeite is very much a new gemstone to us over in the West, not just here at Jewelry Maker, ultimately Gemporia. We've learned a great deal um, over the past few years here at Jewelry Maker, myself, absolutely. And that's because... The pandemic, if there is a single positive to get from the pandemic, jadeite is that positive. Um, because we all of a sudden were able to purchase this gemstone. And that's because none of the gem fairs happened over in sort of China and Japan. Um, they were all closed. And you had all of these gemstone traders that had this valuable commodity that was literally sat on, uh, sat in the docks costing a huge amount of money to be sat just there that they couldn't sell. 95% of their business is actually generated at their gem fairs. So they're in this predicament um, and the only way that they can see actually uh, 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 of, of actually making an income is to come to large large companies like Gemporia. So we were approached by some of our amazing collectors, uh, or rather um, connections that we've had for many years with different gemstones said look we've got some type a jadeite do you want to buy it and yes we bought a big 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 proportion of what was available the quality and that's why i'm putting my hand behind is the quality that you would have seen sold into the high-end jewelry establishments we negotiated an amazing deal and that's the only reason you're seeing type a natural jadeite at double figure prices High goos like this, ordinarily, and this is not ex an exaggeration, especially in your natural white, many predict, goodness me, many predict that pure white jadeite, remember Richard Wise's words, and I've shown you that in the past, 
Uh, Richard Wise, who's the author of Secrets of a Gem Fair, he wrote that a, a, a type A jadeite of pure hue with good, uh, I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head, with a good texture, a moderate translucency should be considered the finest of its type. There we go, Richard Wise, who is like the pillar, the ultimate name to go to in, the, in terms of guidance of gemstones. Would we all agree this is a pure white hue with fine texture and moderate translucency? We're not stopping at 99.99. And it's at this time that I'm gonna bring in another opportunity. How many do we have of those? No of these? Yeah. I'm gonna show you this. Can you imagine a round, brilliant cut, colorless diamond situated in the center? If you make that piece of jewelry, get it valued, get it insured, because that is luxury, absolute luxury. We have a big quantity of this opportunity. Beautiful, beautiful translucency. It's coming from our sales manager himself. He has authorized this, so we're not gonna get in any trouble whatsoever. An amazing, pure, white, type A, natural jadeite high goo. There's type A, type B, type C. Type B and C is basically uh, either polymer impregnated or dyed. Really, there's not that much value within those. Type A is what we should be looking for, and that's what you're getting for 30 pounds, 29.99. We shouldn't have split pay yet. You've, uh, yeah, Bruce. We, we clocked it at the same time. £7.49. £7.49 on split pay. That tells you how much lower we've gone than what we should have done. Look at how beautiful... Hang on, you're saving 3p or so if you buy it on split pay. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, every little helps, as they say. Totally and utterly natural. Literally just feed this through um, a, a beautiful sterling silver chain, maybe on a lark's head knot. That wonderful innocence, that amazing ethereal colour that you see within jade um, in its pure white. Most would assume when it's got that level of, uh, 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 of, of, of white colour, um, most would assume that it had actually been bleached. Not the case, certified completely and utterly natural. Remember Richard Wise, who, who by the way, author of Secrets of the Gem Trade, and he is almost like the pinnacle. He's the, he would be the name that if you were searching for recommendations on your colored gemstones he would be the ultimate name really to go to it was him that actually said a jadeite jade here we go uh, there's just there's a quote just before this one there we go richard wise in modern connoisseurship a jadeite jade cabochon of pure white hue with a fine texture and a moderate translucency would be the finest of his, its type that's precisely what you are getting right now Precisely. And in, instead of spending the thousands upon thousands of pounds that we expect, really, um, when it comes to jadeite, it's just, what, £7.50 on split pay. Goodness me. Um, yeah, we've, I mean, we, there's loads of different articles. Here we go. Unfortunately, despite its rarity, top quality jadeite is still cl uh, grossly undervalued. Let me just uh, skim forward. That's not the case anymore. It's increased by 700%. Can I just flick through these for a second? Collectors are paying millions for jadeite. Why is it becoming more and more value, uh, more and more valuable? Well, I'll tell you why. It was always valuable over in the east. Now we are learning about it over in the west. Um, so that is only pushing the price per carat of this gemstone through the roof. Investors, uh, here we go. Come on. Oh. Yeah, this year, despite the turmoil, the market across the board, Sotheby's Imperial Green jadeite peaches fe uh, pieces fetched a total of 243 million Hong Kong dollars. That's 727% increase compared to the previous years, which so shows the amount of interest among collectors. And that's imperial green. You know, also if we refer to uh, um, uh, Roland Slusel that we were referencing yesterday with Dave, he predicts your white jade and your red jade and your lavender jade 
to surpass the prices of Imperial Jade moving forward because it has never been stockpiled. It's rarer. It's actually it's considerably rarer than Imperial Green. Look at some of the pieces here which have been in Sotheby's um, over, over recent years. So a rare, small, white jade lotus leaf form brush washer. I mean, obviously, you can see the year. It is historical. The estimate, which they always undervalue just to get interest, basically. The price realised is 17 and a half thousand US dollars. And also, would you agree it's more green? Yeah, would you agree it's more green? Amazing historic carving. I can show you another piece. There you go. A white jade lotus leaf. That's beautiful, isn't it? And again, 18th century, so you've got the history here. A brush wa uh, washer is well carved as a large lotus leaf born on a stem, bundled together on the base uh, with a stem of smaller leaves and buds carved in high relief around the side. The white stone has some minor grey inclusions. Okay, okay, but how much did that sell for? Do we know? Don't know, but it's going to be lots. Going to be lots. I can show you this one. Here we go. £46,000. Um, 46,000 pounds, slight caramel tone, pure white hue, pure white hue, said Richard, uh, said Richard Wise. Well done, everybody. Okay. Now, oh, where do we go from there? The final auction of the hour. Is it going to be, is it the diamond? Oh, I love it. What did you say we're taking this to? I'm going to take it out of the box. Just because you wouldn't go into a fine, a diamond specialist and look at a diamond through a, pla a perspex box. Oh, <gasps> Hannah. <laughs> it's exciting. It's don't, like, don't ping it across the room. Don't ping it across the room now. <laughs> don't ping it across the room. Can you imagine? Oh, my goodness me. I wonder if you can see just here. Look, we're looking at the pavilion of it here. This also is... I need, it's really important I mention this. The majority of diamonds are irradiated. I had a conversation with my next door neighbor who deals in diamonds many moons ago. And actually said, oh no, but all jewelry makers diamonds are irradiated. I beg to differ. This is completely and utterly natural. Um, check this out. I'm looking at the underside. Look at that color. Look at that clarity. If it, a diamond looks that good from the bottom, imagine how amazing. Don't ping the diamond L. Don't ping the diamond L. How beautiful it's going to look from the front. Look. SI3. What's the carat weight? What's the measurement? 3.3 millimetres. Do we have a colour? I thought so. G to H colour, which is amazing. You don't actually see much of a difference when you go in at sort of higher colours. Look at that quality. Natural, perfect, round, brilliant cut. 57 to 58 facets give you that beautiful level of brilliance. Why have you just gasped, Ben? You said 499 to me. <clears throat> can I be... That's, can I be really, really unconventional right now? If you could afford this next opportunity, do it. If you can. Even if you've got no clue what to do with them. People are purchasing diamonds for the future in mind. I have to use, say that carefully. This is a fine quality diamond. There are 29 available. Just Ben, yeah. Ben said to me this was the price. He thought it was the price and then he says, I, I, I logged it onto the system and it, it, we can take it lower. If these don't sell out, then I'll be jumping all over this because you know what? Me too. <laughs> do, Hannah, do you know, did you hear what they're going to? Yeah. Again, can I compare? Look at how good though that diamond is. Look at how it's actually brighter. 
What is that deal? 25 quid, 25 pounds. Look at the quality of the diamond. Oh my goodness me. It's, 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 it's too cheap. It is, it's too cheap for the quality of diamond. Yeah, we're not, we get told off for saying the word cheap, by the way. But for £24.99, it's over the size of the average UK engagement ring member. You can make beautiful, you can make wedding bands, you can make engagement rings, you can make eternity rings, you can make diamond earrings, you can make diamond pendants at that price point. What? What? How have these not sold out already? I've got a lot of you there. Jenny, you've done it. Kent, you've done it. Janice, Zoe, Tanya, Alla in New York, you've done it as well. We all love our gemstones, don't we? And we don't often get the opportunity to talk about diamonds, particularly diamonds of this grade. Particularly diamonds of this grade. When, I didn't even bat an eyelid when, when Ben actually said in my ear, when I clocked this diamond, he said, oh, it's going to £499. I genuinely didn't bat an eyelid. No, 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 no. I genuinely thought that was, that was a good price point because of the quality of the diamond. If it had big whopping inclusions in there, if it didn't have the dance of brilliance that I'm seeing, even from great distances, then yeah, 499 would probably be a big ask. The word is good value. Sorry, Jane. Yes. I know. Yes. Well, this is a thing we would get told off for saying it's too cheap. But it is too cheap for a diamond of this quality. Um, if these don't sell out, I'm buying some. <laughs> God, don't drop the diamond, Elle. Don't drop the diamond. Don't drop the diamond. Imagine diamond earrings. I need those. I need them as earrings. Yeah. They're stunning. Look, look, I'm literally just rolling it ever so slightly. That's what fine quality diamonds do. They capture you from a distance. And that's what these would <laughs> do. And we are looking, what, Flynn? How, 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 I keep saying Flynn, sorry. Finn, how far away are you from me? About three meters? Would you say? Yeah. From the distant camera, the diamond, what, sorry? Makes its presence known. <laughs> Margot, absolutely. You can get this home today, £24.99. Justin, Alla, Janice, Zoe, Jenny, Christine, you've got yours. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, Barbara, I can see you. Margaret, you've got yours. I only had, did you say 29 Oh, not anymore. Not anymore. And, uh, and actually, there's a, a, a diamond company that I follow on Instagram, and they very rarely even mention the carrot weight, which I thought was quite an interesting uh, approach. They actually said, well, it doesn't really matter because the carrot weight, it can be held up in the bottom of the gemstone. You're not actually going to see that, are you? They work on the millimetres, which is actually fairly logical. So they work on the millimetre size. So on that basis, this is a natural diamond of three mil, which has all of the specifications that we absolutely should be striving for you can get this home today for 24.99 christine i can see a pair of diamond earrings coming in your direction how fabulous would that be how amazing as i said a few moments ago these are the diamonds that i want to give to my girls when they turn 18 diamonds stunning absolutely stunning are you thinking earrings hannah they had me at hello if there's any left they're mine <laughs> yeah i don't blame you yeah i don't blame you at all that's a mad price you would never see those in a diamond jewellers at, at a pair not of earrings. Not at that price. No, no, <laughs> definitely not. You'd be probably pushed hard, pushed to get them for five hundred pounds. Uh, yeah, if you were lucky. <laughs> if you were lucky. Well done, everybody. John, I can see you there. You've got a few of these within your basket too. Get them home. A perfect, beautiful, uh, beautiful graded diamond. I mean, you can see that, can't you? even on your screens right now, without even looking at it under the loop, which technically is how we should be assessing our diamonds. I'll leave that one with you. Well done, uh, every single one of you. Uh, still so much to bring that diamond. I'm adding that to my order today. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. 
or the deal of the day. I'm quite happy with either of those. It depends whether you want to go for your fancy colours or a parcel or whether you want the round brilliant cut solitaire. Still coming up after the break, we have got some amazing pills, some beautiful jadeite. We've got an incredible masterclass uh, coming up with the lovely Hannah. Don't go anywhere. Back after this. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of eight till five. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, Create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Ah, oh, welcome back, lovely jewelry makers, and congratulations on your diamonds. 
We've just been having that conversation. Slightly shell shocked if there's any left. I'm, I've got a second piercing and I'm, I'm thinking earrings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I might even have that top bit pierced. Yeah. Especially for it. I've been, I've been threatening to do it. Yeah, imagine a diamond up here. Yeah, on the top bit. I would technically actually have to do it on that ear because I show you that ear. We're not meant to have multiple piercings. But I'd do it on that ear and have the diamond at the top. Yeah. And Tom, I was saying, Tom's got his, that yeah. bit pierced. I don't know what it's called, that bit, but Nor yeah. me. He's got that bit pierced, but how I could have that made into a stud earring. Stud for a stud. Oh. <laughs> love, he'd love, Happy Christmas, honey. I think, he'd, I think he'd love you all the more for that statement, Hannah. So if there are any left, and yes, there's two ladies here in the studio who uh, definitely have their eye on those diamonds, whether it be the parcel or whether it be the, the solitaire. Okay. Now, uh, what did you say then, Ben? What, what, what are we going to? Shall we do the pearls? Now... A few people are actually saying our pearls are new diamonds because have you noticed they're very much getting the limelight at the moment? Oh my yeah, God. gents are wearing pearls. So popular. Um, just so beautiful. Now, as with all your gemstones, I said this literally a few moments ago, there's always different degrees of quality. Now, when Mickey Moto developed the whole culturing process, um, it was, oh my goodness, hallelujah, all of a sudden we haven't got a free dive for pearls, which of course is incredibly dangerous. Yes. And also, um, highly unlikely that you're actually going to find a pearl. Um, so you can instigate that process. That's what, what Mickey Moto developed. And it was harvesting these pearl in fresh water. Now, there is still different degrees of quality. So you can culture a freshwater pearl and it will have literally about 20 of them in one given mollusk. You can take those pearls out, you can bleach them, you can dye them. They're still beautiful, they're still cultured pearls. Um, but when you start talking about pearls of this size, firstly, there'll be one pearl per mollusk. And the colour itself, these are, they are, are these natural? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. This colour has not been bleached or dyed. This colour is because the mollusk offered it. Basically, at certain areas, if you imagine inside a mother of pearl, as, a, as an example, or an oyster, depending on where within that mollusk uh, the pearl was formed, that colour will have been offered to the pearl itself. The darker coloured ones tell me that they would have actually formed around the circumference of the mollusk itself um, because uh, the pearl would have migrated, if you like, to that location. So let me just show you these colours. They're incredibly, incredibly expensive at the moment. The reason for that, there is a jewellery house in London um, and they are working with this colour of pearl, um, particularly the pinks. And I've shown you countless times before, there's a particular necklace. Um, if you go onto their website, it's £22,500. Yeah. Wow. £22,500 for, 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 for freshwater culture pearls, exactly the same as what you're looking at right now. Um, natural, tri-colours. So that means you're getting your beautiful papayas, you're getting your purples. You're getting the blues within there as well. Um, perfectly spherical pearls. Ordinarily, I would say South Sea, Akoya, Tahitian pearls and Edison pearls, they are the, the, the pedigree pearls. Yeah. But actually, there are certain what they were described as radical farmers that ha are actually, I don't know what makes them radical, <laughs> radical. radical farmers, yeah. what makes them that, um, but have, uh, are actually able to offer, um, offer what we're classing as the Im impossible pearl, these naturally coloured pearls. Um, so, yeah, normally it would be that big four. Actually, freshwater pearls are situated within two. And when they find themselves rubbing shoulders with Tahitian pearls and South Sea pearls, um, yeah, they're not, the only difference is they're not formed in, in salt waters. They're so pretty, aren't they? Look at that. Look at, oh my all goodness. All colours. When you hold it up to the neckline, all of a sudden it jumps, doesn't it? It does. It really does. So stunning. How many do I have of these, Ben? Really? Why do our graphics not say round? Okay, let me ask you, do you think these are round? Yes, I do. This is a Wayne deal. Are they new? I've not seen these before. They're new then. Ooh. Uh. Careful. Oh. 
Do, I definitely want to see what Wayne told you you could do. Naturally metallic too. No, look at that. Pardon? Wayne said you could take the, oh my goodness me. Under 350 pounds. And I'm not exaggerating. We've shown you the website previously, you know, where, where naturally coloured pearls like this are 22 and a half thousand Thousands. pounds. Yeah, absolutely. Thousands yeah. of pounds. Fresh water, exactly the same as what we're looking at right now. Um, uh, we just noticed there's no split play on your screens right now. Speak to your contacts. Can I buy one of those bus? Speak yeah. to the contact centre and they should be able to sort that for you. It should be on split pay. So, um, yeah, do, do, do bear with us. We will sort that. Or speak to our contact centre and they can rectify it. Check out your baskets. That way you're, oh, my goodness me. That way you're absolutely guaranteeing your success. Ben's going to have a little go at seeing if he can sort it as well. Look at the quality of those pearls. So stunning, aren't they? Near yeah. round naturally colored you've got the three you've got the pinks which are the most expensive yeah yeah pink pearls most expensive you've got your beautiful papaya colors or peach whichever way you want to label them you've got your ivory colors and they are all natural natural with a metallic orient completely certified this is why Hannah and um, you've probably heard this I, I keep going to our lovely Caroline, and I have had a conversation with Scott saying, why aren't we selling 18 karat gold clasps? Yes, yeah, I have heard you ask that actually as well. <laughs> I think I'm getting on their nerves now, to be honest, but we should be. But, yeah, when we have this calibre of pearl, <coughs> we yeah. have jade, don't we have anything that's of like that, you know... Ilk. Seriously elevated... Pedigree. Status, pedigree, then, then absolutely, yeah, why not? Do you know, for me, to, and, and, and listen, there's nothing wrong with sterling silver at all. Absolutely love sterling silver, but I would almost be cheapening. I'd be devaluing it, putting it on sterling silver. Um, this is... Because, gold. because of the quality of yeah, the pearls. Amazing. Yeah. This is why, uh, this is why you know, go on to one of the auction sites, go on to eBay, go on to, um, I don't know, Vinted, one of those kind of places. Uh, purchase, a, uh, I don't know, a vintage piece of jewellery, if you like, solely for the gold clasp. Um, you go to our competitors. Ha! I'm saying it. Go to one of our competitors to buy the 18 karat gold class to go on that necklace. Well, that should be a klaxon. Like, I know. <laughs> what are you saying, Al? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say but that. But it's true. We don't offer you the 18 karat gold class here at Jewelry Maker, and that's what they deserve. Well done. Well done. Well done. It's wand time. Oh. Ooh, it's a nice little mixed bag of goodies in today's show. Selenite. Somewhere on the R drive, um, at Ben. I've got a, uh, just a little bit of information about selenite because it is fascinating as a gemstone. Um, um, this was once used in Rome, I believe, in windows. Oh, okay. Windows of churches and things like that. Very popular amongst the uh, um, crystal healers, of course. They believe it's a cleansing stone. Here we go. What is selenite? Well, let's show it to you. Selenite is... There it is. Oh, 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 oh. From the beginning, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, there's transitions. Who's doing that? Stop it, stop it. There we go. <laughs> Selenite, a specific variety of a mineral gypsum named after the ancient Greek goddess of the moon, Selene. The Greeks especially appreciated the beauty of selenite, even making windows uh, with the stone. The gemstone received its official name from uh, J.G. Uh, Walleris in uh, 1747 when he wrote that book. Uh, <laughs> gypsum as a general material has been valued since as far back as the Egyptians um, where it was used for decorative purposes. One unique use of selenite is in the Santa Sabina church in Rome. The large arch windows built in the 5th mm -hmm. century are made of sheets of selenite, not glass. Love that. Moving on. Look at that. Um, very closely associated with the crown chakra, which represents wisdom and spirituality, as well as the third eye chakra. The colourless beauty and translucency of selenite um, is often attributed to purity um, and peace in both metaphysical beliefs and colour theory. Uh, selenite is excellent to use when meditating or trying to achieve mental clarity, as it is believed uh, to compel the person uh, ho holding it uh, to be 
honest with, with themselves. themselves. Love that. Absolutely love that. Um, it's got this really beautiful innocence to it. Uh, uh, innocence to it. And it, it is a gemstone that we see on the market in, uh, in a lot of... Uh, um, platforms if you like a lot of them attached to sort of your metaphysical side selenite energy gemstone bracelet 49 pounds lovely not yeah. bad price not bad at all um selenite healing you associate words like serenity purification peace meditation universe Universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and positive thoughts. It's kind of an all-round good egg, isn't it? It's, it's a it's good a, egg. It's one of those. Like know. Jadeite. Yeah. He's um, a good egg as well. Yeah. Just a good person. Yeah. And it is an expensive stone. Now, we're about to bring you the wands. Now, these wands or, or plates, um, lots of our lovely viewers will use it to charge which are charged their gemstones. Um, now, I've got three different one sizes to show you. I'm going to start with the actual largest ones. Um, I am not, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not um, knowledgeable about crystal healing, but I do know that the likes of lovely Debbie, for example, yeah. charges Susie, these in Moonlight yeah. and Susie. Yeah. I mean, are you into? No, I mean, I, I don't, I don't profess to, to know much about crystal healing, but I, I'm fascinated by it. It is fascinating. And I do genuinely feel that you can get something from the gemstones as yeah. well. Yeah, they sort of uplift you. <coughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? No, this has never been outside of a kit. Never. It also reacts to light beautifully. If you were to put a, a torch or a light source below this, I don't know if I've got one here. Um, you, it's just, it just becomes magical. So great if you had a tea light behind it. Never been um, accessible outside of a kit. First time ever. I mean, how beautiful is that? Just as an object, you know, almost as a, an ornament. It's stunning, isn't it? It's really, really... like You can understand sort of like the whole purity thing and cleansing thing because you can sort of get... If you look into it, you can see, see all yeah. the little sort of like... It's almost like ribbons of silk through it. It is beautiful. Yeah. Seven ninety nine. It's amazing. That's a lovely little yeah. gift, isn't it? It is. Nice little gift. You know, it's not breaking the bank. It's a beautiful Mother Nature, genuine gemstone, considered to be one of the most powerful um, in amongst crystal healing. Cleansing, yes, charging, energizing stone, all those are words <coughs> um, that are associated. Yes, at the end of the day, so for example, if you um, do, uh, or you'll, you'll be way more knowledgeable than I am actually, but um, if ever you feel like, I don't know, the, you're, you're being influenced to some negativity in some way, shape or form, I believe that there are different sort of rituals, I suppose, that you can use with your, with your selenite. Charging your selenite under moonlight, I think, is one of them. And just leaving your gemstones um, on top of the selenite plate to charge overnight. Seven ninety nine only. This is the largest of the selenite uh, wands. Love it. I mean, my son would love this as well. He's just, he's just into sort of like the crystals and the geology yeah. and rocks and things like that. And just, I think he'd just be drawn to it as, as something it's beautiful. that's from nature that's amazing. Yeah. It is beautiful. Yeah, yeah you're saying that my niece would love this. She's, mm -hmm. a, she's a, a collector. She doesn't say gemstone. She says crystals. Crystals, yeah. Yeah. So I think that would be a nice little present for her as well. Seven ninety nine only. We didn't have many of those. That's a 12 centimetre. It's the larger um, of the wand. I'll leave that one with you. And I'm going to move on to the 10 centimetre, which is this one just here. Love it. Can we, can we, um, Dan, are you still there? He's. In a coffee room for is he? Yeah, bless him. Ben, have you got a phone? Can I borrow it? He's just going to aeroplane mode it, he says. Because this is a gemstone that if you if you dim the lights... It takes on a magical kind of presence. <coughs> it does. You said it's about stunning, auras stunning. earlier on. Yeah, yeah. Here's our lovely Ben. Do we know how to dim the lights? We can turn them off. Let's turn them off. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. It's just cool. Wait, wait, wait. Shall I put the to phone on, on the table? Oh, stand it on the light. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It looks like it's something from the never-ending story. An enchanted sort of, I don't know, 
talisman. It's cool, isn't it's it? It's so cool. I love so, it. So, so, so cool. Really, really like that. Love selenite. Six pounds and 99 pence only. This is for the 10 centimetre uh, length. We've got one which is ever so slightly... Uh, even without the lights being down, you can see, see that magic. Yeah, the glow. Amazing. And completely and utterly natural. Normally, we would have to... Um, you know, we don't, we don't... Do you want your phone back? I don't need it. Yeah. No, I'll, leave it keep, I'll keep an eye on it, don't worry. I'll let you know if you get any messages. <laughs> <laughs> Could I incorporate that into jewellery? I don't see why not. Well, I mean, I don't know. I think I'd use that more as a talking point. So if you're somebody at a craft fair and you're making jewellery, if you were to make your selenite um, bracelet or something like yeah. that and have a piece of it there, on like lit up on a plinth like that, then it's going to draw people to you. Yeah. You can, you can show them the, like, sort of the mystical, magical properties of it and then yeah. you can explain like, what the gemstone is. How it forms. To then help you sell. Hello, Caroline. Um, oh, it's like an Egyptian obelisk. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. It is magical. And like I said, I don't confess myself to be knowledgeable about crystal healing, but I know it is incredibly, incredibly uh, thought after. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's meta but, metaphysical I mean, it's just properties. It's as well. Even, it even if you, you, you don't necessarily sort of like follow crystal healing, I think if you, if you meditate at all or, yeah. if you, or if you just like to be in a calm ambient sort of environment yeah i mean that that's lovely i quite often li like to like uh, like candles scented candles things like that but i can happily sit with that sort of glowing away next to me and, and get the same kind of feel from it i remember i remember Gemma crow actually is telling me that uh tom when he was revising for his gcse's he was really struggling that uh, tom's her son yeah um when he, he was struggling to concentrate and she actually said tom have you got a selenite near you and he's like yeah it sat on my desk and she's like move it away because it's energizing so you're yeah. not concentrating um so as soon as he moved it away he actually was then able to sort of knuckle again. down isn't it funny yeah isn't that funny i i'm with you i totally agree that gem i, I believe that gemstones actually have a physical power yeah, uh, I you think know they do, this is not something that's been around for for you know since yesterday it's been around for thousands of years yeah. And also, in some cases, scientifically proven. Well, it, it, of course, quartz powered watches. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Exactly. Five ninety nine only to get hold of this. Amazing. It's just cool. If you love jewellery, chances are you love your gemstones. Chances are you love pieces like this, just yeah. as objects. Yeah. Um, it's around a beautiful that, uh, thing. Yeah, they are pretty things. Pretty pretty things. Um, okay. After this, should we do some. Should we do some? Ah, oh, it's turning you. There we are. Um, should we do some pretty clasps? Yes. And I've left my tweezers over there, haven't I? Oh, no. That uh, is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Look at that quality. Wait, wait, wait. Can I... Is it a clasp or a connector? It, I guess. It looks, it's got loopy the side. It has, because you could open... Do they open? Oh, Ben, could you pass me the tweezers that I left over there? Is that all right, as I see you there? I can't do it with my nails. One sec. Hang on. Well, it's a class, but yes, I guess, thank you. I guess it could be a connector, too. Look at that. It's so beautiful, you wouldn't want to hide it at the back of the no, neck. No, definitely not. That needs to be on display and just in, you know, in all its glory. Really. Heavily encrusted with fine quality Mozambique garnets. Oh, my gosh. What's a phallus clasp? Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, and if I turn it, sorry, Finn, can you see how it's one of those clasps that kind of pinches either way, either side? So if you wanted to, you could just turn it into an individual pendant. I mean, that on a slider bracelet would be gorgeous. Lovely. Uh, uh, so about, I don't know, two, three months ago, we were getting get bombarded by customers saying we want the, the luxurious yeah. clasp. I tell you what, haven't we delivered on this one? We've, yeah, absolutely stunning. It's just a beautiful thing in its own right, isn't it? It really is. Imagine that on your pearls. All that 925 sterling silver. Oh, wait, you've actually got two different class uh, connections. So you've got lobster claw, lobster claw. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Sorry, Finn. I know I'm making this really difficult for you. But if you look in the centre now, can you see it's actually one of those pinch clasps as well? So you can do this up in multiple oh, ways. Oh, right. OK. Gosh, that's, I mean, that's an incredible piece of engineering, isn't it? I Let alone thought jewelry. exactly the same yeah. word. Has this ever been available outside of kits? 
No, it didn't think so. £24.99 only. Absolutely incredible. The quality of the garnet, you've got a full parcel of garnet straight away. Um, all that lovely sterling silver, all that amazing detail, plus the engineering, as you yeah. said, Hannah, um, in the dual lobster claw that you're seeing from that profile. You've also got the gallery, so you could actually remove it all if you like and just yeah, have that as could, a um, pendant. You can carry on like, adding things through there, you, you know, attach things with like um, little jump rings or bits. You can thread chains through, you could thread um, wires through, beading threads through. So you, so you could extend out sideways as well if you wanted to. A bit like Claire's necklace yeah, yesterday. Yeah, absolutely like that. If, yeah. I, if, I, if I just pass this to you, you know, you could literally just... It's only because my fingernail's far too long at the moment. Um, you can literally just open that up, can't you, and use well, it like I, Claire my, did the other day. You've got long very, fingernails as well. Well, no, mine are just a bit weak. But So does that open from in there? Yeah. Can you see? Can, see. can you do that? I can see where it is. I don't think I've got the strength in my nails to do it, unfortunately. Get your pliers on there. I don't want to do it because I don't want to scratch the precious metal. But, yeah, literally they just pinch inside. Can you see? Yeah, I'm just having a look. Hang on. Are we sure that opens that way? I don't want to force it. I think so. I hope so. <laughs> we'll soon find out, won't we? This is we'll great. soon find out. Um, hello. Got a message coming through from Jane. Hello to you, Jane. I got this um, um, with one of the kit in my Does big jade opens? beads, and it is beautiful. I don't know if it does. I'm not sure. I don't want to break it, but... Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it is just a jewel. I think it's just the fact that it's got the two... Two lobster claws. Two lobster claws uh -huh. either side. I'm glad I passed it to you then. There you go. So you've got two lobster claws at either end. Uh, interchangeable, effectively. £24.99. Well done, everybody. We need to get a wriggle on. Time's ticking. We've got so much to squeeze in. <gasps> is that... A jade cabochon that's never been seen before. You're, you're naughty, Ben. And Ben, you haven't got your phone again, have you? <laughs> yeah. Because this is some of the most gemmy jade. That's a jade cabochon. But first, let's bring Amazing. the graphics to air. That's ice. We, we refer to it as ice jade when it has that level of translucency. Now, just before Ben passes me at his phone, he says, I'm not going to go do any warning. I'm not going to dilly-dally. This has never been outside of a kit. It's an enormous 45 carat, beautiful, jemmy jade. He says he has the power. Oh, drunk on power this morning. <laughs> so, do you remember the grading system of jadeite? Or jade, generally speaking? Colour texture and translucency. Are we able to turn the lights off again? Ready? Do you want to see that translucency? Wow, look at that. That is translucency. That's amazing. It's like the moon. I was going to say it's like looking at the moon. That is absolutely fabulous. But also, I don't think I've seen a, a large cabochon. No in jade at all that's true actually I mean, we've, we've got the master carvings we've, we've got all the carvings and all the lovely like big chunky sort of artisanal pieces but i don't think i've actually seen a large cabochon in it i've seen small ones yeah that's a, that's a that's really good point that's lovely absolutely beautiful look at it glowing from here look even without the lights being dipped and by the way this is exactly what they do when they're actually uh, uh, gem traders gem buyers that's what they'll do. They use their mobile phone yep. just to grade the actual you. translucency. Yeah. Light should travel within. You're only getting this deal today and only because it is from a kit and producer Ben today, he, he stole it. <laughs> he has been slapped on the back of the wrist and told not to do it again. Mm. He says, listen, I, 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 he deals in fabric and sewing machines now. He can use that. Is that, is that, is that what you're going to use, your excuse? I don't think they'll... No. I don't think that'll ride, you know. <laughs> yeah, I suppose things do change very quickly in the gemstone world, but one thing that does, I don't know, stay consistent, I guess, is the price of jadeite. As in, it's always high. It's gone up by 700%, Ben. Yeah, never mind. 19 99 today. <laughs> Some of the gemmiest jadeite. 
Hannah makes a, a very good point there. We don't often see it in the larger cabochons. We've had it in the smaller sizes or in the strands or in the master carvings. Um, well done. Ah, oh, I love this showcase. I've got white topaz and I've got Cullinan topaz named after the Cullinan diamond. Now, am I going to start? Are they the rounds, the faceted rounds? Or you're going to have to show me the picture, I think, because there's two. We'll have a little look at the picture. Topaz, um, a naturally brilliant forming gemstone, often used as an alternative to that of your diamonds. And really, but it, it has always been an al our alternative, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, it has. I mean, it, because it looks like diamond, it's, it's beautiful. And it's, it's just so, like, it magnifies everything that it's next to, doesn't it? Any colour you put it with shouts out at you. Oh, Gorgeous. this strand. Mm. But it's like gold dust. Yeah. When we see topaz, usually it much it smaller, yeah. it sells out. Yeah, absolutely. Some time ago, and some of you might remember this, I actually asked producer Ross, I was like, Ross, is there any chance we could do like a colourless hour? And he was like, I'll try, but and it still hasn't materialised because we don't have the quantity. I don't think we have enough items, you know. What's the matter? What are you objecting to, Ben? I don't know either. <laughs> I can guess. Naturally brilliant, genuine, colourless topaz. It's, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Natural. I think I know. I think I know. By, by the sheer disgust I can, I can <laughs> yeah. hear in, yes. in Ben's voice. He's not happy... He's not happy at the price point that was previously brought to air for this strand. Okay, I don't know what it is. It wasn't with me. Yeah, I had a funny feeling just, but I could, I could, I could sense it. I could sense that it was going to go a single figure price tag. And I'm with you, Ben. Producer Neary, that is way too low for colourless topaz. Brazilian topaz as well. I mean, Anna, you could literally just put this with some of the amazing pearls that we had. I mean, it would look absolutely stunning. Again, because it's like a mirror, like a, like it, it really does magnify everything. Yeah. So if you put one of those pearls next to that and any of the nuances of the colour of the pearl that you've chosen oh. would be magnified and expand and it would just oh. look so stunning. But we don't get it. We don't get topaz no, very often. We don't. Not colourless topaz. We had that mystic topaz opportunity as an early bird the other day that absolutely flew out. Um, if we do get topaz strands, they tend to be much, much, much smaller. So I'm with you, Ben. It should not be a single figure price tag. Totally and utterly natural. Much like the diamonds, which I think we've discussed at length today, use the, four, the, the same criteria, if you yeah. like, of grading yeah, yeah. it. You want them to be eye clean. You want them to have that beautiful, pure, bright, colourless um, energy. You want them to be cut well, which obviously these are. In this case, you'll see in surface luster and you'll see in internal brilliance. It, it, it's those four Cs once again. OK, just give us a tenner, shall we? Uh, and call it quits. That's basically what producer Neary has done. Ten pounds. I agree. I agree with you, Ben. Lovely right. Tom Neary, and we do love you. Ten pounds is too low. <laughs> Far too low. Think about your bridal commissions. Oh, oh my gosh. I mean, they'd be stunning anyway. But like, if you've got something where you can say, "Oh yes, it's like it's it's freshwater cultural pearl and topaz and topaz next month's birthday." I mean, wow. Yeah. I mean, diamonds of this size, uh, topaz of this size, it, it, it's, you're not going to be able to get drilled diamonds, no, are you? No, So topaz really is the only... It's the alternative, isn't and, it? And the ultimate, I guess. Yeah. Imagine Did that you? with, like, like you, some like jade oak rounds, and, oh. then, and then your pendant is, is the cabochon. I'm going I'm to add that to my order, like so many of yeah. you. Well done. You're not going to forget about it. That's going to stick with you, that one. Now, there is a certain parcel of, of topaz that is featured on, I own it because of our sister channel, launched it many, many years ago, I'm sure you do as well. 
Um, it was a parcel that was some of the, the discovery itself was one of the most remarkable discoveries of topaz, which you can find in lots of different locations and countries around the world. But this particular location and source unearthed some of the best topaz. Um, so much so that it was named after the Cullinan Diamond. The Cullinan Diamond, um, there's a whole story behind that. I won't go into that too much just because of time, but is, is famed and celebrated for its color. It's famed and celebrated for its clarity. So you know that you are getting an amazing pedigree, to use that word again, um, of topaz if it is from that parcel. This is Cullinan Topaz that we're about to show you. Don't tell me silly prices with this, though, will you? What do you want me to start with? Oh, Jeremy's a shadow of himself, Mama Zar Ben. Aww. Look from there. Look from there. Look from... That's like a diamond tennis, tennis necklace. I mean, it's, it's twinkling away like... Anything, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, so we had pretty. we had that black spinel kit yesterday with Claire. Oh yes. Can Put you imagine together. this in the black yeah. spinel kit? Can you imagine this with some lovely pearls? Can you imagine this with the jade? As Hannah said, fabulous. From the Cullen and Topaz discovery. S uh, named after, called Cullen and Topaz quite literally because of its likeness to the Cullen and Diamond. Oh my goodness me. I remember Steve actually getting, uh, we had this huge, enormous piece of Cullen and Topaz rough. It's probably in the museum just before us. I can't pick it up, by the way, it's way too heavy. But even without a single facet, that Cullen and Topaz, which is about this sort of size, is an enormous boulder, isn't it? Yeah. You, you recognise immediately the level of clarity. Look, even when this is just literally sat on the desk, do you notice at the bottom of these faceted rounds, you've got that pools, pools of light? Yes. If there were any imperfections, if there were any inclusions, you would absolutely see... Uh, no, in fact, you wouldn't see that pool, that, pool, that yeah. reflection, because it would hinder it. 65 carats in faceted rounds, natural Cullen and Topaz. Should we take it to another, uh, just mad price point? Again, we can't take credit for this. This is, uh, this is producer Tom Neary. £29.99. pence. I don't mind bringing in pearls like this. Look at that. So pretty. Isn't it? Do you know what? I, I, I'm just looking around me. We've got coming up some beautiful Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Never been seen outside of a what? Outside of a kid. Yeah, you guessed it. You guessed it. Imagine these with some lovely, I don't know, any variety of cultured pearl. The joy is that topaz will complement absolutely everything. It's often used as an alternative to a diamond. They are still a beautiful, precious, genuine gemstone. Naturally brilliant forming. So more often than not, you actually see more clarity, more brilliance within a topaz than you would do in a diamond. Yeah. Um, in certain sizes, they can be faceted more times, uh, more times uh, than diamonds. Yeah, like your single cut diamonds are 17 facets, whereas a topaz of equivalent measurements um, will have, can be upwards of 50. Look how beautiful, look at how beautiful it is alongside your class. Okay, I've got a couple more to bring you and I am gonna literally load up the back of my hand. Which one next? The rondelles. Wait. Also coming up. All from, all from that colour and deposit. You made some amazing drop earrings from those pairs, <sighs> couldn't you? Yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to think of all the different gemstones I'd put with this. 
rubies. Anything, everything. Sapphires. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, <coughs> I'm thinking of, like Swiss blue topaz for you. Oh, that amazing. Frozen kind of, you know, frozen princess. Amazing. Ab <laughs> oh, beautiful. And just uh, for all of your bridal makes, I've been asking for a colourless hour for I don't know how long, and I was told by uh, uh, by Ross that yeah, it's not going to be possible. We just don't have the the quantity of colourless stones, unfortunately. Right now, we're going to bring you the rondelles, and then your uh, um, your drops will come up just uh, uh, just after. Make your confirmations. These again, really beautiful, big sizes. If I just turn my hand. Uh, to the side look at that see how they're pooling the light once again you've got those beautiful beautiful bright crisp displays of brilliance totally natural at 19 pounds and 99 pence 75 carats of color and topaz now one more color and opportunity these are your briolette cards and i i still we still call them drops yes they're not drops, they're briolettes. They're briolettes, they are briolettes. Because they're 360 and they're much more yeah it's much more challenging to cut a briolette we don't see briolettes. We don't. We don't see them very often at all. Do you remember we used to see briolettes all the time? Yeah, but um, they're only very small ones as well. Yeah. Mm. Oh, tassels. Bottom of tassels. Chandelier earrings. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Alongside your other colour and topaz that we've just brought you, from that same deposit. Look! Look at the light reflecting on the desk. That's not like light trickery. That's the miracle of topaz, Cullen and topaz, with minimal inclusions. It's not been blocked by a big sort of black blemish or feathering that you find sometimes within your colourless stones. You're seeing that light literally transition through each and every single one. Now, I've got a full strand of briolette cuts. Producer Tom, went to £29.99. pence. That's amazing. They're briolette carts, which are more expensive. You've got a 360 degree facet, um, more work, much more labour intensive. Uh, intensive? <laughs> intense. Much intense. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, the hypocrisy of producer Ben right now. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> it means Twenty-nine ninety-nine. And he says he doesn't butter his parsnips. Does oh. butter not parsnips. Do you butter your parsnips? It's not good enough. What do you well it is, Ben? <laughs> the briolet drops. <laughs> not for Ben. Doesn't butter my parsnips. Have you ever heard that? I, I have heard it before, but not for a long time. I like it. I might have to save that one, Ben. Oh, wow. Does that give you delicious buttery parsnips then? <laughs> <coughs> I'm just intrigued. How do you cook parsnips with butter then? Well, I suppose roast them with, with a bit of butter mm. and... As well as oil or instead of? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it, it sounds delicious. It does. Sunday roast, anyone? Delicious. Oh, yeah. yeah. My <laughs> favourite day of the week for that reason. <laughs> I love a roast. Uh, 19.99. I definitely put a bit of honey on my parsnips, though. Yes. Got to have a little bit of honey. Slightly caramelised. Yeah, it makes it all crispy. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> I will try it with the butter then. And Tracy Allison, Angela, well done to you. Janet, new customer. Marion, hello to you. Anita, new uh, maker. Hello to you. Georgina in Somerset. What's your favourite part of a Sunday roast? Mm, torn between it being Yorkshire pudding or all the roasties. 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 Yeah, could be the roasties. Roasties all day long. All day long. Or is it gravy? Uh, yeah, gravy, actually. You've got to have gravy, Great, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Elaine, yeah. <laughs> apparently you've sent a message that Ben uh, can't show. <laughs> Did you just oh, swear out loud? Exactly. <laughs> Did you just swore out loud? Was that about uh, Ben and his parsnips or was that about the Cullen and Topaz <laughs> deal that's on your screens right now? I know, I know. Oh, okay. It's about the gemstones. Okay, Good. fair I'm enough. Glad. Fair enough. 
and justified to be fair elaine um elaine and i was thinking do you see that do you see the challenge of my job now and, and and hannah you know we see this and we have to stop ourselves saying what elaine said well yes yeah well, yes mm, it's tricky it is tricky okay <coughs> sleeping beauty turquoise oh, anyone this is one of my favorites wait wait oh You know the hypo cement? Yeah. Do I all I need to do is use that? Dab of that. Dab it onto there. Pop the stone into the bezel. Done. Yeah. And hold the mount first. You get both. Have let me guess, these have never been seen outside of kits. Yes. So you get the sterling silver. Bezel. Ooh, that's lovely, isn't it? That is beautiful. There it is. And you get the certified Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Cabochon. The mine that closed 10 years ago. Closed. Still celebrated as the best location of source. Never been seen outside of a kit, says Ben, very smugly. Look at that. Thirty pounds and ninety nine pence is amazing for for Sleeping Beauty. That's just lovely. That is beautiful, isn't that it? That is really lovely. Earrings, or or a ring, or yeah. a ring. Yeah. Pendant, I suppose you would oh, sold, yeah. solder a, a ring or a bale or something to it. The challenges of time, says Ben. Okay. What are, you, what are you wittering about now, Ben? You're talking about time. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Imagine... Oh, yeah, very cool. You can make it quite Egyptian-esque and actually turn it into sort of like the, uh, the, uh, the all-seeing eye. 14 pounds and 99 pence. And I know my... Uh, yeah, imagine that as so a that's ring. That's a ring. Yeah, that's what it needs to be. How beautiful. Beautiful. Really, really lovely. 14.99. That's the price tag of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Um, at a reduction, I should say, and a saving. Um, but you're getting the sterling silver for free. They're cool. Anybody that does uh, soldering, I think this is just an absolute really, must-have for really, you. Yeah. Because all you need to do is solder the shank on. Yep. And you just made a beautiful high-end Sleeping Beauty ring that would probably cost hundreds of pounds. Yeah, absolutely. And, and why wouldn't you? Because it's just a classic. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Ted, I know you make some amazing silver pieces. I've seen them on the Wall of Fame. All you need to do is just a little bit of soldering. And gluing, obviously. That's it. Would hyper cement be the glue of choice? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, if you're... Yeah, you'd probably solder the, the, um, the shank first, wouldn't you? And then put the stone Then in. put the stone yeah, in. Yeah, so that you don't heat damage anything yeah yeah that's a good point because i would rush to get that set well yeah, Ooh, it'd be really exciting, wouldn't it? but then you if you've got to heat it to then solder it then uh, yeah. yeah yeah so make sure you do the soldering before you actually attach your sleeping beauty turquoise uh, turquoise two, look so that's a pair of earrings i think so with. tanya i'm quite jealous of your earrings in the making <laughs> yeah i think nottinghamshire's maybe might might be even a jeweler might yeah. be a jeweler mm -hmm. getting quantities of fives um well done can't wait to see can't wait to see uh, um, all of your creations. Make sure you do send them into the Wall of Fame. Did I have many of these then, uh, then Ben? Um, yes, but the only time that they've been seen outside of a kit. Now, right now, never to be repeated. Wrists firmly slapped. <laughs> do you know, it's weird, actually, Ben, I did actually have the conversation with um, Ross. You know, we did the other day, the last time we worked together, I was like, Ross, why don't you do that? Why don't you do what Ben does? Um, that's why you're not allowed. He's not allowed. That's why. Fourteen ninety nine. Well done, Maya Kent. You've got yours. Karen, Ted, Tanya, London. I've got Cumbria, Susan. New customers. Hello to you all. Make sure you do check them out. Um, yeah, a, a silversmith's dream. But at the same time, nothing wrong with a little bit of glue. Nothing wrong with that. Um, okay. Now I've got two jadey opportunities to squeeze in. Um, at the top of this hour. Now these are vases, symbols of, of fortune. Um, you get a pack of, no way. Do, what, 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 what price are these? They've never been seen outside of a kit. 
Are these the ones that Susie requested to be created? Or are they, is that something else that's still coming? I don't know, but do you know, straight away what's blown me away with this opportunity is, and within, among our many PowerPoints of Jadeite, then somewhere there will be a, a photograph, I think it's in Jake's, somewhere there will be a photograph of Jadeite that has been carved with a chain. You've got to consider that this is a natural, genuine gemstone that forms in a boulder. So, a big rock, whatever size. <coughs> Imagine carving, not soldering, chain two links. chain mm. links from one solid piece of gemstone. You can't go, all right, there's that link. I'll just open and close this piece of jadeite and wrap it around. They're not hinged. That's one solid piece. And you've got to know how many links you're making as well, haven't you, in case it's, in case it's linked to the other side as well. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just yeah. The skill of this carving, is it, yeah, is absolutely unbelievable. <coughs> Look at that. That's so cool. From one solid boulder. Bruce, I guess this is new to you as well, isn't it? You've never seen this before. Finn, have you seen this before? So can you imagine, that's one solid stone and they have carved links together from one solid piece. So when we talk about, sorry Ben, colour, texture translucency being the, grade, uh, being the grading yeah. system if yeah. you like. Another factor is artistry. This is impeccable art to be able to create the link. And that's without me even showcasing the beautiful detail on these vases. 25 carats, natural certified type A. We're low on time. If we had one of these, it would be, this is the kind of thing that you'll see in Sotheby's, in Bonhams hand carved and this is the kind of piece that you would see one-off auctions upward rising mm -hmm. bids and definitely not at double figure prices the skill that goes into it's mind-boggling isn't it bruce are you trying to figure it out he's gone very quiet so i could almost hear the cogs in his brain sticking around it i i get it Look, 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 let me hold it a different way. Look, that's one solid gemstone. How do you do that? It's just unbelievably skillful from one amazing piece. <clears throat> I'll leave that one with you. It is double-sided. It's got a drill hole in the top of the link as well, hasn't it? Is, is that a drill yes. hole there? Yes, so literally can, going through. So you can attach... A threading material in that direction there rather than through the whole link now if you love that deal yeah one of the most skillful pieces this is an there opportunity of two is this the one that susie requested I think it might be or something very similar i think i think she'd got something herself and every, everybody was um just you know, keen to tell her how much they loved it. So yeah. She, so I, I remember her bringing something up to, to talk to Caroline and the buyers. Um, and, and, and they were like, oh, we'll see, see what we can find, see what we can do. <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't come from the House of Suzhou. House of Suzhou is like the Eda Oberstein to other gemstones. They, they are the, the most skillful gem, jadeite cutters in the world. We're going to... What? What, 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 what? Did anyone buy the previous auction? If you did, cancel it and get this. Because instead of 99 for one, you can get two for £129. Size, or does it make a suite? Have you got a pendant with the other one and they're earrings? 
No, they're the same size. They all the same. Same size. You might as well get this deal <laughs> for the extra for the extra what thirty pounds. <clears throat> you can get another one. How amazing is that? Thirty-two pounds and twenty-five pence on your split pay. Make sure you check them out. The skill that goes into we've spoken about it with your Chantilly lace. Uh, from the house of soju we've saw that amazing samsara pen all of your master carvings literally placed into the hands of the most skillful uh jadeite carvings that's been passed on from generation to generation to generation speaking of master carvings we have some available that we're going to upload onto the web um they're available on pre-order and then uh, during the next hour, um, as we're enjoying Hannah's masterclass, um, yeah, you can basically have a little look, have a little peruse, see if there's anything that you fancy. Hello, Sarah. Hi, all. What happened to the items on pre-order if you don't play them? Do they still get reduced? Yes. Um, we're going to be running the graphics through. Everything that uh, we have available... That was intended to be reduced, by the way, because some of them we already took to a, a lower price point. Yes, we will still, Ben will still do that, literally through it between now and the top of the hour. So keep an eye on the screen then, Sarah. I'm going to leave those ones with you. Make sure you check out your basket. Still got loads to bring you. Amazing masterclass with the fabulous Hannah. Beautiful designs as per usual. Thank you. Speaking of Jadeite. <gasps> Look at that. That's my favourite carving that we've it's ever done. It's enormous! It's beautiful. Double-sided as well, isn't it? Yeah. So, so beautiful. It's like, I can't, I can't get across how incredible it is. Yeah. The detail is phenomenal. Unbelievable. Well done. Make sure you stay with us because that's coming up after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I'm excited about this masterclass. <gasps> you ever seen anything like it? They're amazing. Oh, aren't they? they really are. And I have to say, <laughs> the one that you have yeah. is my favourite carving that we've ever done. I, I, it's just I say we so like it is stunning. us here at Jewellery Maker, but yeah. it's not. It's Literally, it's a work of art. Every single millimetre of that master carving is just a work of art. Now, just before we go into your masterclass, just because when you have such artistry as this, and, you know, you wouldn't go to, I don't know, I, I'm not up to speed with things like paintings and things like that, but I assume that if you were to ever, um, say, go to an auction house for a particular work of art in, in, on a canvas, they would discuss it, wouldn't they? They would actually discuss who the artist was, where, yeah. where it was painted, the inspiration, and things like that. Now... So it would be very rem reminiscent uh, of us not to do the same when it comes to jadeite. And this is a recent article that I found, and I've shown it just, I think, once or twice previously before. But it really is the perfect description and the perfect way of, of, uh, uh, of assessing, if you like, for want of a better word, your jade. Because we're still we're babies to the jade world, really. You know, the yeah. likes of Susie, who's got literally generations of, uh, of knowledge of this gemstone. She's very fortunate. Many of us are learning as we go, myself absolutely included. But this article comes from Sotheby's. Now, Sotheby's, globally recognised name, an auction house, and they have particular individuals that will specialise in gemstones like jade. Right. So, a great source for education. Um, and they wrote about jadeite jewellery, a collector's guide. Well, that's what I need to know. Yes. I need to know. Yeah. Tell me what I need to know as, a, as an aspiring collector. And they said, for hundreds of years, jadeite has been a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels and superlatives, jadeite has a certain understated charisma. When light passes through the stone, the effect is muted. Enigmatic glow that is both indescribable can fill volumes. This allure has inspired mythologies and cultural reverences, particularly in China, that stretches back centuries. By virtue of its unique features, jade has played a consequential role in history. 
From serving as a mysterious object of ritual to, ad to adorning the leaders of powerful empires. While the term jade is frequently used interchangeably to describe both nephrite and jadeite, both are highly prized for different traditions. A gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its finest may possess a an imitable green colour. Jadeite is by far the rarer of the two and we focus this guide on jewellery. We asked when, how you, Sotheby's Hong Kong Deputy Chairman of Jewellery Asia, to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jadeite. And he said, approach jadeite jewellery, not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art, created by nature and shaped by human hands. This is not something where you can quite simply go, it's, it's this carrot way, it's that colour, it's that clarity. It is a work of art which ultimately has been created by Mother Nature. And this, I think, really, really stands true, particularly with Hannah's amazing masterclass. What experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor, which may seem frustratingly imprecise uh, for would-be collectors seeking a more concrete guidance. However, all of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery, not as commodities, but rather as works of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. Just as it's impossible to measure the splendour of impressionist landscapes by a canvas uh, height or width or ratio of its colour, the beauty of jadeite in all its varieties and complexity cannot be classified by a system of prescribed standards. I'm going to show you something, the same cabochon that ha has wowed Hannah. So you're looking for that wow factor, right? And yes, whilst may be frustratingly imprecise, as Sotheby said. Does this say wow to you? It absolutely does. When you consider it's formed by Mother Nature and carved by a pair of hands. It's fabulous. Look at that. It's the layers, Hannah. I mean, you've got the, the, the bridge, the brickwork, the movement of the water. The pagodas, the mountain range. Look at the look at the depths, the layers of. You've got beautiful imperial and even black jadeite running through. Yeah. Everyone will be completely unique. We're going to introduce the graphics um, on this amazing work of art, and that's exactly what it is. It's a work of art that we then take Mother Nature that gets placed into the highest, most skillful jadeite artistry hands, that, that get, then get passed on to another artist, as <laughs> the likes of you, Hannah, and our amazing viewers. This is called The Forbidden City, a natural focal piece of type A jadeite that is cleverly drilled, as you can see, at the top of this beautiful, beautiful cabochon. I don't want to call it a cabochon. It's not a cabochon. <coughs> no. I've, I, was, I, was, I just drew breath too fast and made myself choke. So I was saying, it's not a cabochon. No, <laughs> definitely not. Excuse my hand in the way. You also have sterling silver. This is a cup chain uh, that's 925 sterling silver. There we go. Oh, wait. It's got cubic zirconia in it. Yeah. It, well, that, this is why it's the cup chain, because it's, it's, it's almost like a little tennis bracelet, isn't it? It's like a diamond tennis yeah. bracelet. So pretty. And you get a length of 25 centimetres. Plus, still not done. You have your leather. Now, leather might seem like a bit of a strange addition. Actually, it's used a lot alongside, usually to suspend your jade out from. It, it is quite, yeah, quite frequently found as, as a... Um, you know, a, a, a vessel for carrying the jade. Yeah. Um, but also, I love the fact that we've got pink because yeah, I love it really the works. colour combination together. You get that. It's it's like sort of a lovely sort of Look cherry that. blossom, which again is is quite an, an oriental sort of um, you know combination. Like, combination yeah. icon again. You know, so it's so those colours actually resonate with the cultures where these are from. So. 
Hannah, I mean, something like this, a work of art like this, of this amazing detail. I mean, look at it. Yeah. Every time you look at it, it's like right at the top, there's, <coughs> a, little, there's a little house and another bridge and then like, like a waterfall coming down. Yeah. The first time I looked at it, I hadn't seen that. No, I guess you get so to know it better, don't you? The more you look at it, the, <coughs> the, the more, more you can appreciate the detail. And obviously mine differs from yours. This is a natural yeah. gemstone. And they are each individually, each individually handcrafted can we look at that uh, the, uh, the piece and, uh, and maybe uh, if you wouldn't mind just talk us through your design yeah yeah and sure. uh, uh, the inspiration um so it's this piece that's up here um and it basically i because of the the gorgeousness of it i didn't want to mess too much with it but i thought well i've seen um clay using <coughs> wires and things yeah. like on the edges of cabochons and i thought i want i just wonder if i can do it with the cup chain so um, can we put it in the middle i can so... yeah it's all right i'm gonna move it sorry Finn. Just going to move it over there. Yes, there. perfect. Like that. Oh, my goodness me. So you've used the cup chain almost to, 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 to Literally create to, a frame. Literally to create a frame. <coughs> because I thought it's just going to influence <coughs> what's already there. Um, but I, like if, if you move it around, then you get the, the twinkle oh, as well. Oh, my so, goodness. I mean, I, I just, Anna, that's absolutely beautiful. And it's also obviously because, because it has the image on both sides, it's reversible. So, so it's your choice which way you wear it. And then I've just made a, a very simple sort of connector to, so that it can sit on the mm. um, on the on the leather. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's a very simple design. But I mean the jade itself is absolutely phenomenal. Sometimes I, I th that's what I think about jade. If you look at historic pieces as well, certainly that have such level of skill in mm. carving, they often are put together very simply. Yeah. Because why would you? Overcomplicate it. Well, this is it. I, th I think you, do, you don't want to detract away. So, yeah. so like, whereas earlier I, I was embellishing things with beads and adding a lot to it, with this one, it's like I think simplicity is, yeah. is the way to show it off. I really do. So, now that is a sterling silver cup chain as well, the cubic zirconia. So, you've got a full 25 centimeter length there, 320 carats of natural. Has it got that wow factor? Type A certified jadeite a double master carving, plus then you are getting your leather, two meter length there, so you can literally, even if you just stuck it onto a lark set, uh, lark set knot, away you go. E and here at 499 pounds, that's fabulous. An absolute fabulous deal for the carving on its own. I've referenced this so many times before. When I first, the jewelers I first worked at, they had a, a piece that was about this large, by about this, very peculiar carving. It never really ventured out of the desk because we didn't understand it. Um, that was two and a half thousand pounds 25 years ago. Wow. 25 yeah. years ago. Today, far more beautifully carved, double sided, certified natural type A jadeite. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> that was a big... Oh, it's five, that's why. <laughs> yeah. For th I can get this home for thirty nine ninety nine. That's That's fabulous. Absolute. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? We've brought some incredible master carvings. I have to say, Hannah, this is my favourite. Yeah, I, mean, I just, I just love the detail. I love, like, this guy, <coughs> that side's got, like, a little, a little person down at the front there in is. the boat. Yeah. You see? And you see what I mean yeah, about the, the, the bridge and the house at the top? That I didn't know he was before. in a boat, though, but yes. I think he's in a boat, yeah. I think he is a boat. Sailing along the river that starts sort of way up. And there's the little waves. In the hillside there. And Look the little at house that. at the top that I'd never seen until today. At the top. I've yeah, seen yeah. the houses further down. Just that one there. Right by the drill hole. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, it's so detailed. You're always seeing and then, these. And then the little chaps crossing the bridge crossing on that the side. Bridge. Just unbelievable. Yeah. Beautiful quality. Um, lots of collectors immediately getting involved. Again, if you have any questions for our lovely Hannah regarding her masterclass, then do uh, message in. That's sterling silver. You don't have to put these components together if you don't want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you could keep the master carving. And then you can keep the... <coughs> Sorry, tickly cough. Uh, the actual sterling silver is something completely separate. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But if you want to recreate Hannah's amazing design, stay tuned because she's going to show us.
he's going to show us how. Oh, is the aircon still on? Because I want to sneeze now. Oh, no. I'm full, still full up with cold again. You're ailing as, uh, as, as we're going through the show. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, £199.99. Are you, are you, Ben? Are you really? I was not expecting that. Oh How much? Do you, I don't know if you know this information, Ben, but this is sold individually on its own. Yeah. This plaster carving on, on its own. <coughs> <laughs> you, yeah. You, you, and I'm fairly sure it's sold at more than what's on your screen. Yeah. So you can buy it individually if you wish, or you can buy it as part of Hannah's amazing masterclass and get a saving. Listen, that's not something new. We do that on a regular basis. I don't know why. I know it's not logical. I know it makes no sense. It's just very jewelry maker. It's though. just very, yeah. yeah, it's a jewelry makerism <laughs> that I hope we never, ever, ever um, change. Master carving on both sides. So again, you know, you can go, as we said earlier, what experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor. This has that wow factor. It's the fact that you are constantly learning about the carving. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I mean, even if you don't want to make it into jewellery, I, I think it's a beautiful thing just to have. Yeah. I mean, if you've got any of those, what do we call them earlier? The little um, boxes that we that we had the onyx in, and they, and it was um, oh the display boxes. Like yeah, the little yeah, yeah. display. If you if you've got one of those and just popped it in there, I mean. It's just such a talking point, isn't it? Totally. Really is. Totally. So you can say, funny. no, this is not polymer impregnated. No, this is not dyed. Yes, this is. Actual jade. Actual, natural, yeah. certified, genuine jade. And that yeah. does make a huge difference. Um, Dave only yesterday actually showed you polymer impregnated uh, a jade bangle. Right. That okay. was still £5,000. <sighs> type B. Yeah. This is type A. Amazing. Check out those baskets. Now... Oh, this is beautiful. Never seen this before. No, I've not seen that. Now, there are only... Oh, really? There's only five of them. So you've got... Oh, oh look at that. A, a donut in a donut or a haigu in a haigu, whichever way you look at it. And you're getting these. You're getting four of those. Little carved wheels. They're pretty, aren't they? Cute. Plus, you're getting the most amazing strand. The most beautiful, beautiful strand. 50 centimetres, 250 carats of your type A green and red jadeite. No words necessary, says Ben. Yeah, no, I agree. No words necessary. That's that's crazy. It's actually crazy. Because all I would need to do, I'm no, I, I'm you know, I'm not no designer like our lovely Hannah. But all I would need to do is just restrand it basically, yeah. and I'd probably put some Pop of them some in, of there, those in there and some of those in there in a clasp at the top. Fabulous. That's all I would do. And and then, and then you get that as well. And you get the lovely the uh, lovely pouch as well. Beautiful, beautiful pouch. There was only five of them, so there's 15 of you with it in your basket, so good luck, good luck. I've still got one more kit to bring you, but um, not before we dive into this amazing masterclass. So okay. If I'm brand new to working with jadeite and master carvings, is this something that I can do? Yes. Well, I mean, I, I'd never tried this until, until I did ah. this before, so I, I was just Love thinking, it. does it work? I don't know. We're going to try. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to um, uh, embrace <laughs> this. So, um, I've... I'm going to just attach this um, beautiful cup chain with a bit of glue to the outside circumference um, of my jade carving. Um, I'm just going to pop this um, little plastic bag down just in case the glue goes anywhere because I don't want it to get onto my foam mat there. Um, and then it's literally a case of, if you look at the cup chain, obviously one side has got the sparkles and the rest are all silver. So you need to make sure that you're gluing the underside of it to the, to the um, circumference of the jade. Um, so I'm just going to add a little, a little bit of glue and literally just a few little dabs to start off with. And then I'm going to find the end of my cup chain and position it on the top there. And the, tr and the only trouble with this is you do have to wait slightly while... Yeah, just wait till that 
until that bit. little section sets. And then once it's, because you can sort of position it a little bit while it's thinking about it. And then once it's, once it's on, it's on. And then I'm going to hold that up and I'm going to carry on just adding little dabs. Little tiny bits. So it's almost like join the dots kind of thing. And then it's kind of, it's just slow and steady. It's, it's just finding the, the middle of the circumference. And then we just let that sort of sit in position. Again, I just give it a little tap just to make sure it's actually fixed. Okay. And then holding that up again, because I want it to be in the center. So I, I need to sort of control where it's sitting. a little bit of glue each time and again this is one of those things that if you you know if you've got a bit of time to yourself you want to do something mindful I think this is the sort of thing that would really appeal because you're making something that is not only precious but I think it's, it's hard to sort of explain it. it it's sort of soothing to work with Jade Oh, I totally agree. I think immediately when you're in the presence of Jade, it has that feeling, that, that emotion. I think lots yeah. of us all talk about that. So I'm literally just letting it go all the way around the edge. And then when you're, when you're confident that that little section is secure, then move on. So again, hold that one out the way. And clearly there's enough of the cup chain to work its way all the way Yeah, Yes, so actually you have a piece left over as well. So um, we well, did with the first one. So I'm going to see how far it gets round. And then it's just a case of trying to marry up the ends so that they sit flat, sit flush. And then it looks like, you know, it was um, kind of created for the jade. Very, very, very... We are, um, whilst, uh, whilst Hannah's working her way around, we, are, uh, we also have actually uploaded a few more um, of our amazing master carvings. Um, so these are last in stock opportunities, absolutely amazing works of art. We should also point out that master carvings are highly, highly unlikely to ever be duplicated because these are done literally by hand oh look at that you've got the carved lotus flower um and whilst uh, whilst uh, uh hannah's actually demoing um ben's going to literally start popping the prices in look at that look at oh my goodness me that one shouldn't be going any lower um keep your eye on the price points they will be going even lower whilst you're enjoying um uh, hannah's amazing demo so yeah they last the stock though so there'll be literally ones and twos of those Okay, still going. That's all good. It's, it is, it's mindful watching you, you know. Is it? Oh, well, that's okay then. <laughs> yeah. I think there is, there is a tendency to always try, try and do things um, quickly, but I really, I really would recommend you just... Yeah, not when we're working with something. Slow else. down, yeah. breathe, you know, it's one of those. And it's also, I mean, you could if you wanted to, I suppose you could, you could um, secure leather to the outer edge if you wanted to use the, the cup chain separately. Um, but I just like the fact there's a little little bit of bling. And gluing is something that is used widely in high-end jewellers yeah. as well. You know, what you're doing right now is done yeah. in the luxury yeah. jewellers. It's, it's not like, um, I mean, you could sort of say that it feels like cheating, but it's it's not. So if you, if you, oh, you don't know if you can get that close, but you'll find that actually this is this is close enough to be able to um but the two ends really close together mm. so i've just got to make sure i cut the right spot so this is where i hold my breath hang on just gonna snip between the two there and i want to make sure that that goes right oh look up at that to the other perfect you've done that before i've done it once before oh hang on is my glue not in the there we go. So I just want to make sure that that's aligned. 
There we go. So we have a, a full circumference. Obviously, you might, might want to let that set a bit more before you carry on. But um, what I've then done is I, I wanted to make a little bail. Uh -huh. So um, I didn't have any sterling silver wire at home, but I've, I've used a, a 0.8 um, wire. So if you've got sterling silver and, and you're OK to use it, then I would say go for it. We had some today, didn't we? Is that point, yeah. uh, point, point 0.8, one point eight? Yeah. Um, like that. So I've literally, I'm just going to cut a piece of this. Quite. Oh, there's no sort of scientific, just cut more than you think you need. <laughs> That's like lovely. that. And then I'm going to pass that through the hole at the top. And then I'm going to gently fold that up. And then I'll be careful because the glue's not dry yet. And then I'm going to make a little kink. So I want to bring the two wires together. So I'm just bringing them up together because then I'm going to fold them around as though they were one. OK. You can, you can sort, I think you can, can you see that? I don't know. Yeah. Just, just little kinks yeah. to, bring, to try and bring them together. And then you use your um, pliers just to squeeze them in. So what I'm trying not to do is um, put any pressure on, on the jade itself or at this point, um, because my cup chain isn't quite dry, I don't want to knock that over either. So then I'm going to make a wrapped loop using both of those pieces, mm -hmm. if I can. So I'm going to fold both of them over. And then it's the same as a normal one. You then turn your pliers the other way, bring both of them over the top. And then very carefully, I want to get it past there without knocking my cup chain away. So I might do it one at a time. OK, so I have a little bit of a, a loop there. And then I want to wrap both of these around that loop. So I might have to use the pliers to help me get them around. So I'm trying to keep them so that they don't cross over too much. Mm -hmm. Let me move that out of the way now. That's not good. It's all right, I can get it. Thank you. Make myself useful. Thank you. Right, so wrapping one round and then the second one so that they sit as flush as possible together because obviously it's going to be very visible. Yeah. <coughs> get in there. Turn it round because you want to keep that shape as well. And then I'm going to take one of the threads threads it's wires to the front and one to the back so I slightly dislodged that chain there so I'd want to make sure that that was glued and in place and probably dry before you start doing this bit yeah before we start uh... before you start manipulating the the wires then I'm just going to use flush cutters and I'm going to get as close as I can to get rid of those ends and then use like a flat nose <coughs> plier or, or a chain nose plier something like that just to tuck those ends in because you don't want anything to be sharp the whole thing needs to be nice and smooth. Putting that in there. Again, turn it over and make sure that that side is tucked in as well. And then just straighten that little bail out a bit. I don't, I don't want to lose the shape either, so it's a case of swapping pliers until you're happy with the, the way it looks. OK, and then once you've got that, all you need to do is then add in your um, piece of cord, decide how long you want the necklace. And then I've just done a slip knot at the back, but you could absolutely use um, like a, a cord ending or you could mm -hmm. use a, a clasp or something. So if I cut a section... You get two metres of that, don't you? You so do. You get massive. I did actually make a, a bracelet <coughs> with, the, with the other half of it as well. Um, and some other jade that I'd got. Oh yeah, that's at the front. So of that's the... At the, right at the front on the on the bail there. So popping that through, and then just to make that little slip knot at the back, if you fold the two pieces over each other, I'm going to use. Hopefully, I've got my all there. So you could use like a pencil or something else. It just helps me to have that there. So can can you see? I don't know if I'm far enough down, like that. So the two, two ends of the cord, fold them like that, place something like a pencil around there, and then one end goes around. 
going on? Which way am I going? Is it that way or that way? One, two, three. Is this a slip knot, did you say? Yeah. And then I'm just going to try and work out which end it goes through. And then I take this out, and then I'm going to post the end through all of the coils, and then pull it. But you do need to try and manipulate both ends at the same time, so that you get one knot that will slide along the other piece. Yeah. yeah. And then to stop it from sliding off the end, you just tie a little knot at each end here. I think I've actually done like a double knot on, on each end, but just to show you here. So, oops. Get through there. And then you might want to put a little dab of glue on those end knots as well, just so they don't undo. Okay, so that so that then will then slide along for however long you want to make it. So that and then that's that's basically it. So you have an adjustable um, length of necklace and then you have your um, embellishment around the edge and it's all attached with your with your little veil so it's i mean it's it's very it's very <coughs> simple in design but I, I genuinely think it shows off the jade and then of course it's reversible so you can wear it either side yeah so it's entirely up to you how you want to do that it's just beautiful hannah absolutely beautiful and you're saying you. simple but it, like i said when you've got something as intricate as the master carvings I mean, yeah, I mean, this is the thing. They're, they're so beautiful in their own right. It's like, you don't, I don't think you need to make too much of a fuss about no, it. No, no, I, I totally agree. Yeah. Leather and, and jade, again, some, two, two pieces that absolutely do work together. And yeah. um, we've brought the graphics back onto your screen. We've only got the final few of these remaining. It should have been £199 today. Shouldn't have been 149. I'm fairly sure you buy that carving for that price point, or I think I've actually brought them to where uh, yeah. 199. I'm, I'm sure they're, they're a couple of hundred pounds on their own. On so their so the own. fact that we got this in a kit for that massive reduction yeah. is incredible. With the silver, uh, with the silver cup chain as well, and the leather cord. Make sure you do check out those baskets. We had. Did you say you had, we had quantity of these then, Ben? We're okay, master carving. You know, considered. Yeah. We're okay, but make sure you do check them out. Again, have a little look at the website as well, because we have, if you've got particular master carvings that are a personal favourite of yours, um, and you haven't yet made that purchase, um, I would have a little look, because there are some on there which are actually getting uh, dangerously close to being on-screen sellouts, literally ones or twos. Have a look on the website, all the Ws at jewellerymaker.com. You can get Forbidden City, this beautiful, beautiful masterclass kit, home for an incredible $29.99 on your split pay. So uh, amazing. Now, I have got an addition that will go perfectly alongside this kit. Fabulous. Just before I went on holiday, a couple of weeks back, um, bought some lovely pearls from Jewelry Maker, and I'd, I'd acquired, well, bought, but Jade, which I hadn't yet worked with up until that time. And I was like, right, right, sit down, Al. Make some jewellery to take on holiday. Okay. And literally, all I, oh, the, the combination, no spacers, no precious metal, anything like that. Literally just a bit of wildfire. Okay. All I did was lots of long line necklaces. Lovely. And I wore them all the time. Yeah. All well, the time. They go with everything, don't they? They do. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. This is that gorgeous combination. Pearls and natural type A jadeite. But even more than that... You are getting stardust, are they? Or is it my eyesight? It's jade. No, it's the jade. Goodness me, look at that luster. I thought there was some silver in there for no, a second. No, they're jade. They're lovely. 75 carat. No, sorry. What's the carat weight in the metre long length? I don't see it on my graphics right now. 75 carats is coming your way in your laughing Buddhas. Two master carvings. Um, Jolly little chap. Oh, they are. They? He's, he's, he's the Buddha Aww. of happiness as well. Buddha of happiness. So 75 carats um, across the two jadeite Buddhas. Yes. Again, if I was to show you this way round, you'll see the drill hole. Can you see that? 
just at the reverse? About, just about. Just about yeah. peeking through there. So very clever direction, very clever angle, which means that it will uh, disappear uh, and it won't sort of interrupt the beauty and the detail of your Buddha. Look at that. From his little cheeks, his jolly little belly, um, he's guaranteed to raise a smile. So uh, do I have many of this kit available? Pretty good quantities. You know, again, Hannah might be brand new to making jewellery, but I still want to make that amazing, uh, uh, some top quality. Can I just take this over to your board? Is that okay? Sure. For a second. Absolutely. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? Look, Imagine oh, this. Oh, look at that. It's a... Oh my gosh, that would be fabulous with it. Imagine that. And then all you'd need to do is, is just simply rethread this. Yep. We normally recommend re-threading re any, anything that's um, on a temporary strand, um, just so that you've got a bit more strength guaranteed, <coughs> um, and also that you know it's new, because um, like, sometimes the, the temporary strands are, are like can be aren't, a bit aren't as strong they're, as they're, you they're, they're not to designed be. to be jewelry. Um, but strength. wait, also. Yeah. Oh look, little guy. Maybe you don't want to wear the big the big piece, and you want to have. Something yeah. as simple as that. So lovely. So, so lovely. wearable as well. Absolutely. So, so wearable. Yeah, really, really nice. So you're getting two Master Carved Buddhas, jolly little chaps, the, the, the Buddhas of happiness. You could make one of those out of that as well, couldn't you? Oh, yes. You? Shall we take two little Buddhas and the metre long length of pearls and jade to £200? Yeah. £100 a Buddha. Oh, my gosh. And do then you have a metre long it. length of pearls and jades yeah. for free. <laughs> That's madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. I'm loving it. This guy, he's, so, he's such a he's sweet. smiley little chap, he is. isn't he? Let, let's, let, let's get up close to him. I mean, I know he's, a, he's supposed to be a, 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 a happy Buddha, but I, mean, I can't help but think of children, like baby smiling. Yeah. You know, it's like this little... Jovial cheeky, little chap, isn't he? Little cheeky but Look face. at the details of his... You can even see that, you know, how his hand is actually positioned. Yeah. You can see the folds in his throat, uh, in his robe. You can see, look, 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 his little, his little double chin. £199.99. pence. You can get hold of this on your four monthly split payments. You're getting two of your Buddhas um, alongside the metre long length of your, uh, of your pearls and your jade. Um, again, when we first launched the Laughing Buddha, I think it was Jake who was on our screens who did that. And um, we actually saw one of these at... Pillar and stone. We saw one carved Buddha. I wonder if you can try see if you can find that. I might be able to help you with it if we can bring it to uh, bring bring them up, Ben. Yeah. Um, so basically, on pillar and uh, at pillar and stone, they had one single Buddha um, carved almost exactly the same. Obviously not identical because they are hand carved. Um, but later on that week, we actually saw it then, that exact piece that had been made into jewellery. And we know it's the exact same piece because there's not a, a wealth of type A jade eye, even at Tucson. Even at Tucson, there are a lot of jade PowerPoints. Yeah, I know. Um, but that finished piece of jewellery, I think, was about $6,000 or something like that at wholesale. We're talking about one single natural type A carved Buddha like this. Well, you're getting the two and you're getting the metre long length strand and we're contemplating taking it even, even lower. He's a jolly little chap, isn't he? Yeah. He Here we go. There it Super is. Super cute. See Jake and Roland Schluso just below the, the teddy bears. Okay. There he is. Aww. Ronan Schluso, that's his stand, that's his booth. It's amazing, amazing gemstones. Quality, top quality jadeite. Jadeite, look at the details. Type A, like yours. Look at the measurements, it's almost exactly the same. Actually, yours is bigger. This is 28 by 22 millimetres. Yours is 27 by 27. Look at the price. One single Buddha, $1,280. If you click forward, Ben, there's the finished piece of jewellery. Yeah? $4,140 at trade, That's not good. retail. Yeah. There it is. And it's almost identical in terms of its carving. We've taken the two. The two Jolly Buddhas. Two Jolly Buddhas. Two Jolly Buddhas. And the metre long length of this beautiful pearl and jadeite. 
which I absolutely, I pay 89 99 for I mean, that strand on the same. It's stunning, isn't it? That, that strand is fabulous. Love it. You could make two, two necklaces straight away. Yeah, you absolutely could. Or a necklace and a bracelet, and you can have like a charm on there. £22.49 on your split payments. How many did we have of these, did you say? We had quantity, however... Um, yeah, they're proving to be very popular. I'm not surprised. That's a, did you have permission to do that price point? No, he says no. <laughs> Are you winging it? Love it. Absolutely love it. Why don't you, Middlesex, Noreen, Linda, Lorna, hello to you, London, Barbara, Sandra, Carol. I can't keep up with you. Well done. Okay. You have, is it the Goddess of Mercy? Yes. The Goddess of Mercy. <laughs> uh, is it Wen Hao? Am I pronouncing that right? I think I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah. Uh, the Goddess of Mercy. Again, loads and loads of meanings behind the Goddess of Mercy. A symbol of protection. Of, uh, as with Buddha, all things yeah. good. She has got a drill hole again. If I turn this round, you'll see just there. See it at that angle? So very discreet. And the reason why it's as discreet as that is because you don't want it to hinder the beauty and the detail of the marking. Look, look at, look at, I can't even sketch a hand. Imagine carving, carving a set of hands clasped together at the waist. Kuan Yin, that's it. Kuan Yin. The, thank you, Fran. Um, the, goddess of, uh, the, the goddess of mercy, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful translucency. Gemmy exterior. How frequently we say that the luster should look almost wet when it comes to jade. Yeah, yeah. Put that on. For Kuan Yin, the goddess of mercy. <coughs> ben thinks he's going to need this one. <laughs> The system doesn't want to do it. Oh, yes, you are going to need it, this, Ben. Because it's very detailed. Look, can I also hold it in this direction? You know, when, yesterday when we were discussing the Chantilly, and I, Chantilly, uh, um, the House of Suju, Taipei Jade, it's literally like lace, so it's, it, 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 that was the inspiration. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, so, yeah, Chantilly lace, which is obviously really delicate. Um, so you can't have big boulders. It has to be really millimetres thick. That is Chantilly depth. It's, it's just so detailed, isn't it? It's so intricate. I yeah. £12.49 on split pay. Look, I'm holding it like this so you can see how almost paper thin. It paper is. thin. Kuan Yin, uh, Kuan Yin actually is. It's steel to carve something like that. Yeah, you? exactly. Yeah. Something as, as valuable as this. I know that our graphics don't say it, but does anyone else think that that's white as well? It's totally natural. Yeah, split pay's mad. Absolutely mad. Remember, remember what, uh, what Richard Wise said earlier when we read that statement earlier on. Pure white hue with a fine texture, a moderate, not even good translucency, no. moderate translucency should be considered the finest of its type. Look at the quality here. 49.99, absolute closeout deals. For Kuan Yin, yes, she is. Uh, yeah, I think you will need this, Ben, because she's actually one of the most labor intensive of the carvings, um, given the fact that you actually have you know, it's almost wafer thin, isn't it? Wafer it is. thin. It's very, very, very delicate. Well, it looks delicate, but it's still got its, you know, its normal integrity and strength there. But it's just, oh. Oh, yeah, it's jade. Imagine. It's very, it's, you know, it's a... Imagine the, the bravery of, of somebody. <coughs> no, I agree. Taking something that valuable, that fine. Incredible. Can you mm. see this detail across here? You see that, you know, so literally, really like the, the brush the more strokes look, of her the more hair. You look into it, the more you can see, can't you? It's, it's just stunning. Amazing. Well done, everybody. The last remaining quantities. Um, shall we do a few jade strands? Because yeah. we haven't actually done yeah. that many. Um, yeah, let's do a few jade strands. I'm going to start with hearts. 
parts as if this were a jasper, if this was a hematite, if this was an agate, if this was a quartz, amethyst, what, whatever the gemstone, turquoise, another one, whatever the gemstone, to cut a definitive heart is a challenge. But then I guess, not to sound complacent here, if we saw Sarjade from world-renowned gemstone carvers, they're going to be able to do a heart, aren't they? It's not going to be like a triangle. No, it'll be a proper heart. It's going to be a proper heart. Yeah. Now, because we're short on time, <coughs> we're just going to put those prices onto the screen. <coughs> Is that, is that, oh gosh, where has this morning gone? No. That's great. I mean, £29.99. pence. You know, £80, £90 pounds is a good deal. Yeah. I thought, that, I thought that's deal. where it would be. I genuinely did think it would be there. £29.99 pence only. All of the master carvings that are, are, are on the web, the prices are all reduced, as Ben is saying in my ear. So you can shop away until your hearts are content. Nice little addition of a heart in there as well. Yeah. Mm. Who doesn't love a little heart Who in there? doesn't? You know, wish star bracelets and things like that. With jadeite, you've got the, 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 the protective connection of jadeite straight away. Yes. You know, Susie, lovely guest designer, Susie, she always talks about everybody in her family, she wants to wear jade because... Um, in Chinese culture, they believe it has this this protective Text ability. Them. Yes, yeah. Now, you might, I, I'd probably struggle to get, say, Tom to wear certain jadeite pieces. But something like this, I reckon I could. Yeah. Well, Just you, one on a little bit of leather. Yeah, you probably could. You know that necklace that we looked at earlier with the chrysoprase in it? I think you could mm. have jade hearts oh. instead of the chrysoprase and then the black spinel. The sparklies and things. I mean, that that would be striking as well, wouldn't beautiful, it? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only for your ten millimeter definite hearts. You've got that wonderful cleft, which most lipidurists, most car most carvers will actually shy away from. As you said a few moments ago, imagine be imagine the stress. I mean, this is what they do, and this is what they've grown up with, and this is something that has. Literally, they haven't just learned it over a couple of years. They've learned it through, uh, you know, possibly from childhood, you know, seeing their parents actually carving this gemstone. Um, but, yeah, they know how to actually create that beautiful cleft. Imagine being placed, though, a gemstone which is as valuable as jadeite, more highly regarded than any gold. Yeah. And say, OK, can yeah, we have do. a heart, yeah. please? Wow. I mean... Or Quan Ying, as we just saw earlier on, we want it wafer fine. Yeah. But the reality is, we don't go to the jade uh, uh, carvers and say, we want this and we want that. We get what we're given. Yeah. Well, that's, I think that's fair enough, though, yeah. isn't it? You know, that they've, they've taken time and incredible skill to create something. So they, they're more likely to sort of want us to see what they've created and then, and then we can pick from there can't we amazing mm. love it i'm gonna leave it with you because i've only got a couple of minutes left on the show oh four mil this i reckon i could count on one hand the amount of times we see four mil jade yeah because i mean it's it's such a desirable yeah. size there's, really for like for, for doing any kind of jewelry four and six mils there's yellow on yeah. here uh <clears throat> i love the idea of yellow jade don't you look at that Yeah, that is disgraceful. <laughs> that price is just, disgraceful. That's just rude, that price, really. It's disgraceful, because yeah. this is natural. I don't see a B or a C after that word type. It's natural type A jade. Can I just literally, um, I, I don't know, sow a seed? I could be being quite naughty right now, but I just don't care. See that colour there? What colour would you describe that? This one. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Maybe on the horizon. A definite buttercup there's yellow. Defi there's definitely colour in there, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. 
You've also got the whites. You've also got almost like all neck blues just here. Beautiful multicolored tones. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. The only four mil strand that we actually have available for you as well as part of this showcase. Oh, what? Sorry. Eight mils. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, look at that quality. That's amazing. I mean, you don't even have to sort of sort that. That's already pre-done for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the design's there. Certified natural. Does anyone else see blue? Yeah, kind of tealy sort of colours almost. Oh, yeah, you can see they're high end. They, yeah, mega, well, all of our jadeite is very, very high end, but you can definitely see, especially from this distance, you can see a definite, definite, almost like a dove blue, which I discussed at length mm. only yesterday, and maybe even like the old neck colours that you usually see with Guatemalan jade. £37.49 and pence on your split pay. It is a slightly short, uh, shorter strand, 19 centi uh, centimetres, but again, I mean, if this was 38 centres, we'd be talking about probably one of the most pricey pieces yes. that we actually have. Yeah. I'm not sure we should be doing a closeout deal on this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Might have to get some of those. That's amazing. It's incredible quality. Look how they glow. Even without a light source, even without me um, getting hold of a mobile phone and, and seeing that light source behind, you can see the presence, can't you? You really can. The translucency. Yeah. This would be lovely to go in your kit. Yeah, well, it, I think any of these strands would look wonderful with the, with the kit or with any of the little carvings that we've had. But I like the idea of that just with them, um, like sterling silver spacers. And just, nice. Just wear it like a, just a simple stretchy. Yeah, but. love it. Love that idea. Because the design's there through the colourway, isn't it? I've got some more rounds. What size? Oh, no. Uh, is it... Ten? Uh, is it the tassel? No. It's the... Is it that one? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <coughs> I think this is it. I think this is it. Right, yeah, so... Yeah. You see the ombre? That's the one I had previous, yeah? And that's the one I have now. Have a little look on the website. There will be details on the website for you to help you out. They're all certified completely and utterly natural. Look at that quality. OK, yeah, cool. We're doing the 8 mil right now. So we had the 10 previous. Now we're doing the 8. There we go. So there's the 10 mil strand that we just literally had on the back of my hand. They go beautifully together. They really do. Oh. I mean, you could just alternate them, couldn't you? Or, you? or you could extend the ombre. Yeah. But with the smaller beads in between. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. The work's done, as Hannah said. Pure white. This will be, look, that pure white colour. Gosh, somebody spent a lot of time ombre in those, haven't they? Just yep. like, making, making sure that you've actually got that graduation of colour. Unbelievable. Should not be 79 99 should not be seventy nine ninety nine. Do take a little look on the website because again we have uh, we've uploaded loads of deals, lots of last of stock deals, literally ones or twos, and some of your master carvings and some of your amazing type A jade out strands. Um, if you got hold of Hannah's masterclass kit, unbelievable deal, amazing value that was. Yeah, oh just yeah. beautiful. Hannah, thank you so much for what has thank been you. an absolutely amazing morning. It's it's gone really fast actually, hasn't super, it? Super yeah. super fast. Good luck with the diamonds. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get some. And I've got to go and get a dash and get a pierce. Yeah. I'm literally getting a piercing for that diamond. <laughs> that speaks volumes, doesn't it? And I do think, um, yeah, great. Yeah. A gift maybe for my husband for Christmas because, like I said, I've always wanted to buy him a diamond. Solitaire. I mean, what a lovely thing to, to gift. Yeah, yeah. And it's affordable. That's affordable. Lovely. Love it. Um, amazing. So well done to any of you that got hold of your deal of the day diamonds, whether that be the parcels, whether that be the solitaire. It's been an absolutely amazing show. Thank you to uh, to Ben and to Bruce for stepping over from Sewing Street and joining us here on Jewelry Maker. I hope we haven't scared you too much. Nah, no, they're all right. He's got this. Yeah. <laughs> they got this. Um, have a lovely couple of days off. Finn, have a lovely day off as well to you. Dan, when are you back with us, darling? Uh, on the 11th.
Eleven. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm about to change what I do, so I'll be on more Ooh. often. I'll be on one, once a week from the start of October. So, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's exciting. <laughs> Great news for us. Well, yeah. So it just, it just means I'm going to pester you a bit more. Never pester. Always this, a look joy. This, look at this. Yeah. Always, always <laughs> a joy. Oh, yay! That's good news for us. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Sunday roast. I, you've said it now. So I, I yeah, want I want one as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I doubt very much my husband's made a Sunday. Roast. Roast. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a trip to a, a pub, maybe. Oh, yeah, good yeah. old pub. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Have we run out of time? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bruce. Yeah, literally waffling <laughs> away. Um, get off! <laughs> yeah, because you've got the really beautiful Ruth coming up on Hobby Maker. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for having me. See you all soon. Bye.